lack of oxygen here. <laughs> F. F this. F this. F this. Fuck this, Mr. White. Turn your phones down. Well, all right, all right, all right, fuckers. Welcome to a beautiful episode, very special episode of F this. We're going to be celebrating all fucking hollows. And uh, thank you for joining us. Um, so this is going to be off the cuff. We're not going to be doing our regular segmented situation. It's not our regularly scheduled program. You're just going to be enjoying us talking about Halloween. Um, I'm Duff. Shante. Nilio. Kara. And that's my Good. <laughs> Hey, I'm the mad one. What's up? How's everybody doing? How the fuck are you? What a lovely, lovely voice. <laughs> so it's really hot. It's really, really warm in these masks. I'm having trouble breathing. It is. We're gonna fucking die pretty quick here. I'm gonna fucking pass out. It was a great idea. It was. It was a beautiful idea. In theory. Uh, we did this only. last year too, where yeah. we lasted for like two seconds. Yeah, yeah. This is going to probably be the shortest span that we're wearing masks <laughs> on Halloween. So uh, you guys saw it. We're all monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so we all match. We did it. Look at even Sarah. She's in freaking California, and she's still freaking matched. And we're all matching the same monkey. Amazing. That's right. So uh, I'm going to be the first one to tap out. I can't see shit. I can't hear myself. I can't hear anybody else. Are we okay. doing it? All right, guys. Face okay. off. All right. You, you saw it. Take your screenshots. The masks are coming off. Oh, Look at those fucking ears. Ah. I can't hear you. Oh, no. no. Fuck, can you guys hear me? Woo. Oh, we were going to do that when we kept our masks on. Yeah. Masks off. Oh, yeah. She, she still has her mask on. Yeah, that's Sarah. Oh, you know what? Somebody turned the volume on the headphones down. That's why we couldn't hear shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I, can hear, I can hear it properly now. Yeah, I just turned it up. <laughs> no, nice. Well, hi, everybody. Is Welcome. Me, Greetings. I'm fucking sweating. Just. Nikes. Uh, Sarah, you can take your mask off. I'm I'm working on some shit. All right, work on your shit. You're going through some shit? She's working on some shit? Audio trouble. Are you working through some problems right now? Probably. Some emotional issues? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk. Talk Let's talk about these issues. Right. All right. Okay. Well, now that that's out of the way. Oh, my God. (laughs) And we all look sick, though. We yeah. Look... So we're just all exhausted. Can you tell by our eyes? Yes. We didn't get any sleep. <laughs> Seriously. We've been dead for years. That's, about, that's so much better, though. I like being able to hear everybody. Yes. yes. Like crystal clear. Thank the yeah. Lord. Woo. Thank yes. our Lord and Savior, Jeff so, Goldblum. So if you're out there in Facebook land and you're viewing this or listening or anything, uh, let us know how we're coming through on yeah. the chat. Let us know if uh, you can hear us, see us, smell us, taste us, whatever. Yes. You can't touch us, though. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah. I wish we had some VR suits where we could feel each other. Right <laughs> some haptic VR. I don't want to so know just, what comes of that. So we can uh, touch each I other. I know what will come from that. <laughs> goo. Get it, get it, goo. So dirty. I like it. So, right. so. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to F This. Hold on a sec here. Sarah, you're breaking up like crazy. What's the deal here? She was trying to fix it. Yeah. Your makeup is killer though. Is it? Yeah, check your makeup out. Like all killer, no filler? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fucking, oh. Yeah. So we all look dead and and then Sarah's beautiful. Christine. Hmm. God damn it. What ups? All right. (laughs) <laughs> we all look like we just welcome everybody. Yes. Oh, you scared yeah. me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, welcome to this F This Network special edition Halloween. Our second Halloween. Right. Part two. This Part is two. Uh, uh, Freddy's Revenge. 
Hey, That's what this is. Is this Freddy's Revenge? Yes, it's part two. I thought this is where Jason Voorhees shows up. Or yeah, Friday the 13th part two. Yeah. Or Halloween too. Halloween yeah, too. Like massacres people in the hospital. That's right. And it's really intense. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. Really intense. Yeah. Or is this destination? Uh, is final destination first, part two. First door. Ooh, yeah. Or Saw two. Or Saw two. Yeah. Saw two was a good one. Or Sequels, in, guys. Give us your favorite part C- twos yeah, of part any two horror franchise. Any franchise. In part Hellraiser two. Hellraiser two. Hellraiser two. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah, yeah. Return Her- of the Living Dead too. Huh? Hey, uh, huh? uh, it wasn't even oh, a horror. No. Yeah, I love it. Well, yeah. Horror comedy, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. A little bit of both. Evil Dead I mean, as a kid two. It still scared me. Evil Dead. Evil Dead two. two. Yeah. Feel that yeah. pull. Feel it. Because yeah. fuck, that's a good one. Paranormal Activity two. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that was a solid one for a while, and then it got like. It yeah, just it kept, it just kept rehashing it. Like, yeah. Let's put it Blair in the blender. Witch. See what happens this time. Just let's, beating it. Let's let's <laughs> let's create let's create an almost like a reality television show movie yeah. called Blair Witch, and then make a sequel. And then we follow their family lives, <laughs> and then right. Yeah, it, it's, yes. it's the uh, horror god awful horror trend, you know, for 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 the decade. Like the current one is the the Conjuring and Insidious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought oh, yeah. it was like you know social networking and cam girls. Those are the. Those are. Oh no, I meant for horror. Cam girl horror. Yeah. Those are, those are picking is there up, a like, cam girl dead horror? Dead people. There is. There's, um, Black market. Dark web. That's a dark really web. Yeah. 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 Look oh. into it. Look into it. I got a horror movie that you guys probably never heard of, oh. and oh. it was Go. it was gonna be uh, the movie that we watch when I'm hosting the next episode. Oh. Yeah. Well. So. Well, let's hear it. It's called the Poughkeepsie Tapes. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Everybody if saw it. If you can it. spell it, you can look it up. <laughs> I mean, I think this is the reason why the force is strong with us. Yeah, exactly. Fuck. Deep. How are you doing over there, Sarah? You're looking a little, little lost. Hold on. I can you guys hear me at all? Yeah. Okay, yes. we can hear you there. Yeah, we can hear you. I can. Be, I'm trying to get my headphones to connect, but it's fucking driving me nuts. Did you get new headphones? They look different than yeah, the last ones. Yeah, they do. I did. My kids took. My old ones, because they're bastards. I mean, <laughs> bastard children. <laughs> Those little fuckers. They ruin everything. Oh. So it's, it's getting to that part of the night where I start taking off all my clothes. Oh, shit, See, son. One person mentions it, and that's it. I'm yeah. naked under these coveralls, by the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, We can't hear you, Sarah. I'm you naked normally, under these socks. You normally saying. have to pay for that on OnlyFans. Normally. Right. OnlyFans slash F this. <laughs> starting an account if you want to see your that's favorite perfect. monkeys take that's it a, off that's a perfect fucking name for an only fan only Fuck only 499 a month guys 499 a month for the first for the for the first for the first yeah. 10 days though and we do like each of us will do like cameo for you but like x-rated cameo <laughs> yeah yeah or uh, like i'll or, talk out of my ass like ace ventura literally oh <laughs> that's interesting sarah she's sarah so, you said uh, yes. Don't be a bummer. Sad face. Bummer face. Go steal those freaking headphones. Yeah, go get those headphones back. Yeah, I, I bet your it. battery's dying. Do it. Go. We believe in you. Fucker, go, I can't hear. go get go get the batteries from Manolo. For... Stop <laughs> giving him different names. His name is Emmanuel. <laughs> His name's Bob. Uh, okay, it. it's Virgil. It's Bob. Oh, no, it her, her vagina's name is Virgil. It's B O B. That's right. Sorry. Battery Sorry. operated buddy. And, no. and her battery battery. Oh, get it. Ah, you get, guys. It. get it. Get it. Are Good you boy, wearing eyelashes out. or are you high? She's wearing no. eyelashes. Uh, I put no. eyelashes yes. on my monkey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you, do you make- are you doing a robot? She's a dolly. Yeah, she's a marionette. Dude, your oh. makeup is fucking fantastic. Boy. Meanwhile, so, I, meanwhile, we just look like we're dead. We, are there we people still saying on fleek? I, I have no idea. Is that a thing? Yeah. Is that has eyelashes? Are, are, they, are, they, are, are they saying that we're on yeet? I think that's right. Yeah, there you go. It's there on it yeet. We're on yeet. Do it's people say, yeet. Is, is that a thing? I don't know. It is now. Fuck. Uh, fuck it is now. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Is Coined that, it. I really, Hold on. I'll I really, write it down so we can add it to our shirt list. Right? Copyright Hold on. on, on hashtag on Yeet. On Yeet. That's right. I don't know what Yeet means. I never did until Neil. Onlyfans.com. <laughs> Mr. On Young Neil did ex- express <laughs> the Neil. idea of what it was. Uh, I'm just waiting how long before Sarah smashes something. 
Yes. Like your dick? She, just, mean, <laughs> she just like rips through her background. Just like his dick. Like, like She-Hulk. Just like his dick. Shredding okay. up the, 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 the glittery background. Did you oh, look, different headphones. <laughs> oh, yay, headphones that work. I can hear you. We can hear you. Can you yeah, hear but I can barely hear you guys. Uh, yeah, son like of a bitch. BB-8 color. Barely hear us. Why? Maybe What's that's you, Malcolm. It? Fix it. <laughs> yeah, the volume was it, down Malcolm. earlier. Get your shit together. <laughs> Fix the issues, Malcolm. <laughs> Fucking get Christ, it. Malcolm. Pick it up. Put it in a bag. See, get I don't know together. if 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 I mean, like like I've one never... of the kids got into this. I know that. Oh, oh I'm oh, sure of it. Sure of it. Keegan's been but here. Keegan's been everyone. here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> he was. He was <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I'm not that old yet that I actually <laughs> physically own porn. <laughs> it's in a. It's in a. It's in a. It's in a memory bank on on my phone or my computer. You can't actually. Really Sarah, I feel like we had this issue last episode porn. too, didn't we? No, last episode, I my shit was connected to oh, my. I fucked that up. It just died. They just died. Give me one sec here. I mean, I can hear you. It's just not yeah, like I would be now. able to hear you like through my, around with my phone thing. Can you hear me now? Okay, let's hear it, Sarah. Neil, are you watching the live? Talk, I, uh, talk to me. How's how's that going? I, I'm seeing it on like the little bit of the delay. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> Mud. Dirt. Dirt. Mud. Uh, dust. Uh, We're seriously not clear to you? You can't hear us? I can barely hear <laughs> Because my is up on one second. Oh yeah, yeah, that would take him. It just depends on the area. Okay. Uh, oh, this is me. Yeah, my bad. I'm getting out of here. What's the deal here? Sorry, I have volume. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Man, without a doubt, we always have technical issues at some point. Yeah, we need. We need a fucking sound guy, man. We need somebody who knows how these. We need a technician. (laughs) If there's any technicians in the room, raise your hand and be our technician for us. Thanks. Okay, let's reel this back in here. All right. All right. Pull it in. So, what's everyone's plans for tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll I'll tell later. Yeah. All right. Sorry, we have some like background people. Yeah. Oh, no, Everybody shut the fuck up. Everybody shut the fuck up. Okay. What's everyone doing tomorrow? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sarah. Do people trick or treat when there's snow on the ground? Yes. Okay. <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh yeah. I in, remember. In I remember... Canada, you just wear jackets and boots. You just cover yeah, yeah. your awesome <laughs> costumes up with jackets and mitts Dude, I remember, and shit. Yeah, I remember when I was a little fucking tyke. You just use Spider Man legs. Around, I'd be running around. <laughs> I'd be running around in a full on snowsuit. Yeah. And it'd be underneath the snowsuit. Oh my God. Yeah, like at that point, so all you saw, all you saw a was a mask. Aww. Yeah. But like you had to get into the spirit of the thing, so you wear the whole thing. Yeah. Because if you didn't wear the whole thing, then you weren't wearing your costume. You're just wearing right. a mask. Yeah. So then people would get upset. Like kids would get upset. Would you get upset? Yeah. Well, I've never experienced only, you know what? Wind. Like in California, it'll be like hella Picture? windy and like chilly. And- yeah. Girl! Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Is popping. Sarah? I feel like that's the worst it's ever been for Halloween. Yeah. The Santa Anas really are unrelenting. Like, my brother yeah. lost his fucking pool cover and shit. Or not the pool cover, like a little patio cover that was bolted to the ground. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It bends signs and crap. It knocks trucks over. It's yeah, crazy. it definitely knocks trucks Hey, Sarah, over. I feel like, I feel like we, can, we can hear you clearly as long as we're not talking when you're talking. Yeah. yeah. So She's what, like, okay, I'm so gonna drink my beer. <laughs> Tonight we practice broadcast etiquette. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it, we're gonna. Oh, oh. Uh, oh no, what, what happened? Something about fucking. We something. shouldn't have said shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking fucking can, fuck. Can we get somebody out there to dub Sarah's words in for her after? Yeah, please, <laughs> please do. Bad, <laughs> bad lip reading. <laughs> It'd be bad perfect. Lip bad lip reading for all of us. Yeah. Neil, you, Neil like, you're gonna should... go to a party tomorrow. That's gonna be one of our episodes. Yeah, a little get together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like really Are you going to be with the other Morgans? I the other, other Morgans? Yeah. Right. Right. Other Morgans. Fuck those Morgans. Other ones. Wait, wait. Not our Morgans. Not no, our other no, Morgans. Not our other Morgans. <laughs> no. His other Morgans. A whole no. bunch of Morgans out there. Yeah. Yeah. What did you say, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't work if I freeze because you can see the meter here going up and down. Did anybody do homework? 
Uh, it worked for what? I got a lo- I got an urban legend. So did oh, I. Okay, so we're doing the urban legend thing right now. I guess <laughs> <laughs> there was even no like a real well, segue I mean, into it. Would just say, anybody do any homework? I've totally got crap to talk in about. General? And then yeah, okay. yeah. Well, we could go off of uh, urban legends and then maybe go into our favorite horror movies that we saw this year. Okay, that yeah. sounds like a fucking delight. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. All right, so. Urban legends. Any motherfuckers in the ether have any urban legends you'd like to discuss with us? Go ahead and comment on our fucking page. Um, I just want to go ahead and plug us just a little bit right here. Like us. Fucking smash that like button, please. That's right. Follow us on fucking Twitter. Our Twitter. Follow us on fucking YouTube. We're on Twitter. Right? <laughs> Follow us on fucking Facebook so you know when we're going to be doing the happenings that happen when we happen it. MySpace. Go to MySpace. Look us up on Look MySpace. Us, if you find us fucking awesome, like, yay. Bebo. Bebo. Right? Bebo, High yeah. five. Bing us. Please. Yeah. Yeah, look at me at least every once in a while. www.geocities.com slash F this network. Google right. Plus to our website. That Google. was a thing. Yeah. yeah. It died uh, pretty quick, but it was a thing. <laughs> AIM. Find us on AIM. Yeah. And we'll chat with you. That was That's a life, right. wasn't it? <laughs> Dial up was a great life. Yahoo chat. Oh, yeah. Find us on Yahoo chat and we'll find That's we'll right. Fucking, That's right. One of the Yahoo groups. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find like dirty dick pics on Yahoo. Yahoo You'll group. find oh, his. This is not. Okay. Yeah, this is not congruent sites. to our show right now, Sarah. Yeah. This sucks. She looks like she's in a music video. I know. Like a 90s like hip hop music video. Absolutely. Like something she's right out of like, more She's more like Christina daddy. Aguilera right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. there we go. I finally got into the chat. Okay. Right? There. Do the hands. Do the hands. What happened? <laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> I just look like a freak because I got Jeff Goldblum in my background. <laughs> It's his new one though, because he copied. Oh, yeah. He's like staring. Right I want to like mo- I want to like move my phone so I can see it. I know. Just I'm sorry. Welcome, Jessica. Hey, Jess. Hey, hey Jessica. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Oh, there we go. We can now. Yeah, just do that. What you just did. Oh my Lord Jesus in heaven, son of a <laughs> motherfucker! I feel like being the beep. <laughs> You're totally like. Now, now you're just, just too crazy. It. You need to calm down, take a breather. Now you're just clipping. Just angry. There you go. Take five. Talk, Wait. talk like your D and D voice. We'll be fine. Hello. There, there, <laughs> there you go. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just okay. I'm trying to figure out why it's so snowy. Right. Is it the weather? Yeah. <laughs> It's Friday night. Friday night. Everything, everything is so clippy right now. That's, that's, that's why ridiculous. It's Here, you guys. Did anybody, just... did anybody bring President Snow to the table? Anybody? This isn't anybody. Hunger Games. Anybody? No. anybody? I guess not. Uh, possibly not. <laughs> that's a. <laughs> uh, that taste. Okay. Anyway, so I... urban legends. Yes. Uh-huh. Bring Say, it in, Neil. I got it. I got it. Right, so, Would anybody like to start? I guess Neil was into Neil. I, I could. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the more Neil. recent one. Okay. So compared to like all the other urban legends, this can sort of be considered it, but Slender Man. Okay. Yeah. So, so basically the internet has its own like urban legends. Oh. Right. Called Creepypasta. Yep. And this is where Slenderman was originated. Originated. Okay. So, so began. Um, came out with stories. I, I I don't know if I told you guys this, but the first time I came across Slenderman on on the internet, I came across this YouTube video, and it was like this documentary, and I totally thought it was real. <laughs> did <laughs> no, you really? I did. So I was like, "Holy shit! Why is nobody talking about this?" Like <laughs> Neil went crazy. hard one night. <laughs> I did. And like, I showed my family it because I was like, "Dude, this is so crazy." <laughs> you went that crazy that you showed yeah. other people. And then, it, like, not long after that, I was like, "Oh, it's actually just like an urban legend. It's just okay." But like, I got a kick out of it because it creeped the fuck out of my ten-year-old sister at the time. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it creeped her out because I was going to work during the night shift, and it was just her and my other brother that were home and she was like 
well, I'm not going to hang out alone in my room. I'm just going to watch TV like in the downstairs living room because my brother would be gaming out in his room. And I'm like, why? Because you're afraid of the Slender Man? He's like, <laughs> no. I'm like, you're afraid that he's going to stare right into your window, your bedroom window? Ew. And like, their, her, her bedroom window was on the second floor. Oh, gross. <laughs> and she got creeped out even more. <laughs> <laughs> Almost on the verge of crying. Nice. <laughs> mean. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that, no, that reminds me um, of. Uh, the Outsiders, yeah, or The Outsider, The Outsider, yeah, it's uh, that new Stephen King, new new Stephen King novel, slash show, it's slash, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a new TV show. It, it Weren't you talking is. about that on uh, My Favorite Murder? I believe they were so, but the new show, but the but the book is fucking great. Yeah, it's really really fucking good. Um, and Slender Man, kind of like that that. That what oh, you just said right there. There's a there's a, there's a scene written in, in the novel where the little girl looks outside, and then there's on the some, second story, she's on the second floor and she looks outside at nighttime, and there's some dude standing there, Ugh. but he's got straws for eyes. So wait, like straws? Straws? Like for drinking eyes. straws? No, it's like a uh, uh, hay straws. Oh, like straw? Yeah. Oh, straw for eyes. Sorry. Plural straw. <laughs> Yeah, wound, wound to look like eyes. Ooh, gross. So, so we cannot hear you. Dry all. eyes. So the other people, the, the the premise is that he's like a, a he gets skin suits. Type of Ooh, situation. that's fun. Right. So what's the thing with Slenderman though? Like I get that it's this spooky thing that everybody talks about that doesn't exist, but what's up with this guy? So. As the name implies, he's a tall, slender man in a suit, and he has a—he doesn't have a face. Yeah. So it's like pasty white, and he'll have tendrils on him. And based on the video games and based on the stories and, and, and such, it's almost similar to a demonic possession in that you get tormented by him for quite a while. It's actually—I would say—it's more like. Um, the chick ghost from the grudge uh -huh. in that they like, torment you for a bit before either kidnapping you or killing you right and just make you go crazy yeah so is it so the, he mainly kidnaps like i guess kids and teenagers so where where like for me i think that like the premise comes from the the the, the, the businessman without a face yeah yeah the, the soulless businessman without a face. Yeah. There's a painting like that. Oh yeah, right? and where he's where he's holding the apple in front of his face with the hat above, the right, bowler. floating. Yeah, yeah the bowler, suit, and he doesn't have a face behind the apple, mm -hmm. right? So, like for me, when you're talking about Slender Man, that's where I go to. Yeah, right? and then so kids that, with Minecraft. Yeah. Oh yeah, Enderman. Yeah. So that was Enderman. See, like, the Enderman was by yeah. It. Yeah. Um, what really got me to believe that it was real at first was um, in that documentary. The, it's called Slender Suits. I think it's still on uh, YouTube. But um, basically, some really talented Photoshop people photoshopped the Slender Man in these old photos. And it looked pretty convincing. Nice. And it's always like photos around like kids at a park or kids playing or just menacingly in the background somewhere huh yeah that's awesome super creepy and there's there's a really great like youtube series uh called marble hornets uh -huh. where it's like obviously found footage style but it's like probably one of the best slender man um shows on <laughs> on youtube and there's like a couple hundred episodes and they're each like range anywhere anywhere from like two and a half minutes to five minutes um they're a great follow uh, i probably stopped at around like episode 50 or 60 really yeah. you went that far oh, yeah. i thought you, you were fucking, gonna be like i probably I stopped, stopped around, around episode, episode 10 <laughs> 6 that's deep down he fell, he, he fell down that <laughs> Yeah, I was 50. all about that shit when I first found it. I was like, oh, there's a YouTube series on it? I'm going to check it <laughs> I out. I do that, too. I do that, too. And it's like it's it's like 90% mystery. You don't really see Slender Man in it. It just, does, it just builds the atmosphere and does a really great job of, like, when he does appear, it's a really frightening experience. <laughs> huh. It's awesome. 
that's a good one. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, that's one of the more recent ones. Oh. I don't. I don't. Yeah, people can relate more to that one. Yeah. Yeah, and, it, and you know, there was that case like five or six years ago, that unfortunate case where those kids believed that what they were doing was for Slender Man. Yeah, oh, what yeah. was that about? So, and then everybody was like freaked out that this was a real situation. Oh, I it, never about that. That's crazy. It yeah. was really fucked up. It was like they attempted to murder their friend. And these are like preteen kids, mm-hmm. girls. Children. They're like 12 to 14. And they just like really the point. shit out of this poor girl. And she survived. Uh, and they were saying they were doing that for Slender Man. That's fucked. It, it's really messed up. That's There's really a documentary fucked. for it on uh, each on uh, Crave or HBO Max. Oh, nice. Or okay. American. We should check it out <laughs> <laughs> for our American followers <laughs> and for our American. So followers. that's that's uh, my urban legend for the week. That's awesome. For the year. Oh, okay, <laughs> so his kind of reminded me of one that I. That is was really very 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 recent. Um, it was that that Mimu. Oh yeah. Chick. Oh yeah. Okay. So Momo. Momo. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it was. Well, that, anyways, fuck uh, that chick. Right. <laughs> fuck that whole thing. Right. But <laughs> but <laughs> parents parents were like they were freaking in, out. It was just a yeah. art. It was like a. a it was like a Japanese art. art. Japanese yeah. artist it was just who an just artist. did a thing. Yeah. Right. And then some troll went and fucking just. Implanted all these fucking pictures of Moo Moo or Ma Ma or Mai or Mai Mai off YouTube for like a month and a half. So that yeah. was cool. well, what was really funny about it is like all the parents were freaking out and then they were That's asking their kids, kids yeah. "Hey, what's up with this? Do you know this?" And they're like, "Yeah, like it was nothing. Like they've known <laughs> no. about it for ages, yeah. and everybody right. else is were, stepping but, up like five years later." But then there was like then there was like these videos of these like parents like saying that their kids were like. This thing was telling their kids to do really creepy shit. Kill the dogs. And what well, was like in the, the videos and then that. The dog. Because right. the trolls the were dog. taking it. Like yeah. bad people were taking that shit and then yeah. making it something else. There's always going to be some kind of asshole that's going to so fuck. Was, yeah. It was like, in the first place, it was just a troll situation that turned into so this, this urban legend. Yeah. That, well, I don't think it's an urban legend. Well, it's right it, now, but it's not really an urban legend because it's it's something that really does exist. It was just something that someone turned into something crazy. Right, yeah. right, mm-hmm. right. I just thought it, it was something that exists that it. someone turned into an urban legend. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. Right, right. Which I yeah, I I just thought of it right now. So I didn't do any of my fucking homework. So I was just like, oh, there we go. But that's something too, something that exists that turns into an urban legend that people like to talk about is kind of what describes my thing. Okay. So we all know that on Game of Thrones, they had dire wolves, right? Yes. So mine's going to be about dire wolves. <laughs> and I hold on, I need to. I'm not going to be on the video for a second. Um, I have. A thing that I have saved. Just a second. Uh, all right. Just a second. I took a screenshot. Where did I go? Yes. Where did I go? Okay, hold on. So, what's groovy about this is that everybody turned it into. Oh, shit. Everybody turned it into a urban legend. But dire wolves were said to not only exist, but um, became like non-existent. Mm-hmm. But they said that there's actually been viewings recently. Recently. Yeah. Just a second. Sorry, guys. No, you're good. Mm-hmm. I don't know where it went. It's gone. Can you we made, get me, some you made me look up freaking cholo mustaches and I lost the link. <laughs> nice. My bad, guys. Look at my I'll just look massage. it up again. <laughs> I should have just took off my mask. I should have just took off my mask, gave you my mask, and told you to look at me. Mm-hmm. Here's your troll mustache. Yeah, it says that it's a, an extinct species, but they've said that there's not, that it's not extinct. There's been um, sightings in Ireland and um, Yugoslavia. Okay. All right. Well, Are they big nice. ass regular wolves? Yeah, they're just massive. They're just giant fucking wolves. And they said that they would weigh um, 150 to 250 pounds. Wow, that's like a lion. Very dense bones. So like when they found them, they're like, yeah, that's a dire wolf. 
<laughs> Whoa. So I thought that was I thought that was interesting because I want to talk about ball. creatures. That's cool. Because That's obviously cool. where we live here in Canada, everyone says that we have Sasquatches. Yeah. That's a good one if you're a believer. Neela, looking at your picture here with the monkey mask on, and your fucking face is just stroking out like, oh. It's the fucking best thing ever. It makes bro. it look even more monkey like. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you just smoked a fat bull. <laughs> uh, elevated real quick. Oh, okay. So yours reminded me of another one. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I don't have ones so that go fucking uh, go crazy. Okay. All right. All right. I can't think of anything. <laughs> all right. So she's talking about Dire Wolves. Um, recently, they created this lovely, beautiful movie that stars uh, Statham. Right. right? He oh, yeah. Loves that guy. All right. And it's a science fiction movie with regards to sharks. David Statham? Jonathan Statham? <laughs> Jordan Statham? Right. That's right. Jason Isn't Statham. Jack Statham. Handsome Rob. That's right. Statham. That handsome devil. Handsome Rob. His cousin Rob. Yeah. Oh man, some rub. Anyways, so the movie is called The Meg. Right. All right. And it's with reference to the Megalodon. And there are like constant rumors about like massive teeth being found off the coast of South Africa. Right. Right. Or you're finding like you're finding massive whales being chomped into that mm-hmm. look like they've been taken with like one massive bite like when someone takes a bite out of a side of a side burrito. of a sandwich right? oh, like, total spaz like a perfect fucking bite tell owen right. he does that i'm like owen my kid I I'm do like, when i eat a sandwich right when you're just going for it because yeah. you haven't it's eaten like, in five years ah, you're just fucking ravenous perfect teeth marks yes right so there's that i hope that for is. things like this right <laughs> I want Meg to to be alive. Absolutely. And I want Meg to come and eat everybody. No Trump, and then everybody else is cool. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> yeah, it could rule the ocean. I, I'm out totally okay with not going to the ocean <laughs> ever. I'm perfectly again. fine <laughs> not being in the ocean ever. I think I think that like whales going all freaking crazy pickle, you know, throwing themselves out of the water and landing on boats. That scares me way more. <laughs> oh, dude. I you know, all scary. willy-nilly throwing themselves around. <laughs> the Moby Dick's going to out! Giant pickles. Those massive pickles. Green pickles. Sarah, did you have one? Yes. Actually, I have, like, one or two that were urban legends, and then I have a real something that happened that I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah. I know. Are you going to get into real, too? Yeah! Well, I mean, I am. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Here, I was getting into real, I know. Okay, okay, okay. So I looked up both California and Mississippi because I was born in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And there is a urban legend called the Three-Legged Lady of Nash Road. Now, people say that they've seen her or uh, uh, some kind of shadow with three limbs and that it's this crazy there's two renditions one is that it's a mother that was searching for her daughter who was dismembered and she found her daughter's leg and went crazy and attached it to her body Ooh. Uh, okay so um and then the other rendition was that it was it was old days and that she, it was a woman who lost her husband and found his leg and then sewed it to her body i mean it's like how does he his leg i know <laughs> I, really? I could see he was going to say it, so I said it first. <laughs> okay, so where he came from was Robert Wilson selling his soul to the Yazoo Witch. Many ghost stories in Mississippi persist, but the three-legged lady gets one changing, so she's she changes her form to scare the most scary. Okay. So Shut up, Malcolm. What's up? It says, either way, turn off your headlights on the stretch of road and don't be surprised if you're forced to confront a specter herself. So it's whenever you turn off your lights and you drive down Nash Road in Mississippi, they say that you hit something and that it's the lady because there's never an animal to be found. Oh, my God. To like some creepy shit to freak you out and people who've seen her in her three-legged form for either from her daughter or her husband that was dismembered and she went off and tried to find them that's amazing 
And then the California one, I was actually really surprised because, you know, everybody knows about the orange show. And when the orange show comes to town in orange. The rain. The ra- it always rains because it's on an Indian burial ground. So mm-hmm. the spirits and, you know, those who um, worship the earth, they come back and they wreak hell and just kind of rain on your parade because you're yep. doing a very sacred area. So you know what's really funny about that, Sarah? Is that every time the fair would come here, it would rain the first day too. Is it on an oak a- that's like a hollow ground? I mean, probably. Right. Right. I'm not too certain. <laughs> I couldn't really say. It's for like sure, you but... can count on it. It's yeah. so bizarre. But we have that in California too, and it's called the Orange Show, and it's it rains every opening weekend. Yeah, and I think isn't Orange Shows like in fucking like May or something? Like it's, it's- not. Well, Mother's Mother's Day has Saturday been mass. on that time too. So, is it May? May's no. March, May, one of those. I don't care. Anyway, something like that. California. Now, Shantae, being from California yourself, you would think that we would know most of the urban legends, especially if they were like creepy as hell, right? Yeah. Okay, so check this shit out. This is the urban legend of the many horrors of Turnbull Canyon. Okay. Have you ever heard of it? Turnpool, Turnpool Canyon? Turnbull. So it's like a Turnbull. Turnbull. Where is it? Um, it is located near LA between Whittier and City of Industry. So we've been there many times. Yeah, I don't think I ever knew the name though. Uh, no, I didn't either. But I mean, um, okay. So it's a 49,000 acre smorgasbord of nightmares. Fuel to set fire amid the, uh, amid the scenic hills. So there's the natives call it Hatukugna. Excuse me if I'm butchering that. And in their language, it's called the place of the devil, uh, where ghosts of those slain for not converting to Christianity. So the natives who refused to, to follow their religion were slain alongside people who were believed to be witches and Satanists who reportedly use the place to sacrifice children whose, sp- whose spirits now walk the canyon and dangle from the trees. You can see them hanging, I guess. <sighs> oh my God, I want to go there now. All right, check this shit out. This will give you goosebumps. So I guess they're joined by 21 children who perished in a crane, a plane crash back in 1952. The plane was flying over and just lost everything and boom. Shut up. So allegedly, there's no existing record of the plane incident, but people are like, yeah, my grandpa's brother died or something. And then there's the remains, check this shit out, of an old insane asylum that came back to life and teens say it killed their friend in the mid-60s via a long, dormant electrical wire. That's so crazy. There are also cults that meet there. People say that they've had alien encounters and some gravity hills. If you don't know what gravity hills are, it's remember that old gravity hill that used to be in the north end where you would stop your car, put it in neutral, and your car would go up this hill. And I'm talking like it was an incline. Isn't there one in Waterman Canyon? Yes. That's, yeah. I think we're talking about the same one. Yeah. Um, so gravity hills are like insane. If you're in the car and your shit starts going and you're in neutral and you know, you could be in a truck or a tank and it'll still go up. Yeah. It yeah. pulls you. The list goes on and on. There's a story about something happening in the seemingly accursed Canyon where it all came from. The place's evil vibes date back centuries, though it wasn't until the site was established as a fur trapping site in 1845 that things started to get really intense with the word of the site's terrors traveling far and wide and making it a place visited for its much beauty as well as morbid curiosity absolutely so those were my my oh my gosh they might be true now i have a real life horror story for you yeah yeah bring it year 2020 yeah well i mean it's it's in modern times yeah okay so uh there was like an exorcism the doll uh okay so this one i thought was really wait what (laughs) dolls and exorcisms yeah because i like was scrolling and stuff and i picked the one that was like what the fuck so there was um a home in auburn pennsylvania in 2015 so yes this is very recent Um, And they were getting it insulated because it was an old home and maybe a vacation home. Um, But as they pulled the walls apart to put insulation in, they found scores of dead animal carcasses. 
Now, they, yeah, they had just been boarded up in the walls. Um, so there was a report done by Fox News out there, I suppose, where the dead animals were wrapped in newspapers from the 1930s and 40s and were among half-used spices as well as other household items. After removing the items, they sent hundreds and hundreds of artifacts and carcasses to an expert in Kuztown, wherever the fuck that is. Um, Kuztown? <laughs> Who said Kuz? That's what I heard. Kuztown. Kuztown. Well, whatever. Anyway. I want to go to Kuztown. I want to go there. Well, I, that's like we something go? you say just before you have sex. I want to go I'm to going Kuz Kuz Town. Town. Yeah. Town sounds a little bit better. Like, <laughs> okay, so the expert attributed the rotting animals in their walls to powwow or Dutch magic, a ritual originating in the culture of the Pennsylvania Dutch to treat ailments and gain physical as well as spiritual protection. The Pennsylvania Dutch were a group of German-speaking settlers who came to Germany in the 16 and 1700s. So sometimes they were of Amish faith, Lutheran, Mennonite, but then you had these other guys that were like, not that. Mm -hmm. anyway. Not Mennonite? <laughs> not Lutheran? Yeah. So, so they just didn't care about smells then, I guess. Yeah. They didn't have noses. That's what the... Um, the Vices the, were for? for and the paper because the paper i mean if they laid them out and they dried up it wouldn't really smell that bad um so one notable ritual in their tradition is to hex to create loyalty in a dog so attach a dog to a person provided nothing else was ever used before to affect it they would draw some of your blood and then let the dog eat it with its food and the dog was supposed to stay loyal to you as long as it lived Malcolm, weren't you saying something like that? Like you're supposed to like spit in your dog's mouth or something? <laughs> that was uh, a I nice read that somewhere that that was a method yeah, that you could use. Yeah. I told, I I I I feel like it was Malcolm who told me that, and I when we got Wicket, you were like, you should spit in his mouth, and I was like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see it. <laughs> trying to tell me to do things. <laughs> So, this house with all the dead animals still smells to this day and it's due to be condemned and then pulled down. Dude. So there is one more. I, there's a te teacher that practiced Satanism, if you guys want to hear of that one, um, an exorcism in Indianapolis. Uh, you Both sound like great stories. Just pick one because I have like four more. Uh, you Let's hear about this. Um... I mean, demonic not... teacher. Yeah, I want to hear about the teacher. We got teacher, and then there's Utah murder, suicide, the phone stalker, the watcher. Phone stalker, wow. Okay, so we'll do the teacher first. Yes. Okay, okay. So, exorcism. Exorcism. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, so it's called Florida Devil Worshipping. Friends noticed that Daniel Harkins was a 35. Florida? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're dependable. <laughs> so, they play with alligators and eat mass salts. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they noticed that Daniel Hawkins, a 35 year old school teacher near St. Petersburg, Florida, started acting very strangely in June of 2012, developing, yeah, all right, in 2012, developing an interest in demonic rituals soon after she was arrested for the abuse of seven students the, the bay uh, times reported mrs hawkins told the kids they needed to rid their bodies of quote demons as the gathered before dusks on saturday around a small fire near of the pier they would cut their skin to let the evil spirits out Whoa. sometimes you have to let loose <laughs> a movie on this already maybe there is maybe there is we have a demonic nun but we don't have a demonic teacher yet <laughs> for true stories that should be made into movies so anyway it gets worse um the, the, the they should cut their skin okay so police said that she told the children then they needed to burn the wounds to ensure that those spirits would not return oh they, no Hawkins held a lighter to one teen's hand, wind blew the flame out, 
police said. That prompted her to douse his hand in perfume before setting it on fire. The boy suffered second degree burns. Another teen. Yeah. Good job. Another teen was cut on the neck with a broken beer bottle found nearby, and she wow. used a flame to heat a small house key, which she used to cauterize the wound. The wow. police were notified because a friend of one of the students who participated in the ritual raised alarms. However, have at least thrown glass in it first. <laughs> yeah. None, when they questioned, none of the kids wanted to comment whether it was true or not true. Like, they were sold like there was nothing getting out of them investigators said they spoken to hawkins but she didn't spell out what type of religion would require such drastic measures she hasn't informed us exactly what she was trying to accomplish with this he said but it was not good i mean if i was a parent and i heard all this crazy shit was going down there would be there would be blood and it would not be kids blood and there would be no cauterizing no wounds this bitch would have been empty all right. Okay. All right. Wow. Well, well, that was wow. something. Okay, I'm gonna write this down because I right. want to look it up. Okay. Right. So if there's no movie, let's make that movie. Yeah. Like a really All shitty right. fucking B horror. Satan worshiping teacher. Costs like nothing. Wait, are you drinking well, malt well, liquor, Sarah? Is, she, <laughs> is that an old English? Is that a Colt 45? <laughs> is that a cool? Sorry, say it again. It's Cobra, bitches. Oh, Are you for it's a, real? It's a cobra. What are you hanging out with Shantae and Jesus Rialto? Christ. What is this, 2000? <laughs> that, sounds like a, that sounds like all sorts of good time right there. <laughs> a fucking cult. Sitting on the a curb. A fucking cobra. A fucking, what, what, is that, what is that one called? Uh, it starts with an, an uh, naughty. Naughty ice. Some fucking naughty. Uh, that's naughty ice. That's gross. If, that's, if you really want to get fucked up and your mama's going to be home in like two hours. Yeah, you draw the line right there. <laughs> There's No, that's a four fucking loco. I'm going to get drunk yeah. in five fucking minutes. Yeah, I was five telling, minutes fucking flat. Yeah. I'll bring two of those. I'll I was be telling drunk Christopher for about four minutes. locos. I just call them cans of rape. <laughs> right. Drink one of them. You'll be drunk as fuck. And then you'll have a hangover in two hours. Yeah. I wish. It's like perfume. <laughs> they taste like perfume. No, you don't. <laughs> It's like the worst. It's the fucking worst malt liquor ever oh. created. I remember I got two of them, but and I'm like, gets, "Come on, Chris, it gets you where you need and to go." And we drank them, and then we're like, really "Drunk as fuck!" <laughs> and then an hour later, we're like, Ugh. <sighs> "But a bus station where you need to go that you don't know anybody, and there's like crack needles underneath the thing. You don't need to go there. Like you didn't even want to go." Wake up on a roof. <laughs> no pants. With no pants. That's what happened one in the. Sock. Just drink two of them if you want to not know no what's pants, going on in your life. One sock. Four mm-hmm. locos. Two hobos around a fire. That's and right. A partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Amen. Tay, those hobos would have bought you any liquor you wanted as long as you gave them like a beer or whatever, like five bucks. Yeah. Give them a shot. Give them a shot. In the mouth. Yep. Uh, uh, a shot in the mouth. In their man. mouth. Ew! Ew! <laughs> I want to talk about I want to talk about the shit that's acceptable for Halloween, but no other day. Mm. Oh, that's like everything, unless you're us. <laughs> um, that's that's me putting Neil up. being a slut is Jeez, acceptable Neil. any Anytime. day. Fucking Are fucking slut sure? shaming right now. Are Jesus sure? Christ! I'm not slut shaming. I'm just Dude, like... <laughs> it's acceptable. It's, it's it's what's great about today or tomorrow is that I can fucking put a, a, a I can put a raccoon fucking tail in my ass. And walk, around, walk around with a little skirt on. Walk around with a little skirt on. Some fucking nice fucking thigh highs. Just do some taking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're video taking drugs. <laughs> nice. We're for sure gonna get fucking flagged. Goodbye. How about uh, um, dead bodies in your yard? Right. For everyone to see. Oh. Um. What else? I'm trying to think of like, Holy like shit, funny there's a things, right? <laughs> like um, shit that goes down that you cannot do. So somebody ask uh, people uh, give little kids, but no, religious water. people do that. Yeah. What kids. else? They're like, so somebody in the chat mentioned to watch these talk to strangers, scotch. kids. A couple of people in the chat mentioned oh, Matt Bernard mentioned Green Lady. Everyone on our res heard of that one. Is that the witch? But. Yeah. Yeah, it's different in like every local thing here. Like, like um, I when when I was told the story, it wasn't that she was a witch, but that you know she died and had a kid or whatever. And if you hear a baby crying in the woods, to not go towards it at all. 
Yeah, that, that's the version that I heard. Is that the same one for you? If I hear a baby, I'm going. Let a bitch come get me. Who's that? Uh-huh. Yeah. The version. Trying to help is you accepting it, right? Mm-hmm. The, the version that I heard, like, in the woods is that, like, if you ever encounter her, to not turn your back on her, otherwise you'll, like, die. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a few different, like, variations of the story. Yeah, it, I think it's, like, different with every nation in the area here. Like, it's probably different here. And then, like, where, I, where I'm from, it's a bit different there. Um, some of the other um, First Nations group in the, groups in the area probably have other variations that are similar, but maybe different in other regards. Um, yeah, the one I heard was like, where are you from? Runs across the uh, Nass Valley. New Ireland. Pass. Hi. 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 And then somebody else in the chat here mentioned um, that the get uh, reading uh, Jessica's comment here is saying the gets in have a supernatural animal that we call, and I apologize for butchering this, the wehu. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's W E T X W, wehu. I'm probably mispronouncing it. I apologize. Um, I, think, is, I think that I think that XW is a who? No, just a who. There you go. There you go. Wah. Okay. That it's sounds a, it's cool, an air man. sound. Hey. You got to have that little bit of phlegm for the language yes. in this area here. You got to be a smoker, Neil. You're a smoker. Come on. <laughs> There's no Clear your throat. That. <laughs> so, uh, so it is an uh, which is the otter that's what yep. it is um she says she goes on to say we have heard that the otter can transform and to not trust anyone who covers their mouth the otter can also transform into a person you may know but covers their mouth and tries to bring you to the water uh, so i, I assume that you. they try to like lure you yeah. into a body of water where you meet a grisly fate. Yeah. Yep, I was told that that otters are shapeshifters. Yeah, but I love otters. I know, right? Like I fucking love them. I want to go swim with them. Probably not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> bye. Uh, you'll, you'll look really fucking weird for one, <laughs> even if nothing happens. Well, whatever. Holy shit, look at this guy. Just smelling your hair. Biden's <laughs> <laughs> head. It's all fucking sweaty and curly. <laughs> okay. So, so what's ex what's weird and acceptable on Halloween, but not any other time? Giving right? candy to kids. Like, here's like a what a whoopee cushion. Yeah. What else is okay? Telling um, your kids making, to go to talk to strangers, making it look like I ran over somebody in my car. Yeah, I was. I was gonna say making your house <laughs> attractive to attract little kids to come over so you can. Yeah, luring children. <laughs> luring children. Luring children. Luring children. Luring children. So you can give them like like candy. Hansel and Gretel. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, dude. It is, it's dude. It come, <laughs> come knock at my door and have some candy. Right. <laughs> Don't get, but, um, Come get some candy. I mean, what me. people are doing this year is cool. Is the, you know they're making a little shoots. Yeah, they put the candy down and shoot for the kid. Yeah, yeah. that's Ooh. okay. I got one though. Like, how about? Right, go. Um, god damn it! I had. Are one. we ready for she this? Forgot. Oh no! Okay, so how? <laughs> how about putting vegetables on your front porch? Like, <laughs> that's a good way to get fucking toilet paper, man. That's a good way to get a fucking paper full of shit. No, she's talking about pumpkins. It's not a vegetable, <laughs> though. How about we leave some it's fucking like arug arugula and the carrots on our porch? Broccoli, yes. some fucking cauliflower. We carve, we carve pumpkins and faces pumpkin. into pumpkins and leave them Yeah, on. duh. So, what was your suggestion? Scotch is so good. <laughs> oh, you're drinking? It's not November. It's about costumes. 
the best Halloween costumes? Yes. Yeah. Well, what are the best Halloween costumes? Have, have you guys seen any cool costumes so far? Mine. Besides ours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that one. That's a good one. Mr. Wilson. Yeah. That's a good one. Hey, hi ho, neighbor. Mm. We couldn't hear him. What did he say? He was talking about um, somebody dressed up as um, Mr. Wilson. From He's home. talking about best costumes. Home, home, home improvement. Yes. Oh, oh, with the fence. That was so cute. I did see that. Yeah, that's cool. I like that's a good that. one. Yeah. I, I saw. I haven't seen anybody dressed up this year because we haven't seen anything. We're I, early. I saw a broad. Who, I saw a broad wear a, a, a bathing suit, but it looked like she had really fluffy, really fluffy chest uh-huh. that tapered down. To a really massive dick. All right. What? That's bold. How? Bold. And that was a Halloween costume. Yeah, it's in my mind. I can't. But no, how? No, no, no. Not not tits. It looked like she she was wearing a bathing suit. Yeah. Yeah. That made it look like she had fluffy hair on her chest. Oh, the fabric is the fabric yeah. on the swimsuit looked like a dude, so it looked like a belly. Yeah, and then she and then she wore like obviously she wore a big massive strap on. Oh, you put a wiener in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, like, hung it out the side. And I, was I just hope like... she washed that wiener before she attached <laughs> it to her shirt. It was, it was rough. It was like the <laughs> worst costume. That's it was, gross. It was dirty. Cute. I guess we'll see tomorrow, dirty. huh? <laughs> costumes. Uh, one of the one of the one of the best costumes that I've seen so far is um um. He was dressed. This little boy was dressed as uh, from Aliens. Um, xenomorph. Zen- xenomorph. Oh, nice. He was like xenomorph, like one hundred percent, and it was one hundred percent made. Oh, the costume yeah. was fucking one hundred percent made. The head and everything. Everything. Right. Like the whole thing. Are you talking it about race? Yeah. Yeah. Race. Yeah. Fucking dope. That was impressive. It was so fucking good. He made that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that he made awesome. it like a one hundred percent handmade, yeah. and it looked just like a fucking xenomorph. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking killer, killer. I think my favorite is all the food, like burritos and tacos. Yeah, I I like Layla tacos. was a bacon this candy. year. She's a taco, yeah. and I'm just like, I just want to be. I thought you were talking about candy. I just want to be great food. That's all. I just want to be yeah. a taco. I want to be a burrito. I can live my dream once a year. I want to be. A it feels like a lifetime ago, but what about Tiger King? People dressing up as Tiger. I know. <laughs> Are there gonna be Tiger King outfits this year? Be fucking pickle Rick, oh. and then all you gotta do is just lay there, right? I don't move. I totally didn't even think that about that. That sounds like a really boring night. Dude, Kim Car- dressed up as Carol. You're an adult, and you don't have kids, and you're just like, I'm gonna dress up and vibe in my living room all alone. <laughs> 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 literally, not really. Yeah, literally veg out. <laughs> My favorite experience so far in Halloween was watching Pollux go up to people's houses in his house, and all the old ladies were putting candy on his front porch. Yes, that was the best <laughs> was, fucking thing. Because he was like, he'd walk up to the house and be like, "Just put it on the porch." Yeah, because they'd open so, the door and see a little house, house sitting, sitting there, there. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, "This kid is ridiculous." <laughs> He wasn't so, like so right. So I mean, I'm pretty sure classic. everybody's everybody's heard this story. But last year, when we asked our son what he wanted to be for Halloween, he said he wanted to be a house. He wanted to be a house, and we're like, okay. What? So how are we gonna do this? So we built him a house out of fucking cardboard. Yeah. And so if you could find, to, I put a front porch to, on it, and it had a front door. I bought yeah. little tiny pumpkins. He little had tiny pumpkins, pumpkins on, on it, and we had lights all over it. Cobwebs. It, it was cobwebs. It was legit it a house, like a fucking haunted house. Laura Meyer says one of the kids at her kid's school dressed up as a barbecue. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. He's just dressing up like an animate kid. object. She got him both to stand yeah. side by side. Man. Yeah. yeah. Standing out differently. That's so Everybody's going to be just... the superhero or that Some sort of person. typical fucking bullshit. Be something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if that's what they are. Well, but like no, I'm Spider-Man. just loving this weird shit, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. these kids I mean, in there. Uh, we have a weird kid, and yeah. he likes weird shit. He's like next this year, year he should be a table. <laughs> this year, this year he just wanted to be a. Sh- yeah. He wanted, he wanted to, be to be a shadow. shadow. How cute is that? I loved your picture. I'm just sitting there, like by the door, and trying to freak you out. <laughs> just being a creep. That's yeah. actually legitimately creepy because people do see shadow people around. Too. Shadow <laughs> kids running through. Shadow kids. Yeah. So we got little shadow What's kid even running more around. Creepier than a shadow person, a shadow, shadow child. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. When you think, wow. 
a midget. That would be sad. Or like a small person. Yeah. Did you just say right. the fucking M word? Don't God damn it, Sarah. Whoa, wait, what? She just said the M word. M word. Malcolm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Probation? Menstruation? Remember Man. when we went to to Hollywood that one year and we saw like five different marches? marches yeah. In? yeah. And then we it was funny. We were driving and then the car was filled oh. with dudes that were dressed up like Kiss. Yeah. And they were just like, they all looked and looked at us at the same time. And it was really creepy. Yeah. I remember <laughs> that. And, and no, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't Marge. It was um, um, from um, the Flintstones. It was Wilma. Oh, was- Wilma. Yeah. No, it was Marge. Well, then we saw several Wilmas. Yeah, we saw. Okay, that was the thing: is we saw like black Wilmas, white yeah, Wilmas. Well, yeah. We saw Asian Marge well, and yeah. black Marge. Yeah. Some of them look slutty. Some of them look regular. Like yeah. it was like how many? It was really weird seeing a slutty Marge. Well, it was just weird that there were so many people that wanted to be Marge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not weird to want to be Marge, but I thought it was just like, why are there so many? Why are there so many? Everybody only wants. Why would why would why did everybody get on this like fucking vibe right there? It's funny. Hey, my kids dressed up as Trump. I'm gonna take a picture with them. Oh my god! Can you take a picture wow, of you kicking yeah. them in the fucking face? No. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. So gross. Fuck Double that kid. Straight fuck that kid. We just we just find you know just okay. One, don't one don't Trump. kick the kid in well, the it's face. It's a scary the costume. That's hold for on. Sure. Hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Here <laughs> we dress a, a friend up that we don't really give a fuck about. That's so we can kick him in the face. And then we just beat the shit out of him. Oh, please. Conference. I'll dress up as Trump. You can beat the <laughs> shit out of me. Where's that one dude? He's going to like talk shit. I like a little, fucking, I like a little <laughs> less of him. No, we'll just do like professional wrestling about. style. Professional <laughs> wrestling style fighting? Neil and I will be like movie fighting. Ladders? We'll like body slam you out in the snow and then uh, come okay. off the top rope up the... <laughs> We'll do real, they throw the ladders? We'll they be hit real stiff with them. Yeah, yeah. We'll do this. We'll do this. A, yeah. When's election? November third, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. Next yeah. week. Let's get. Let's get me a fucking fat suit. Let's dress me up as fucking Trump. No. Let's kick my ass. I literally oh, will please. like never sleep in the bed with you ever again. <laughs> He's gonna wear it. You'll to sleep bed. other places with me. I'll no, I won't. No, I won't. Off the top, onto you. I'll use like your the language. Swanton bomb. How many? How many of our viewers know no. of the legendary no. Hardy Brothers from the nineties? Oh yes, Hardy Boys. Yes. I'm on the books. Team Hardy Extreme, Boys. Swanton bomb. That's what they did. They. It's basically a fancy name for a front flip uh, dive onto somebody. Okay, that's you a finisher. Up, you that's a funky Neil's, finisher. We we, we Neil's know demons. Neil's, yeah, I know Matt and uh, Neil's monsters are here. Matt Hardy <laughs> and uh, what's the other dude? Uh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, right, right, yeah. yeah. And, and then uh, they fucking teamed up with Lita. I remember that because oh, I yeah. loved Lita. I had a crush Team on her. Team Extreme. I think every <laughs> every wrestling fan had a crush on her. On uh, Lita, <laughs> she was like a punk. Yeah, that was it. That that they were they were all like ahead of their time, like. Yeah. All right. Lita stop was... rolling your eyes so fucking hard. <laughs> Lita... Oh, I don't know anything. Lita... What's going on right now? I, Lita... I wasn't rolling that's... my eyes. I just don't know what's going that's, on. That's... I was just like daydreaming. Like, like right around that time, around the attitude era, I stopped watching. So that's oh, it. that's yeah. it for me right there. I right. mean, right. after right. The, the the era after that was fine, but then it was like after that it was like PG era and it's right. just not watchable. The, my jam was fucking like Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. And yeah, shit. that's yeah. when I was yeah. when I was a kid. Ultimate I thought, Warrior. oh, I knew those were the guys, right? Yeah. 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 See, I don't. There we go. Yeah. Good pull. Yeah. <laughs> mine, mine was the rock. The rock was because like, you could smell what he was cooking. Oh yeah. yeah. Most kids was Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he mm-hmm. was like, arguably bigger than Hulk Hogan, but. All those kids now are fucking alcoholics. Different era. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the rock was meth. my guy. Meth, I think, actually. <laughs> He taught me words that I never knew as a kid. I first learned all my swear words from The Rock. Nice. <laughs> from all his promos. That was so good. It was so... so was good. there a lot of cussing? On oh, yeah. This was the Attitude Era. This was, oh. like, late 90s, like, yeah. anything goes type, like, ec- like Without the edgy F-bomb. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah, just no. didn't have, like, swear words in it. There was, like... <laughs> That was like angles where like you could old, elude. old ladies yeah. gave birth to hands. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> what? <laughs> no what is this? Where are we it's, now? We're Nick? apparently back to horror movies. Uh, uh, we went yeah, to yeah. the Twilight Zone yeah. straight up. Yeah. What happened? Oh yeah. The, actually, there was one famous guy that got um, 
who was who inspired his look from the crow okay yes yeah yeah and he yes. was a big deal sting? back then too yeah yeah sting yeah uh, he, w, that, that's nwa of, uh yeah wcw and nwa too NWA, yeah he was so. part of nwa too yeah yeah but wcw and then nwo from, yeah. nwo yeah yes hey new world order i remember when like the world wildlife better got all mad that it was wwf and that's it <laughs> okay yeah yeah <laughs> So, anywho, back on track here. Right. <laughs> Ooh, motherfucker. Laura has the right, right idea. Chris Jericho all the way. Chris Jericho is the goat. Oh, that's weird. I have no idea. Chris, <laughs> Chris Jer- I know Chris Jericho. Yeah, he, he was like just coming up in the late 90s, and he's like a legend now. I just could never get behind the whole fake beating each other up thing. Well, they're legitimately beating each other up. It's just, you know, they, they decide the outcome before. Yeah, it's all scripted. Yeah. But like the falls and the hits and shit are oh, all fucking they're, they're, they're very, very legit. Real. Really? Yeah. yeah. They are? Dude, guys, yeah. guys, the guys. I thought fucking... they were faking it. Like they were no. stomping oh, when no, they would no, hit. No, no, guys break the ground before CG they hit a guy. Yeah. No. It's yeah. like in the movies, like they're really no. not slapping. Like, no, well. they're really getting slapped. They're no, just like acting. They're... It's 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 so, it, you, it, uh, one of the there's a slight things. pull to it. It's You're not getting fucking sometimes it's sometimes it's acting. Sometimes they break kayfabe. Yeah, yeah. it's it's. What did yeah, you just you, say? Kayfabe. Oh, kayfabe. Break kayfabe so, is like when you break script, you go so, off script. Yeah, okay. so yeah, kayfabe yeah. is sort of like you know how back in in the day in like the eighties and stuff. Man, explain it to me. Wrestler. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Love it. You gotta look down at it from your nose too. Yeah, do that. I'm I'm trying to. I'm just kidding. I was just fucking with you. Keep going the way we're going. So, so, you ever watch the Prestige? Yeah. No. So you know how like the the old Asian magician was like pretending to be old and frail outside of it. Yeah. Entirely. That's him committing to that. That's like kayfabe. It's the long. It's long end. Yeah, Yeah. he's living the act. Yeah. So that's what that's what kayfabe is. You're living the act. You don't see that much nowadays because it's hard. (laughs) With social media and shit, right. yeah. But like, yeah. back then, yeah, one hundred percent, they can fucking. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Man, it yeah. took the long way around. I just said acting. It's just acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, it's it's pretty much acting. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, I, it's, I, it's 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 being like in character. It's like a, you don't break character. Yeah, you know? it's okay. it's the long con. Don't go off the script too. It's a long yeah. con. That that prestige pull like totally brought it oh. all in. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Neil. You're welcome. Uh, okay. This is why I said do it. Okay, we're gonna pull it in. I'm gonna pull it in. All right. Okay. Really? All, right. Really? all right. All right. All right. Halloween treats. In your minds. What is what's the best? What is the best and worst <laughs> Halloween oh, we were treats? So happy yeah, we were just talking about this the other day. So, all right, so the worst is really easy. Okay. Uh, well, wait, easy go. for who? Do it. For, I can oh, answer oh, for oh, everyone oh, in this room, man. Say it. All right, candy go. corn. Right. No. No. Okay. For no. Me. Go ahead. No. Those little fucking caramels that have then, the the yeah. shitty the toffee. Oh, but they're not. It's, it's like not really sports. caramel. It's got like a. It's got like a. They got the little cheap little wrapper that's yeah, got yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got like bats like, on it and yeah, like cats or, and ghosts. Or it could be fucking pumpkins. It's either, pumpkins. It's either it's orange, yellow, it's and white. It's either orange or black wrapped like saltwater taffy. Yeah, it's fucking not old people taffy. Caramel. It's not uh, fucking old caramel. Old people always yes. gave it to you. Yes. It wasn't. It isn't caramel. It's they totally they, an old person thing. Yeah, to they didn't buy totally. it it's for a, Halloween. They just had it in their purse exactly, for like half the exactly, year. Exactly. <laughs> they <laughs> bought it last Halloween and kept it's it honestly, in their purse. It's kind of like I a my answer. Like an, <laughs> like an like the Kmart version or off brand version yeah. of fucking Tootsie Rolls. Yes. Oh, wow. You're feeling like Halloween Tootsie Rolls went gone wrong. It's just it's oh, like it's that. got a, it's got like a spice to it too. No. It's like a, it's a, like the, there's a tang. You know what it is? Not, it it's tastes just... like the color brown. Yes. Yeah. Like yes. if you're like, yeah. what's brown taste like? You're like, like that, that shit. I don't know even how to describe it. That's it. You Sarah, do you that. agree? Okay. So just so I have it, like they're the I like the salt water. I think the... I like salt water taffy. That shit's not salt water taffy. Right there, taffy. this shit right here. Oh yeah. That's it. Oh, so, that's not even. It's like it must be the same thing, but it's in different packaging. Yeah, yeah. this this is this was like our. There thing. was like there was one. There was ones without the they without suck. the colored fucking wrapping. There's ones where it was just, just in like wax paper wrapping yeah. as well. It's like and it was black or orange. Black Dude, that's or even orange worse. You, can, you can't even splurge to get the little fucking no, graphics. Come on, no, no. 
It was it was colored in it was just wax paper wrapped this taffy <laughs> this horrible it flavored oh, taffy. Shit. It was like different colors. Yes, and it was like the wrapping was almost see through. So yes, it was yes. Like yes. Colors and it was like oh, and it, it tasted fucking horrible. It Black was like it was like it was like getting peanuts. I'd rather you like I'd rather you bite get... into a candy apple and bite bite into a razor blade than eat those <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'd rather get acid for fucking Halloween, please. <laughs> please give me acid. Just the idea that. that people Fuck are that giving shit. away drugs and in, in yeah, candy, like exactly. everyone just has so much money oh, yeah. that they're just like gonna giving give away, away all drugs. these drugs. I'm not gonna share my. Drugs Nobody's giving you. away I'm drugs and keep candy. my drugs to my goddamn. You, you, you could tell it's people that yeah. never tried this shit before. That's like. Oh, oh no, yeah. you're gonna get drugs in your can. Yeah. Sure. You look you. it up. I fucking hope so. Right. You look it up. Hey, look at it. I try to look, I couldn't find it. No. Somebody somebody give me the name of this fucking Hold on. Yeah, let's, I don't let's know what it's called. Candy. It's just okay. absolute so shit. I'm gonna it's, look it up. it's that I'm and I got and I, I got a tie I got a tie with fucking peanuts. No. You can you I can fucking share. hated getting peanuts. Yeah, but that's like holiday because you get it too in your stocking for how for but you get nuts nuts in general for stocking. Yeah. Yeah, but you go up to this oh, house. You go is. up to this fucking house, and they don't fucking you give you candy. Screen. They give you a handful How? of fucking peanuts uh, from a really a ghetto right bag, and you're like, bottom, "Motherfucker!" Middle bottom, there's a button. Give me an apple. They fucking <laughs> give me an apple. <laughs> give me a fucking apple. <laughs> <laughs> fucking give me a toothbrush, motherfucker. <laughs> give me that fucking peanuts from that shitty looking bag. <laughs> God damn it! What am I, an elephant? <laughs> 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 You guys are saying that whole thing about peanuts, and I. There wish, it is. I wish I could have peanuts. Those are the same fucking thing. It's just yes. a different rapper. That's yes. what I'm saying. That's exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. exactly what All it right. is. Like I said, though, okay, you either got the that? you either got the one with the nice little pretty wrappers, yeah. but okay. you knew what it was from the wrapping, yeah. or you got the ones where you can see through the fucking wrapping. And you got that shitty fucking shit. And I'm just like, that's <laughs> they the don't even worst. try to hide the shittiness. Sarah, did you no. see it? Yeah, I saw it. Right. Yeah, that's right. Are we right? That's the shittiest Halloween. Two minutes filling. That's how bad it was. Like it was, like, <coughs> and it like rip your teeth out, right? Yeah. Fucking yeah. one and not even good. <laughs> God forbid you had fillings. You right? lose a fucking feeling. Head. If you it was <laughs> mid grandma. <laughs> Fuck you, grandma. Mid grandma. Yeah. Right, the best candy. Any so, candy okay. bar. It, okay, it let's, doesn't even matter doesn't even what matter. size Sarah, it is. It go ahead, Sarah, because be we can't candy. fucking hear you because we're talking. So go ahead. Like, can you hear me now? Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> I liked any kind of like full size candy bar. Like you would go to the rich neighborhoods, you know, with the big houses to make sure that you got a full size. But yeah. my favorite candy fucking ever, aside from like Twix and Kit Kat, is um, Mounds. The best. Mounds bars. The best. You got like Mounds bars. I like a good mound. Ah, uh, good <laughs> um, Let's just go around. What's your favorite? Favorite. All right. Who's, who's next? All right. Neil, you're next. Okay. I'm just going to say anything Reese's. I mm-hmm. love Reese's peanut butter cup. All right. So, regardless of if it was small or the full size bar, uh, I fucking full size went bars. for that first. All right. All right, Shante. All right. Well. Mine's different because I have an allergy now. I know. So, but mine used to be Reese's too. Uh huh. But, um, uh, uh, no, I like carrots. I'm like, I totally <laughs> have like three favorites. So, basically, anything that has nuts in it because of the crunchiness, <laughs> I like milk. It's a texture thing. It is. And then, um, I like those boxes with the um, gumdrops or gum dum. Oh, what is it? Gum drops in there. Jube jubes. Dots. That's it. Oh, dots. dots. Yeah. I love dots. And what's funny is I don't like sweet candies. I don't like fruity things. I'm usually the chocolate person too, right? Still are your kids chocolate. But I love dots. Me too. They're so like they're so good. So soft. It's a different kind of gummy, right? Mm-hmm. Dots. They're not sticky until you put them in your mouth. <laughs> well, I mean <laughs> So Laura says rockets are the best. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so for our non-Canadian people listening, rockets are Smarties. Yes. And for our Canadian Wait, hold on listeners, a Smarties are chocolate. Smarties yeah, are Smarties. Smarties are like the Kmart version of M and M's here. And rockets yeah. are fucking little powdery. Yeah. Pill candies. Powdery chocolate. Candy. We used to chop them up and snort them in grade school. <laughs> I used to do and that. We, and we and the school. kids in California were sh- were doing the same thing with Smarties. Yeah. Okay. Huh? The Smarties have like the little concave. 
they're like little discs. Yeah, little discs what? in their concave. That's what you call outside. Smarties? They're yeah, like, uh, Rockets wow. and Smarties are the same thing. So in pills, California, like, Smarties. We're, we're all about Smarties. Good. Like, first. Oh, yeah? I like to put the whole thing in my mouth, like all of them, and then just chew them up. Arr, arr, arr. You're oh, such yeah. a freak. I'm a savage. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I like to put them between my fingers and rub them like this. You guys are fucking weird. If you do that with a smarty here, you get chocolate all over your fingers. Yeah, you can't do that here. You rub the color off. <laughs> smarty though. Hey. A smarty is like a it's a it's a colored candy shell with chocolate in the middle. It's like an M and M, but not an M and M. With no, it's like an M and M with no filling inside it, like no peanuts, no soul. Yeah, it's just chocolate. Yeah, it's like a little chocolate <laughs> no capsule. No soul. <laughs> What are we? What are we on about? We're still talking about good stuff. Oh no no no! Oh, no. oh we, we were like talking about comparing. Smarties are like the Reese's pieces minus the peanut butter. They're like M and M's minus the happiness. <laughs> except the letter. There, except that's... there's letters on it. That See, spells those are Smarties. Smarties some those are yeah, Smarties those are in Smarties. Canada. Smarties. And Smarties, the Smarties in the United States are like rockets. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. Do they call, do they call what we <laughs> refer to as Smarties, do they refer to as rockets down there? Weird. You be, That'd be hilarious. Okay. Yeah. Did you guys get the memo? Yeah. Whatever we made them first, you guys were like, hey, that looks cool. Let's name it something. Yeah, we we're like, let's make them better. Oh, that's right. <laughs> let's call that shit rockets because fuck them. Fuck them. Get the pie. <laughs> Our kids will start crushing them up and snorting them in, in grade school, anyways. So. Yeah, we used to we used to crush them up in grade school, and we used to fucking snort them, and then we used to like fold them up in papers and then sell them, and we made fake money. Yeah, and then we'd have fake drug deals going down in the bathroom. Yeah, one hundred percent. And then time. one day we got caught and we got in trouble, and we fucking never did it again. <laughs> never did it again. Yeah. Never again. Yeah. Until we turned like until until we turned like fucking. 20 something and next it was the real thing next thing you're 25 and you're in the bathroom making a real drug deal <laughs> what did i just come into right now i just like turned around and all some drugs crack so laura says seriously estates don't have smarties laura we call them m ms here but we have play them we have m ms here too why don't you go ahead and mansplain it to her I'll tell you. I'm trying to think of what the comparison I'll tell you with would be <laughs> because it's not even M&M's. m and M tastes better yeah. than Smarties. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I agree. That's no, that's no word of a lie. You know what I'm trying to think? I, like I would just be like an off-brand like M&M knockoff, basically. Yeah. Part ones. Dude, the fucking M&M's are, mm -hmm. are exquisite. Uh, the yeah. best. Yeah. You going outside? You can go outside. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> How does he have to? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you were gonna go. Smoke it's hard something. because they can't hear. Yeah. Oh yeah, everything. you guys can't oh, yeah. hear what's going on. There's a whole conversation going on here that you guys can't hear. Sorry. The only thing. <laughs> no, no, they they can't hear Sarah. That's so. it. They can't yeah. hear Sarah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you can't yeah. hear Sarah. We have an audience tonight. So we can't so. hear Sarah either. We have people. <laughs> we're, we're, we're filmed in front of a live oh, yeah. audience. <laughs> Three people. <laughs> Three people. Ooh, no. it's a record. Oh, yeah. no. all right. That's so actually he's got good hip hop. Yeah, thanks. That's okay. What's next? I, I, okay, we did I, I, worst candy. We did the best candy. Okay. Let's do. Let's do best Halloween. Oh, wait, I didn't even pick my best, best candy. I didn't even oh yeah. Go. I didn't I fucking. Thought you did. No. no? Okay. Oh, yeah. You guys, okay, you guys, you guys keep forgetting about me, man. Come on. Oh. Oh. I'm always out of the room. <laughs> any know. any fucking must any. Be any Dre. Any, you said, any, so. you said any candy well, I'm, not, I'm not Dre because you forgot about me. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Mer. Yeah, you were like on about the candy bars. Any little candy, but those little mini candy bars, not the full size ones, just yeah. the little mini bite size. You uh -huh. just pop in your mouth, like, uh -huh. like Snickers, Mars pop Bar, Wunderbar, Twix. All I, I love. I'm about uh, yes. all that. Yeah. I like it. Uh, like, uh, mostly I Twix. So. A candy. Just those worst fucking candies that I just. <laughs> it's, it's, it's when you start running out of the candy bars, and then you switch to what else? You got the Tootsie Rolls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything with that same texture, you're trying to get all through all that. The candy. Then you get to the lollipops. Yeah. And then you get to those fucking rockets, which you guys call Smarties. Oh, Smarties. And then you get to then then those stupid little fucking toffees are the last Here, ones to, to be go, honest, and you fucking you throw the bag away after. To be honest, <laughs> okay. Um. Smarties here yeah. are shit compared to Rockets there. The oh, Rockets shit. there taste like um, everything there's got more flavor. It, it tastes like um, that's because it? they don't care about giving away cancer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
it's all sugar. What is it called? It is cancer. Cancer's, cancer's in the flavor. It's fucking called it. It's that one candy that I like. It's sour. If you were to like bite into cancer, mm-hmm. how it's, would it be like flavorful? Fresh. Fun dip? No. Ooh, fun dip. Solid. Solid. It's like uh, solid fun dip. Yeah. Oh. No, it's um. Fucking everlasting gob stopper. Hey, I love those. Sweet tarts. Sweet you tarts. Got- Party. Rockets. Rockets. Rockets taste like sweet tarts. You guys. Make a list, Shantae. Make a list of American candy that you guys want, and I'm gonna send them down. Rockets, okay, well, can you just States send me some circus cookies? Tastes like what? sweet tarts. <laughs> <That laughs> Favorite candy? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go, and I'm gonna overpower all you motherfuckers because I'm hosting the show tonight. Ha! Ah, no, uh, you're good. not. Yeah, we, I am. We're all hosting. Your mom's hosting. She <laughs> she literally would She's all the time. She's not watching. What's up with that, Shante? Does she yeah. not support us anymore? Yeah. What's going on How here? How can Did she you host if she doesn't watch? Don't. She's not here. Don't do Why that. Right here. Don't do what you're doing. Your mom support of this? Is your mom liking all the podcasts? That mom <laughs> My mom is commenting. Is your mom? <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight to the juggler. I fucking love a Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Oh, okay, which one? One hundred percent. The chewy yeah. ones, the hard candies. The hard candy, the original Jolly Rancher. Nice. And it's watermelon. Classic. Yeah. Classic. Classic. I like that. Air five. My grandma always had those on hand. Air five. Yeah. Air five. Yeah. She's like, that's like, like the women's yeah. version of Werther's. Yes. Yes. That's yes. just going to say. That's the women's version of Werther's. If your 100%. mouth is getting dry, just grab yourself one of those Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I'm sure it's there's so a good. couple melted in the bottom of my purse. That's they're, just they're a little tissue. sticky. Here you go, have one. Tissue. You might not be able to get the wrapper off. <laughs> just take completely. the rocks off it. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? Just shove it in your mouth. You'll suck it off. Oh, you'll suck it all day. you rocks out as it melts. Can you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, nice. Fucking cat hair and dog hair. It's better than a dry mouth, dear. Better than a fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, fuck, those fuck, those fuck those coffee things. I don't know. I do love a fucking Werther's, man. Yeah. So you got, uh, that's soft, a, obviously, okay. soft, soft and hard. Yeah. Soft and hard at the same time. Soft and hard. It's true. Soft There's a hard, hard outside with a squishy middle. Oh, yeah. so oh, good. So good. Sarah, or Sarah, sure you gave me a coffee flavored Werther's while we were driving. It was those amazing. Good, yeah. So good. Yeah, I love those. It was good. Tasty motherfuckers. So I have a subject I want to bring up. I thought he was going to say, so I have a son. And I'm like, let's <laughs> Whoa, get into I just, this. I just found out five seconds ago. I have a son. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine <laughs> bringing that shit to the table right off the bat? Like, Neil, we should probably not be talking about this. <laughs> I wanted to surprise Wait, wait, wait. Um, just, all right, all right. we got to we got to start over, Sarah. Start over. Start one over, second. Sarah. One second. Hold on. No, Sarah's talking. I know. I said one second. Hello. Ahead, Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Laura said to drop Jolly Ranchers in vodka. That's totally true. If you get like little tiny bottles, drop a Jolly Rancher in each thing of vodka, and they taste like Jolly Rancher vodka. So true. Yeah, and you guys all love diabetes because that stuff is gross. <laughs> <laughs> I can't drink those drinks. I drink that. No, Sheree, Sheree and her. And Sri and her friend Carlene, they do that. They yeah, do, I can't they do, do that. Skittles. The gummy bears, They'll Skittles, yeah, do that Skittles, in their vodka, Skittles, and then strain it. Gummy bears. I'm not that girl. No. Strain it and then. That's cool though. So, I wanted to sort of bring up that um, they recently did a thing where it was uh, top ten scariest movies of all time according to science. Science. So, well, so they, you're like deep impact and like, oh no, like not volcano deep impact, and, but like oh, what they did. No, no, what they did was they had these audiences hooked up to like heartbeat monitors. Oh, and shit, okay. And they showed them fifty movies all at once. Were they allowed to oh, pee no. or like get on popcorn? a big screen? There's like fifty little. Well, I guess you know they, they sort did of. They sat look like them me through. after. They, they, they sat. Them <laughs> did they hold their eyes open and? Play one after the other, <laughs> like clockwork orange. They yeah. were wearing diapers. <laughs> no, I don't know, but like yes. I do know what the top ten is. Okay. So I'll, what is it? I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys. I'll let you know right now. The oldest movie on it is fifteen years old. Oh wow! Okay. So like okay. most of these are recent movies. Okay. Okay. So well, that's pretty recent too, I'd say. Yeah. Number ten is The Visit. That's that uh, M Night Shyamalan found footage movie. 
Okay. No, I don't know. I, mean, I, 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 yeah. I didn't ever watch that. I, I like his movie. I haven't yeah. seen it either, but I've, I've seen all of those movies. This was like, Visit? This was pre-split. Okay. So I think it came out in like, oh, I'm just going to look it up I'm writing here. it down. Okay. The, it might have been either before or after split, um, but I'm just going to look it up here. So it came out in 2015. So it was after the split or after split. Number, after split? I believe the so. Visit? I love that movie, Split. I'm Me just going to look it I up fucking here. Good. Straight up. I never saw that. Yeah. Well, what's his fucking ass in that fucking I'm movie? Serious? Guys, James McAvoy. James I... McAvoy. I haven't seen it. No, I, I love that man. I, I love that man. Yeah. yeah. So okay, put your so M Night down. Shyamalan Go did. Watch it. did. Come back. Is this did about visit. okay? Before you continue, Neil, is yeah. this about the old lady? That they go see her and she's like, Oh, creepy. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have like, not watched that yet. Is yeah, that, it's about a couple of kids that go visit their old relative, yeah, and right. she's like, You know, don't come out of your room, at yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. googled it, and I was like, Oh, I saw a trailer at least. So, number nine is the oldest movie on it, and okay. that's from 20, 2005. That's The Descent, okay. The Descent, you is that the one the, descent, the Descent is so goddamn the two good. girls in the cage. Uh, no, 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 That's about a group that's... of girls that go like in the cave, cave diving. diving, cave diving, like spelunking, right? Like spelunking, spelunking. I, think is what I don't called. feel like so that dirty. one was like so scary, but it was so good. It was oh, really. Maybe it's just the way I'm taking it. There, it's... no, there was like there was like creatures in there that were like there were human beings that were altered, it's like that never seen the light of day. Evil oh, golem. I have not seen that. Yeah. Movie. A different yeah. movie, baby. I was like, nope, that's yeah, not yeah. One hundred percent. It, 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 it plays way out heavily way out. on your claustrophobia. Oh, yes, man. yeah, it way on heavily on claustrophobia, and then you get to a point where it's like you get to demons. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, what? Yes, uh, that's, I don't know, so, dude. So good, you guys have to. We, we're gonna watch it. Yeah, the descent is really good. It has yeah. a lot of good jump scares, and it re- like I don't watch it has that. an ambiguous. <laughs> I don't want to watch it. So it's like has all the hallmarks of a great horror movie. Yeah. Okay. So number eight <laughs> that's, is I'm the still Babadook. I'm still hung up on the word spelunking. It sounds so <laughs> uh, hot. <laughs> it sounds disgusting. I want to go sure, spelunking. Yeah, sure. Spelunking. I've always let's go, known. let's go spelunk later. Just say spelunking. Uh, spelunking. Yeah, number eight is uh, Babadook. Okay, Babadook. yeah, the Babadook. Babadook was good. I, oh, that was an Australian horror movie. Yeah, one, but it's like it's like the boogeyman. Got a lot of buzz mm-hmm. when it came out. It's like yeah. an El Kukui. <laughs> number seven was uh, The Conjuring Two. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. And then number six was It Follows. Mm. Mm, familiar in title only. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> You gotta check it out for yourself. It's, it's like a, it's like, yeah, it's like a, a mix of sci-fi horror. Well, oh, I wouldn't really say so you, sci-fi, but it's horror for sure. Yeah, yeah. you've probably there's, seen there's all some, these. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, the okay, only so. thing I didn't watch was the the visit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't or think the visit. Did. And I don't the even Babadook. think I'm lying. Babadook's pretty actually <laughs> but, good. Um, um, <laughs> it follows as a really good like indie horror movie. It's like the less you know about it, the better. So. If you go and watch like, don't it. even watch it, and it's better. Well, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's just say, it's if, so good, don't watch it. So like, good. Think, think of. Just think so about it. I'm just gonna say this the way I described it all the time. If the game of it, uh, the game of tag, it? was an STD and a demon was stalking you, if you were it. Nope, that did not. That didn't do anything. No. Mm-mm. That's the best it. way I could describe it without oh, giving it away. I don't want to watch it at all. Now. I just heard STD, and then I, was <laughs> I like, heard yeah, STD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, how, how about I just watch the trailer and let's watch? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. get the cliff notes. Yeah. Cliff notes. Okay, number five. Okay. Paranormal activity. Okay. Okay. We're all familiar yeah, with that one. For yeah. sure. I like number, that. Everybody. Number let's, four. Okay, now have you guys seen all the endings to it? Yes. Oh yes. Oh. There's five different yeah. endings. I we watched like, the shit out of that crap. It was disgusting. Oh no, no, there's five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched five. I've only, five. I've only seen. There's like, yeah. Well, there's five endings, right? But isn't there like seven of those movies? Yeah. Eight. I'm just looking so. it up I right now. I think there's there's five, there's five yeah. endings to the I first mean, movie. Three is enough. Yeah, I just Whoa. started repeating the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same complex. It was okay. Like how many Ghost times are we gonna be like yeah. seeing shit in your? It's gonna grab you. It's gonna drag you downstairs. You're gonna disappear. There's a lady standing in front of the camera, and it's like fast forwarding eight hours, and she's still standing. She's still standing there. Shantae does that shit every fucking yeah, night. Like when she's yeah, I sleepwalk, I talk, I do <laughs> Whatever. shit. 
You guys got to put cameras in here, and then we get you on there. We should. Yeah. 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 We do our own horror good movie. Shit. I the talk. shit out of everybody I'm else in the talker. world. Sleep talking. Yeah. So number four. You see me decorating shit. cakes, bitch. <laughs> She's sleep, sleep decorating. <laughs> <laughs> shit. For sure, I would. So number Sorry, four <laughs> is hereditary. Hereditary is good. Weren't yeah. we talking about this on the podcast in the past? We we're like supposed to check it out. Oh, oh no, so we didn't watch go. hereditary. We watched the creators of ah, oh, goddammit, Midsummer <laughs> is probably what you guys are thinking of. What? It's from the same Tiger people it. that did uh, hereditary, but. Um, we saw a trailer though, or something. Oh yeah, we watched, we watched a trailer Midsummer. for Hereditary. Yeah. We yeah. watched a trailer for Midsummer. Yeah, and it's from the creators of Hereditary. Yeah, it's the same director. Yeah, I but, heard of that movie. Oh, but Hereditary Mid- is oh. fucked up. <laughs> it's so messed up. <laughs> oh, um, so, mommy's going. Take a while. Guess what the top oh. three are. You don't have to guess them in order. Just. Yes, what the top uh, three of all are. time or what what's this contemporary? Oh, oh no, this is a uh, according to recent. science, the scariest <laughs> movies of all time. Like the top three. Oh yeah. okay. I'm, they wouldn't say exorcist because that's like religious based. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or would they? Uh, uh, trying to read your face here, Neil. <laughs> so the last, so the, the oldest out of the question uh, is 15 years old. 15. Oh, okay, so they're so, pretty okay. So the last the 15 ring. years is sh- uh, oh yeah, uh, the Grudge. Is the Grudge on there? Uh, no, the Grudge is a lot older than fifteen. Hey, thanks for joining us, so yes. we can yeah, hang out more. Like seventeen. I really wanted to get you guys in. No this, Grudge. Like, next time. No, no Grudge. Okay, damn. Yeah. That that was a scary. That was scary to me. It's three fucking gals down the room. It's my two buddies. They're all right. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, yeah. all right. So it's recorded now, okay. and I will remember this. All right. Hey, it's all good. All right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll see you at some point. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, fucking serious. Thank you. Take care, guys. All right. We'll get there. Sorry, Sarah. We're just we're just saying bye to everybody. We'll get there. I too. We had an audience. <laughs> we had an in-studio audience tonight, folks. Uh, we had we had a live audience tonight. Who yeah. that is? They weren't on. Oh, yeah. We paid trains. Okay. So Sarah, do you have any idea what these last three movies could be? Yes. So the oldest in the top three is ten years old. Ten. Yeah. 10 years old. The Grudge. Like 2010. 2010. Grudge is like 17. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fucking 10 years. I'm going to Google in the last horror movies 10, in God the last damn 10 it. years. 10 years. Yeah. In the last 10 years, horror movies uh, cycle through. One uh, has been in, among the most crazy insane. Uh, Insidious is among them. Yeah, I, I knew I was going to pull that one. That's Insidious probably, is a good one. I'm so say that's, that's one two. of the James Vaughn movies. Okay. That's in there. Bro. Uh... Rubber. <laughs> Rubber? <laughs> you familiar with that? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what about, uh, about Black Swan? No. Remember, the science, they're measuring yeah. everybody's heart rates. So. Oh, they got, must have got pretty elevated when, when Natalie Portman was banging that girl in the bed. She was banging Mila Kunis? Yeah, her. <laughs> no, no, that's a good guess, though, but it's among, like, the top, you know, scariest movies of the last, you know, 15 years. Okay, okay, so let's hear the first one. I okay, mean, uh, like so it. number three. Yeah, number three. The Conjuring. Okay, Conjuring, right there. The, the other James Wan movie. Okay. And then number two was Insidious. Wow, both of those, two, those, those two. Like I always like. I don't. I wouldn't say mix them up, but they're, I feel like they came out around the same time, right? Yeah, yes. actually, it's really crazy because Insidious came out 2010, and then Conjuring was 2012 or 2013, I believe. Okay. Same director for both of them. Right, right. And the same guy did the first Saw. Oh, shit. Yeah, so this right. dude is like, in my books, he's like one of the new age masters of horror. That's a good thing. 
Yeah. That's a good thing. Like, I recently watched Insidious for the first time this year, and I was blown away by it. I was like, that was fucking man, freaking how, oh how my did God. it take that me was, 10 okay. years to watch this? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I'm a pussy when it comes to horror movies. I, I really am. But, but Insidious really is a oh, oh, fucking man. difficult fucking is a very difficult one to sit through yeah, man, for when, me when that chick got when that medium got hooked up right. to like the uh, gas spoilers. mask and shit it's been out for 10 years if you yeah, haven't seen I, it that, fuck you <laughs> no what so, freaked I mean, me out was that fucking scene where it's like up in the corner of the the thing up in the wall there you know that that shit that kind of shit freaks me out and then that fucking where, where it's like ray beside right behind, it and it's like Patrick oh you mean Wilson? like on yeah dude Oh, I don't. Insidious. Which one Insidious. Yeah. Did, we, did I watch that? I don't know if you did. I don't that, think I have. Or I don't. Uh, or if I did, I put it way back in there. It's the that, that kind of shit where there's a camera reveal and then you see something super fucked up. I like yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I don't care for super. Yeah. Like, not, I'm not big on yes. jump scares. I like that reveal. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The psychological, just yeah. 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 My, I like the guys, psychological. You guys want to know too. one of my favorite ones of that is? What's that? Like on on it. Uh, when the new a, it or an old it? The new it. Well, okay. there's two new ones. So the first one, right? Yeah. All right. All right. You know when they pan out and they see the librarian standing there smiling. Oh the my background? god! Yeah. In the corner by herself, just smiling. Yeah. But every time they pan out, there's every like, time they pan out, she's standing over there. Standing? Fucking! It's not even the librarian. It's some old broad. Well, yeah. Just isn't that the librarian? Just no. Fucking creepy. Yes. Yeah. That's, yes. That's the kind this of shit. Fucking that, fucking. That oh, I love it. That's that's what it follows. Has a lot of. Okay. You're paying a, you're because of the way the story is. You're paying attention to people in the background. You're like, yes, is right. one of them it? Because yes. it yes. makes you it makes you sit on edge. Conscious and, makes you and, conscious of the yeah. surroundings, not just what's mm-hmm. gonna be right there. Yeah, it makes okay. you. Yeah, that's yeah. It has that. Yeah, and, that's that stuff doesn't scare me as much as things like is it called the visitors when those three people come to her house and chase her around and she's hiding and they have the masks on. Oh, strangers. strangers. Fucking strangers. strangers. That stuff, yeah. and then she, because that's real. That yeah, shouldn't happen. I yeah. think that stuff, it, that really messes with me. The stuff that pull, they torture you, basically pull mm-hmm. you in and out and the yeah. whole time. And you're just so fucking stressed out the whole time you're watching it. Yeah. That it sticks with you. And then in the end, they're like, why me? And they're like, you were home. Ha ha. Yeah. And you're like, you were that was oh my you're, God. You, you answered the door. Yeah. You didn't have to answer the door, but you did. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's like, like jump it's, scares. You could tell, right? You could tell right. by the music. You could tell by the feeling the of the movie as it's Here, going. You know what's coming. Here's the thing. Like, like, like Shantae will be like, we'll hear some fucked up shit in our house. Right. And she's like, what's that? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to answer no motherfucking door because what if it's a motherfucker? We're going to be like, hey, because you answer the door. I'm, I'm always like, so, but he's on it too. Like the other day, I'm like, did you hear that? He, and I swear to God, I thought he was dead asleep. He's like, yep. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! What was that? It ended yeah, up being a, like a box of boxes that had fallen over on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, you know. but these boxes shouldn't have fallen on the floor at all. They were there all fucking night for eight hours. Came three o'clock in the fucking morning, and they fell right. Off it's the fucking... always at three o'clock in the morning. Fe- three o'clock why. in the fucking witching morning. Hour. It is. It's witching hour. Mm-hmm. All right. The, so, okay. This is what I'm saying is this box. These these bag. This this this. Okay, we have. Tell me about pizza how boxes. it's your house settling in. Oh, it shouldn't be that. No, right? It's like, no, how long it's, it's, it's sitting on a, yeah. It's sitting on a fucking chair with another box for eight hours like, before so fall. far away from the edge too. Yeah, and yes. then at three a.m. it decides 3 to jump off the chair. It decides to jump off the chair. Okay. Yeah. That happens. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Yes. This is like Thanks twenty. For waking me up out of a fucking good sleep. Yeah. I gotta be up you in another hour. You motherfucker! I gotta be up. I, right? I gotta fucking be up in ghost. an hour to go to work. You cunt. Just because you don't have a job. Fuck you. <laughs> fucking ghost. That is his job. Fuck to you. Just because you're number one. Lonely. Sorry, I missed it. Sorry. So we I, did, I, I didn't say it. what I number the top one three. was. So number three was The Conjuring. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number two was Insidious. That's okay. okay. So <laughs> take a guess as to what number one is. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's not my guess. So take into account, this is what gets the the audience's heartbeats going. And it's like, mm. the I guess these are people who can relate and feel like, oh, I was in that situation. That would be fucking scary. 
What was the one with the boyfriend and he went to the parents' house and then they like were killing oh, people? Fucking like us. Yeah. Oh, us. Was it or us? No, it wasn't get us. Out get out. Or... Oh no, Get Out was honorable mention. So oh, there's okay. two other movies that were honorable mention. One was The Lighthouse. Okay. That, that was, was that was that yeah. was difficult to watch. I wouldn't say it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that one? Uh, as Robert, as Robert Pattinson, Pattinson and oh, yeah. William Dafoe. That was hard to watch. It wasn't yeah. scary. No, it wasn't scary at all. Just the other one was Cabin in the Woods. <gasps> okay. Yeah. No idea. That one the is not scary. It's not scary. It's that good. movie it's is a, a good time. And it's it been is. really helping us through 2020. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, Get, I uh, Cabin in the Woods. Have you seen the meme where the guy's like at the whiteboard like this? And he's like, who had this or whatever? You for for 2020? No. no. Okay. No. Okay. Brother, okay. Brother, brother, brother. Okay, so you brother. have to watch. You have to watch. I'm gonna say Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods. It's All right. It like sounds Thor, like it Thor. sounds like those fucking like Wrong Turn and Cabin Fever no, and no, those no, fucking dude, teenagers. Dude, no, it's totally this is better. Well okay. aware of what it is and yeah. it explains what why stupid shit happens in horror movies. Yes. Yeah. I, it's oh, better yeah. as fuck. And yeah, it's great. It's good. It's produced by um It's funny. Joss it totally Whedon. makes 2020 and it make was, sense. It was <laughs> written by Joss Whedon. And... Is that the same fucker that fucked up Justice League? No. Yeah. Yeah. But... Fuck that guy. <laughs> Great. No, he's never going to watch yeah. it. It's a horror you movie it. with uh, <laughs> Thor. In it. Thor is in it. Thor is in it. Okay, I'm back in. Yeah. Chris it's... Hemsworth is in it. So... I'm down. I'm never going to watch this, right? I don't know. Barney Weaver's in it. I haven't watched right. TV in two Sigourney. weeks. Yeah. Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver's, Weaver's in it. Sigourney Weaver. I do. Yeah. Horror comedy. It's a horror yeah. comedy. Yeah. It's not a horror at all. It's it's good. Okay. I like it. Okay, so it's pleasurable is what I got to say about it. So like porn. And you, okay, okay. <laughs> Number one. Because because, because like look, look at pleasurable. Look at me. Like and reality. Look, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. I'm the only one that I can pull a movie at the table that you would watch. Wow. Well, oh, Sarah, that's creepy. Look at that. Yeah, he said Am that. I right, <laughs> Malcolm. I feel like you Malcolm. should have black eyes too. Malcolm, am I right? I'm the only one that can pull a movie at the table and you'll watch it. No, he won't. He doesn't he doesn't listen to us ever. <laughs> he doesn't listen to you ever. You know what happens is I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna watch fucking the office again. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna watch you're yeah. gonna watch some fucking bullshit that you've watched a million I'm times. Watch again. Daredevil or Punisher. I I Hell get so mad at Malcolm, <laughs> and it, it's like something so stupid. Like it's just a TV. Yeah, me too. Okay. Trust. Me. He would listen to me, I think. Uh, no, maybe. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You gotta convince me. No. Yeah. <laughs> sweetheart, sweetheart, you showed up to just because. I think we should just because we should, like, you gotta trap him in a room with a TV. Just because, on. He, and that's just the because only thing he's allowed to watch. Beautiful thing in his life doesn't mean that you over you you supersede the best friend. That has been there for the last twenty. I don't think she thinks years. that. Well, you trap me in a room I'm with just a TV, saying, just an when old I suggest CRT TV, and then a fucking DVD player, and then you just slide one DVD under the door for me, and that's all I can watch until I watch it. There you yes, go. I got Ab's family when there they put her in that go. little cabin yeah. to try then, to make her girly and happy. It, then you slide another DVD under there, like this, yeah. you're going to watch this next. You're not going to watch anything. We got we got to shut everything else off for him to go back and watch the bullshit because he's going to go back and watch it. If we don't shut it all off. All I want in the whole world is for him to watch Shameless. That's all I've ever <laughs> wanted. And he I refuses. He refuses to it's sit okay, through Malcolm, it. I'm in the same boat as you. I haven't seen it either. Okay. Oh, you motherfuckers yeah. need to watch it. So, so okay. I'm going to drop this name. Yes. And I feel yes. like somebody on this table is going to hate on it because of the lead actor. Okay, go. Cool. Play not me. Ethan Hawk. Okay. I love Ethan Hawk. I like Ethan Hawk. So you probably guy. know which horror movie I'm talking about. The Purge? Now. A purge? That's the only no, one. No, no, no. There's right. another one. The only one I can think of. Oh, what the fuck is it? I just oh. It it included snuff films in it. Is part of the story. Oh fuck! Wait. Um, so it, it yeah, could be another. You, it could be another word for insidious. Uh no. Nope. Evil. Sinister. No, no, no. Lost. Lost. Sinister. I've never watched it. You've never watched it. You've never, no. oh, I've never watched Holy it. shit. Okay. You guys are in for I, a treat. You totally lost right, everyone right, at the I'm, table. I'm so. sorry, but I like Ethan Hawke a lot. Okay. So uh, even his city premise. roles are fucking amazing. Here's yeah. the I premise. like him too. That 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 move that, that vampire movie where he where he fucking helps humans and vampires Day become walkers. yes. Yeah. So uh, I the love premise. that movie. Here's Day the Walkers premise. is such a good movie. For Sinister. Like Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Yeah. I like Vampire 
the movie. Movie. Ethan Hawke. Shut up, Malcolm. The movie, not the TV show. Shut up, Malcolm. The premise. Yeah, you, you lost me, man. Okay, go. Mm. Ethan Hawke. Luke Perry. If, oh, there no, if, there is, if there's no, if there is, if there's no angel Sorry. involved, go ahead. I need an angel involved. If there's no angel involved with Buffy, then it doesn't exist. So Ethan Hawke <laughs> plays a once successful author who is struggling to write a follow-up book. So he oh, relocates his family to a new home. I watched this. Yeah, and we he did. comes across some snuff films. In it was his good. Home. Yeah. It was really good. It was yeah. So that's Weren't that's all like, I will say. Wasn't it that old was film? Really good. They were it yeah, was it, was really, it was canisters. It was really like, good actual film yeah film that he it found. was it was like it was like eight millimeters but scarier and he had to play it on like a projector cool. and then and without like, Nicholas shit started Cage. happening in his house shit yes. started happening i feel like i watched like the end of this or something yeah, it was good you might have it was really yeah. good just don't watch the sequel it's bad yeah, okay. <laughs> you should never See, even should, mention no it. There's, okay there's no sequel uh, okay. no that doesn't exist it. There's, i don't have a problem did there. you watch it sarah no, I've never seen it, but it sounds really cool. But it does remind me of that video. Well, it was stupid. It was like a horror comedy where if you watch a video, you're going to die in seven days. The Ring the is ring? not a comedy. It's not a comedy. <laughs> She's laughing her ass off. That's the, first time, that's the first time a movie made me make a noise out loud. The Ring? Or like, <laughs> yeah, I think it was like 17 or something when that ah! movie Oh, okay. Know, 16. So, it, so what's... What's a movie that really got you freaked out as a teenager? Oh my god! Or a movie that creeped you out as All a right, teenager. All right, go ahead, Sarah. Go ahead. Okay, so I remember one, and if Brandon, if you ever see this, you know which one it is. Okay, so I had just had Owen, and as a I no, this was like a couple years ago, but this movie stuck Owen with. Was a teenager? You guys stop <laughs> fucking with her. Sorry. Okay, okay. The question was when you were a teenager. So, so cool. um, we have to go back further. And I was a teenager. Fuck, I don't even remember that far back. Do you know how much I drank? It was I was an illicit thing. So Let's I talk about that malt liquor again, actually. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the one that I've seen Owen. There's two. Two so, Owen. You had two Owen. <laughs> I swear to fuck. Stop it. <laughs> they do it because it's funny because I get so mad. Anyway. I know. <laughs> Do it because you're not here to fucking smack me. It's uh, it's amazing. I would do it even more if you were here to smack him. <laughs> Just to get smacked. Oh, God, you yeah. need to keep going. You're supposed to hear this. Okay. All right, go. Go ahead. Ew. Okay, anyway, so I had just had Owen and I was at a friend's house. Maybe Owen was like maybe four or five months old, but we were at a friend's house and he had a horror movie on. We were just drinking, playing pool, and it was about this lady who was pregnant. And she was in a car accident and she lost her baby. And I think her husband had left her. She was like a single mom. So like the baby was the only thing that she could think about. Well, then she starts stalking this other lady who has a baby. And her husband is like cheating on her. So like she doesn't want the baby. It's like whatever. But anyway, Turns out at the end of the movie, the lady is stalking the lady with the baby, the baby that lived, because she was the other woman in the car accident. They collided with each other. And so the whole time the lady is like having crazy nightmares. And then this bitch is stalking her. Well, she breaks into her house and then ends up cutting her stomach open and removing the baby. Oh, and fuck. The baby. oh, dude, it was intense. And like that shit fucks with me because I can't do things with like little kids. Mm-mm. If anything has little kids in it, or like just any any child, any baby, like it fucks with me. I do not. You guys should know. I just can't. Oh yeah, dude. No, no. no. As a para, as a paramedic, as a paramedic, yeah. I can deal with everything. That's why I didn't be an EMT is because I knew that there would be children. My yeah. friend told me one time that she Our was seen. Yeah, she was like I was at a scene and she had to pick up a child and carry it in a bucket to the crash site because it was ejected. So I knew that that was not for me. Um, the other, the other one was, that was a French film. So like there was subtitles and shit. So I mean, normally there's subtitles. It's not as scary, but that stuck with me because it was fucked up. I mean, and it showed this lady on the stairs and her organs are hanging because she just went right in. 
And then it, Brandon, the asshole, was like, but the baby's going to have a great life because that per- mom wanted the baby and, like, blah, 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 that it gives her a reason to live. And I'm like, she just cut that lady's stomach open, like, <laughs> with a butcher knife. Like, I'm not okay with it. Anyway. You got to look at the bigger picture, Sarah. Yeah. It was, like, stabbing. Okay, you guys know the movie, God, The Shining, where, like, he's beating down the door and it's, like, yeah. wait. <laughs> loud that shit fucks with me like i'm oh my god oh my god and there's popcorn fling every, like it's just yeah like, i'm not that person either i can't like watch the shining repeatedly don't watch the original halloween because when he breaks into the closet it's even more fucking terrifying <laughs> she has nowhere to go to <laughs> Like the, the whole time, like, oh my god, run. There was a second movie that fucked with me, but not as much. Again, there's a child involved. I guess this lady, they pick her child. You have a complex here. I do. I just, I can't, I, I just cannot, my brain cannot comprehend wanting to hurt a child or wanting to hurt the parent of a child because of the child. Like, I just, my brain does not, it turns off. It's like, nope, fucked up. That didn't happen. Um, so the other one was I was pregnant at the time and my oldest sister's like let's go see a horror flick and I'm like cool whatever you know (laughs) I want to have a child right now the cult had tagged this lady like she was pregnant with a kid and they were like all right this kid's gonna be like the next antichrist so we're like following her around sending her gifts to her baby shower and one was like a rattle and like when you pulled it apart it was like a, a knife anyway so the movie carries on and she's like oh my god there's these people following me they break into the house they get the rattle and they cut her open and again remove the child from her body and then they put the blade together and give it to the baby to play with. So it's like, it's just a lot of the time, it's a lot of the, the movie. What the fuck is the name of this? I will look it up because we were in the movie theater and I'm pregnant. I'm like, what the fuck did you bring me to see? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah. I couldn't watch Marley and me when I was pregnant. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Oh, damn. Sure. Whatever that is, like when the dog keeps getting reborn and like finding, I can't do it. I just can't. No, I've never even tried to watch that. Even no, I can't. I'm not like. So that's really, so that's really fucked. Sarah's original, her honorable mention is fucked up. Yeah, dude, dude. All right, well, let's go to the table. Shante. What horror movies? <laughs> what most scariest horror movie? Oh, mine was always it, and then the um the stranger. All right. I like The Strangers. Mm-hmm. Strangers is a good one. That's another one you tell me to watch. Yeah. The Strangers? Liv Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. No. Don't I'm watch trying to think if there's another one, but. I like it, but. There I'm is just a not sequel, good on those But movies. it's not as good as. All right. All right. The, me okay. And okay. Are, like, the, the, complex, the, complexity, the complexity of, of The Strangers is, is that it actually happened. happened. What you guys, you know what one I really it, love? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Is um, what's that one where I think it's Nicole Kidman and it's the house? The others. The others. The others. Yeah, where they're where the they're ghosts. ghosts. That's a good one. I love the fuck out of that. That's a I like a good one. twist. That's a good movie. Yes. Oh my god! Like the one like any movie where the people, the main characters, it's, it's are following really along the like whole time, creepy. and then you realize that these are the dead people. Yeah, they're the dead people. That's the best. That's a good so one. what creeped me out as a teenager? I, I saw The Grudge. That initially creeped me out a lot. The original? That, yeah. Well, the, the Japanese The original? American. Okay. Mm-hmm. First American re- the rendition. Okay. That one yeah, freaked yeah. me out. Yeah, that was and a good then one. I know it, I, I looked it up and was like, oh shit, it's a remake. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm going to check out the uh-huh. original. And it was even more fucking, fucking fucked up. It's like. Those Japanese motherfuckers over there are creating they some really fucking really know terrifying how shit. They, like, oh. shit they, they, they really they, are. Juong yeah. is fucking terrifying. Yes. Well, I think the idea too that you carry something with you as you go yes. because of maybe your karma or even just being a part of a situation. Mm-hmm. Is like, just showing up. I'm a firm believer of stuff like that. Like don't bring items into your home you don't know where they came from because things stick to things. So that sort of um, 
I watched this episode, this new episode of Unsolved Mysteries that re, that reminded <laughs> yep. me of that, and it was that uh, I it watched was, it too. Yeah, it was about the the tsunami mm-hmm. that in 2011 and how like there was an influx of like ghost sightings. Ooh, the way that they deal with ghosts over there is so different from here. They're like. They're so much more accepting of it. They they know that they're there and they know that they exist. And it was like, because of the tsunami, a lot of these residential areas where these ghosts used to live when they were living are no longer there. So like you have all these cases like cabs picking up what they thought were people and then getting to the final destination of where they were and finding the passenger is gone. Didn't didn't exist at all. They didn't stop for See, the, the idea yeah. of displaced ghosts was never something I ever thought about. <laughs> and like almost all accounts point to like people drenched and they're just trying to find their way home and they can't because this right. one area in Japan that used to be a residential area after the tsunami it became like an industrial area so like all these spirits are like trying to go home but they can't because Because it's like no there's no home to go to that's so sad creepy stories of like how like somebody thought they were helping a stranger that was lost with like giving them warm clothes and shit right and then the next day a handful of people coming to their home looking for help and they're just all spirits wow. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. so it's like the japanese when it comes to horror, horror is knows complete, their yeah. shit yeah. yeah it's completely different complex situation 100 like, my mom always told me that you're supposed to tell them you're done here you need to go yeah it's yeah. time for you to leave you have to tell this them is, this is why the japanese actually yell at them and yeah. ask oh. them to leave mm-hmm. yeah they say, get the fuck out. Or like, they'll insult them. Yeah. Like, I've seen enough, like, Ridiculously Asian... enough to be like, yeah, oh, I'm not even, wanted here. Okay. Even while terrified, they'll try to insult them. Yeah. Just because if apparently, like, what they believe is if you raise your voice and curse at them, it, it frightens them away. Away. So you see like, all these Asian, like, um, ghost hunting videos where... The person is even, terrified, but it's not this, Asian, it's, it's specifically to Japan. Yeah, it's a little old lady, just get the fuck out. Yeah, well, well, it'd be like ghost hunters that go out and purposely find these places, and they're fucking terrified as fuck. And you just hear them, like, in a scared voice, say whatever, and then you see the subtitle saying, like, you know, uh, fuck your mom, or, or shit yeah, like that. I, That's yeah. what they're saying to these yeah. ghosts. They're saying, like, yeah. fuck you, fuck no, off, fuck, fuck, fuck your mom. I yeah. mean, do we have to bring moms in this? Well, <laughs> it's an insult. It's right? an insult. Jeez, so that's so they're funny. trying to insult so the spirits. Yeah, so they'll leave. But, like, why can't you just tell them you are no longer, you're dead? It's time for you. I to- know. I guess I was being really nice. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, you I, could go I about guess... it that way, but if they're being aggressive and trying to scare the shit out of you, then. <laughs> Try to say that in a rational mind when, like, yeah, maybe you don't yeah, know, you know they're dead. So they're not all spirits are like nice and <laughs> they're just totally yeah. screwing up your life. Piss them off to where they're gonna want to. I want to see a horror movie where it's good spirits, like happy and any nice things and they 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 scare you. Would it be you horror know? then? They're like, no, oh, it'd wait, be, wait, be like a drama. Casper? Like, it would be endearing. Of the it'd be a Casper. It would be endearing. Yeah. You know, like, the yeah, it wouldn't be cast there, it would just be, yeah. Hey like, guys, come on. Like a demonic spirit that maybe they're like, to change, keep you? decided to change its ways right. and be good. And it wants to, like... This sounds like a Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> Disney's attempt at a horror movie where the demon, you know, turns a new leaf and no, no, it's 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 done in the vein of something like Insidious, like a family moving into a house, you know, except I have an idea. It's like Nazi. Here, here, here's some cider. What is Sarah saying? I said, what if it was like a, a Nazi from like World War II or whatever, and they're trying to help these people to like escape the Nazis? No, no, yeah, no, they're trying to help these people escape like, uh, uh, like if they're a person of color and they're like, there are these other people. Yeah, they're trying to help him escape, and like they're just trying to do good because they know that they did wrong when they were alive. So this this Nazi is trying to like make amends. I don't know. I'm just saying. 
Okay, that's that's original. I, I like that's original. It's, hey. it's you know in a world full of remakes and reboots. Yeah, I like that. I, I'm fucking <laughs> okay. nine. Uh, all right, I'm gonna nine reel, I'm gonna reel it back in. Well, what like the like fuck were we talking awesome about? We're still talking about it. Of American. What are we talking about? about? That's what it would be like. A wholesome all I remember, <laughs> all I all I all I can think of right now is that we're we're talking about Disney fucking oh, ghosts. No. We, were, we were talking about um, horror movies that scared you that actually legitimately scared, scared you as a teen. teenager. Okay. And um, I was saying right, too right. long, and then right. we went on a rabbit trail. All right, welcome, welcome. As a teen, what scared you? What, what movie scared, scared what you? Movie scared you? He's like a 1954, The Blob. <laughs> Shut up! Whoa. 1988, The Blob. Shots fired. Actually... He brings this on himself. Yeah. <laughs> it scared the really high right now. Seven. I can tell you a movie that scares me right now. I can't remember my teens. Man. I smoked a lot of weed, drank a lot of beer. I, I don't remember. A flick that scares me now. I, I, Methamphetamines was it, a real thing. Stop it. It was actually the only scary flick I watched this year. Remember when I said I was going to watch, try to watch oh, one oh. horror movie every day until Halloween all month? Yeah. yeah. I only watched one before I, <laughs> oh, before I got before I got rid of my TV. No, I got rid of my TV. Oh right, and then you I can't did. like I haven't watched TV in two weeks. So so he literally tapped the fuck out. Yeah, literally, like tapped out of all TV. All TV just but tapped out of fucking so anything. Much. What I watched, entertaining. I watched this flick, and it's a flick that's very near and dear to my heart now, and it's very scary for me. It's called uh, Fourteen Oh Eight with John Cusack oh, and yeah. Sammy Jackson. Yeah. yeah. The haunted hotel room. Basically, yeah. anything with John Cusack. Yeah. And, I'm in. Yeah. and it was like it was like part part it's like uh, song. paranormal and part yeah. like psychological. Yeah, and the psychological yeah, aspect yeah, really yeah. fucking it yeah. really messed with me. I agree. I, I have a hard time with that movie. Yeah. I have. I can agree one hundred percent with that one. Mm-hmm. That yeah, one. that's yeah. a fucking really like spoilers. If you haven't seen it yet, you should watch it. But spoilers, uh, like uh, towards the end. When when he gets out and you know yeah. and his life goes back to normal out. and it's like it seems like months months go by right yeah yeah and then all of a sudden he's he fucking drawn back into the room like he never again. left he never left like Damn. that was so fucking messed up yes man. I was really high too one hundred percent yes yeah I just I I have a hard time Do watching not that watch because that it's movie. like one hundred percent it's like high. Groundhog Day or Meet the Fuckers like I just can't watch people go through right. torture right. like that no. again no. Oh. And then another one, like their new school, and another one was quarantine okay, because yes. fucking yes. found footage. It was yeah. such a fucking. It was just. It was like it was there. And that bitch, because I was really that bitch, fucking high for that one too. That and was like it's in there. That's that bitch snotted too, and yeah. it was scary. That it was, was like one a, of those. Rare it's like you're holding the camera. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those rare movies like Juong and The Ring, where it was like. It was a remake, but it was just as good as the yes. yeah. Then I went back and watched the Spanish one. Fucking Holy phenomenal. Fuck. Yeah. Yes. The wreck. The Spanish ones yeah. are Fucking really wreck. good. Oh my god, yeah. wreck is. Uh, I didn't watch I, the sequels though. I was just like, uh, oh, it's good the way it is. Right. I don't need a sequel. Like, we don't just, go any further. You can yeah. maybe watch the second one, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards, it gets like really, really fucking like out there. Yeah. Yeah, I never watched a sequel of 1408, 1409 happened next door. <laughs> the lady with the baby, 1417, yeah. <laughs> 1407. 14, no, no, 14, yeah, that's that's 14, the, that's the yeah, prequel. 1407's a prequel. 1417's like way later, way later. John Cusick yeah. is and that's like 1308, the floor below. He's like, yeah. shut up over there, you're too loud. Uh, playing that damn song, yeah. and then first floor, yeah, that's right. Don't maybe come up there, Don't watch first floor. So here's yeah. here's a really wild one that will probably I'm take not a gonna, lot. I, to I'm up. not gonna fucking tell my team. What's All right. the worst horror movie you've seen in the last ten years? Oh God! Worst in the last ten years, it could be you. you it could be from the '80s and you watched it for the first time in the last ten years, or it could be a movie that came out in the last ten years. You just had to have seen it in the last ten years. Well, I mean, honestly, the one that I remember the most was your pick. Sorry, Neil. <laughs> the oh, H- which one? The what? H.G. R- Lovecraft one where, like, they blend together. It's, like, gross. Color from space. Yeah, I didn't I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> Sorry. Is that a horror? Yeah, I thought. It yeah. could be considered horror. Uh, well, it's, lo- it's Lovecraft. So. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Nicolas Cage is pretty scary. Just- yeah. I was like, why are the llamas like that? I don't 
<laughs> oh shit! Oh, Ooh, tangent. Nicholas Cage might possibly reprise his role as Ghost Rider in future MCU uh, movies. Don't do that. Multiverse. Of <laughs> I know, right? Madness, I'm like, he, he was barely okay in the first. Multiverse of yeah, Madness. Yeah, wasn't please. okay in the first ones. How about? Did you ever watch the TV series? Uh, where Ghost Rider was on it. It was a younger guy. It, oh, was a, oh, it wasn't Johnny Blaze. Shield. Yeah, it wasn't Johnny yeah, Blaze. It yeah, was a... it was a guy named like uh, Ronnie Reyes or something. That's something. the character's name. And he had a car instead of a bike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. it was on uh, Agents of Shield. I haven't actually seen like beyond episode five <laughs> of uh, Agents of Shield. I didn't get through the pilot. I was like, no Avengers, I'm out. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. No Iron yeah. Man, fuck this. They tried to keep it like pretty close to like the movies but the movies got so far ahead that they were like fuck it we'll just do our own (laughs) storyline like it got as far as um the second captain america movie and then after that it was like well i mean we're our own thing now (laughs) right 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 like Like when malcolm dead left the comics behind yeah or or, yeah 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 well they went out they went way the fuck out into the cosmos with that shit so i've seen a good portion of really bad horror movies some of which were like g level horror movies like really bad because i lived with roommates that were like bought everything that was horror related regardless if it was like a b or c (laughs) but it was like they bought this dvd selection on halloween that was like an anthology of like zombie movies that you've never heard of before (laughs) so like that whole DVD thing, we watched it and it was like, man, you felt empty. they're all bad. <laughs> they're all bad. But if I was to like say one horror movie that just um, was really bad to me, I'll be honest, that was like leg. commercial, I'd say it was The Devil Inside. So it built up. It was great. Wasn't it porn? No. <laughs> So it? it was a found like footage. It probably is. It was a found footage possession yeah, movie. Me. I almost want to watch it. Like, it was building up. It was great. It was great, and then yeah. it ended abruptly. And I was like, "Okay, so what happens?" And it was like, <laughs> "No sequel." It, it ended with a car crash. Devil and Miss Jones. That's what it was. <laughs> is it? Uh, Did you look it up right now? That was going to bother me all night. Sorry, I just had to get it out of me. <laughs> Devil inside, though. That sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, it was one of those found footage type horror movies. And they <laughs> 2012 or something. I usually love those. So it wasn't good. I love those. It, it wasn't good. It was just like it built up. It built up, and then it just ended abruptly. And it was right. like there should have been more. I felt like there should have been more to it. And then it was yeah. like, no, that was it. It was like uh, there's let's... so many stuff left undone. Like this, they didn't wrap up any end loose ends. They were like, we want money, wow. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Cover the cameras. <laughs> There's a naked child running around. Okay, would you say, Neil? Uh, okay, I want to say this first. I want to see if you agree with me. Okay. Um, so, th- like 13 years ago, I watched a flick. It was uh, George Romero. It was the found footage one, Diary of the Dead. Oh yeah, I loved it. The first couple times I watched it, mm-hmm. and then uh, upon subsequent viewings, I was like, "This is not that good." Yeah. This is, it's not that good. Well, I'm you, sorry, George Romero. I love you. I love all your zombie flicks, but this one was. I think left it, it was because, like, you know, there was before that there was Land of the Dead, and it yeah. was like that was the big commercial one, his right. big commercial return, and yeah. it was like okay, it wasn't quite as great because he was trying to go for a bunch of things socially. And that stuff. was a big thing at the time too. Was found footage. Yeah. So. Was trying so, to uh, capitalize on it. Yeah, Diary of the Dead. I remember watching this during like when Good I content. was in college and it was like, okay, I mean, I don't know how I feel about it because it was like, it, I wouldn't say it's better than Land of the Dead, right. but I wouldn't say it was worse. Than you were getting laid while you were watching it, weren't you? I was like, <laughs> I that was. movie holds a special place in my heart. Well, I, yeah, like I said, I was in college and I was like, okay, I'm done studying here. The bus doesn't come for like two hours, so... <laughs> I'm in the computer lab. <laughs> oh, what am I going to watch here? Uh, I'm going to go look up some movies I haven't seen because I finished my assignment and the bus doesn't come for two hours. Yeah. 
<laughs> so I was like, okay, one, two, three movies. I'm, it's not an actual website. I'm just saying it as an example. But like, we'll bleep one, that two, out three in post. Movies, you know, I'm going to check out this movie. This was like the span of like 2009 to 2012. So like just about any movie that came out then, I'd be like, okay, I can't go see it in theaters because I'm too busy in class here. But I finished my assignment. I have two hours to kill. Let's yeah. see what what's there to watch. I have a question. Sarah. Okay. Hey, Neil. Like, yeah. I have a question because you seem like, you know, I don't know, to be a, a horror movie connoisseur, you and Chris. And oh, me. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So how do you feel about Resident Evil? So I happened to play a good portion of the early games when the first few movie when the first few movies came uh-huh. out, I feel like the first two movies are probably the closest to, to the, the game. video games. Yep. But even then they were like I mean they had a few characters here and there that were somewhat faithful, but it was like, okay, it's passable at yeah. best. But then after that it was like this has nothing to do with the video games. Oh, it became the Matrix. Yeah, it essentially became the Matrix. Kind of like when her boyfriend was like, like worked on and stuff. I don't think that ever happened in the video games. But yeah, they never explained Creep. in the video games who uh, Nemesis was, which oh, is yeah. what that one dude became in the second movie. Nemesis. When he had like all the spikes and shit. Well. Yeah. I- um, a fa- it's kind of like one of my guilty pleasures when it comes to horror movies is I love Resident Evil. Like, I remember playing the games and hearing the chains rattle as you're going down the dark hallway. They pop out and, oh my God, where's the cure? And then the little girl, I was just, it was cool to me. So like, that's, I think, one of my guilty pleasures. And so it's always interesting to hear what like a, a horror movie connoisseur like thinks. But yeah. you're also a gamer too, so. Yeah. I feel like the first two movies were probably the closest yeah. to the video games. They were my favorite, they, yeah. They did, a good, they did a good job with it. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, after that, it was like, they went down their own rabbit hole. I mean, it was, it was when they made, you. what one was, I think it was four or maybe five, when they made all the Alice's and yeah. they like, that was, I liked that one because it was like, oh, it's the same storyline where this guy like is trying to save his daughter to bring back her dead, you know, necrosis or whatever of the tissues. Like that was cool. And then it develops into this virus that, you know, if they bite your ass, then your deadness comes back. I think I was so cool and it was just kind of refreshing refreshing so that's why it's like my thing yeah i i like it a lot too because like i mean the first one like as a teenager i was totally into the whole zombie thing before yep. it really took off because yep. mainly because resident evil and because i absolutely also loved the zombie movies back then <laughs> so me and my friends we used to write like fanfic of like yeah. us being in the Resident Evil universe and being like, oh. oh, we're one of the mercenaries that made it out that you don't hear about. So right. like we, we, we did this and that and like we wrote stories about it. So yeah. like, um, when I heard about like uh, Resident Evil the first time, I was like, oh, okay, this looks to be fairly good. I mean, they got the mansion, they got the zombies, yeah. they got the, uh, uh, what they call the cerebuses. As well yeah. As the uh, zombie dogs. And the leakers, huh? pretty, pretty Lick. well down pat. And the tyrant slash nemesis. Yep. That was really well done. I hate that it was like a love-hate relationship. And so, like, I think that that really brought emotion into it because she loved him. Yeah. And so, so and then to kill him. I think it looks like you have one black eye. The same director for those movies is doing Monster Hunter, and I have a feeling it's going to be similar. So, like, the first two will probably be fairly close to the games. Yeah. But I, I've played the games enough to know that it's really hard to market a movie based on that. Yeah. To somebody who has never played the games before. True. It's because like they, they got to bring them back. Like that's why they're remaking. They're remaking. They have to like do the whole storyline again. Yeah, like the first one. 
Yeah, so they have to like bring it in. They have to incorporate some sort of like modern aspect into it. So they're like, okay, some uh, marines end up through this temporal wormhole and end up in just this give world. everybody cell phones and say this is the twenty first century. There you go. <laughs> so, I, I have a feeling it'll be like um, Resident Evil, the first one, and the first Transformers, where it's like. Uh, explosions ever well well it, uh, more like the first movies are considered among the best so yeah. If, transformers if, yeah okay because uh, like, like afterwards this. it's like man like, that's like, really reaching there for that storyline there's uh, just like so much action that gets sleepy yeah no no they like retcon the shit out of like transformers and, and stuff because if you watch um the, uh the last night it's like Oh, Transformers were on Earth since forever. And they even, you know. Oh, they were around since the dinosaurs. Yeah. They were around since then. They helped King Arthur, all that sort of shit. Yeah. Well, so was... they retconned the fuck out of it. Yeah. It's like for, they Forrest Gumped it. And yeah. they're, like, they're <laughs> responsible for all of cool things that happen in history. Yeah. They even make it super <laughs> futuristic where it's like, oh, the military is after any Transformer, regardless if it's an Autobot or a Decepticon. It's like, that's not part of the storyline, but okay, <laughs> Michael sure. Michael Bay, do whatever you want. Mm. That sounds like Michael Bay getting so, old. If they let him keep going, he would have fucking threw Ninja Turtles in there too. Yeah. Like, oh, Ninja Turtles and Transformers now. <laughs> fucking Dude, he happening. ruined Ninja Turtles. <laughs> he ruined the fucking return of Ninja Turtles. Are Ninja Turtles killing each other? Because this is not horror. No, I don't know. So why don't they make a Ninja Turtles horror, dude? Like fucking yes. ultra violent, scary, like you know, ultra shredders like a serial shredder, killer, right? Or or fucking Splinter is a, is is a real rat. Splinter is the visionary I mean, that helps the Ninja Turtles track the serial. Killer. Yes. <laughs> They're so, all Dexters. <laughs> They're all beautiful Dexters. Okay, what were we talking about? Uh, we I, were talking about uh, Sarah asked about Resident Evil, the okay, first yeah, movie, okay. and how so how I'm gonna long. pull it way back because I didn't fucking talk about my scary movie yeah. as a teenager. Yeah. All right, <laughs> right, right, really good. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> really way in, and okay, I can't, I can't necessarily remember how, that far back. <laughs> There's a bunch that fucking oh, scares me because what about in the okay, last ten years. What last was... ten years, okay. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot. I'm a fucking pussy when it comes to horror movies. Same. But I, I do enjoy them still though, which mm-hmm. is a weird thing. It's like a, it's a, it's a very much a catch twenty two. Yeah. I know what I'm getting into that I'm I gonna underst- go fucking. I understand now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So okay, so both the, it scared the shit out of me. Uh, it one scared me more than it two as far as recent movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. It two was good. There, there are some good fucking creepy pulls in that. Um, the jump scares were different. Like, it, like, like Malcolm talks about the psychological scare more so than the the the, the jump scare. Mm-hmm. Like, I can really get into a psychological scare. Um, like the strangers, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the strangers is one that I really got into because the mentality is, is this something that can really fucking happen to you? Yeah, this can happen to you. Yeah, so you can- strange motherfucking can knock on your door and just kill you because you're opening yeah. the door, right? Mm-hmm. So that was one. Um, and then we have some sci fi scare. Um, Aliens. <laughs> the recent aliens fucking scare me. Oh. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I that at um within the last ten years, no, but as a as a teenager, hmm. aliens hmm. fucking terrified me. Yeah. Just the radar scene when they're seeing the morph, the morphs like closing the, in on them. And uh, they're like, the xenom- oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like claustrophobic. Right? They're yeah. trapped on a spaceship. Which yeah. Is fucking- You're trapped yeah. in this space that you can't get out of. That yeah. you have to fucking, you have That's- to fight or die. Mm-hmm. There's there's no escaping this. Yeah. There's no 100% a planet. There's no 100% a forest. There's no nothing. You're in this confined fucking space. With yeah, this I... thing 
that will fucking destroy you just cuz mm-hmm. or impregnate you. Oh, that terrifies me. Right. Or will impregnate you. If it doesn't fucking eat you, it fucking impregnates you. Lays eggs in you. You have bugs oh, crawling under God. your skin. All right. <laughs> Like the original, the the original when when the android gets impregnated, that scene, that scene was fucking horrific for me, mm. right? Because it was like it was like out of this world. This isn't the human body, but it still was capable of fucking hosting this fucking creature to live, yeah. and it just came out of them, and I was like, ah, <laughs> fuck. Like that, I don't know, man. Aliens was a good. Mm-hmm. Aliens was a good fucking sci-fi horror. Yeah. I agree, but it was it was, was creepy as fuck. Yeah, I I don't know. I like it. The, the, the whole like that whole unrealistic aspect of it, or realistic aspect that we don't fucking know. You know oh. what I mean? Right. Like it's just it was it was fucking terrifying. Um, I like Predator. It didn't scare me, but it was good. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I remember yeah. watching that in the theater when I was a little kid with my yeah. pops, and, and it did terrify me as a kid. I, I then, didn't watch it in the theater. Huh. I didn't watch it until way later in life, so huh. I, I I didn't get scared, but it was good. Well, just, like, the scariest part for me was when was, was Schwarzenegger and Dutch is, like, crawling under that okay, yeah, under yeah, the yeah. log, and the yeah. predator just stalking him that, that scared me i was like Fuck yeah. yeah get away you know? yeah 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 so you know, the chase makes sense the that, chase is what scared me that leads me to another thing what was the one scene in any movie that scarred you as a kid for life so i shared He's, something oh, okay. a, a few weeks we ago that was saying um basically I, I mentioned what scarred me as a kid and I never really fully watched a movie because of it. I've never fully watched the movie even now because of it, but the scene, the, the abduction scene in fire in the sky. Oh fuck. That's a good one. It scarred me so one. much as a kid. Cause I was like eight good years one. old and like, I was visiting my grandma and like some of my <laughs> uncles lived with, with her and they had, fire in the sky on vhs so we didn't have any like disney movies or kids movies to watch we're like oh, no oh, what's this we'll, we'll put this on and watch. <laughs> so it was like oh this is fairly boring and it's like oh fuck this this dude's getting abducted holy shit what the hell is going on to this guy here and, and like, understand <laughs> understand that this movie is based on fucking Real accounts, real events. So it was like encounters, it encounters. Guard are... us so much that That's I good one. never good finished the movie, or at least I can never remember. Not blame you, dude. Do it. Right. All right. So mine, mine. Okay. <laughs> Mine's really silly. Mine stars Emilio Estevez, <laughs> and mine is Maximum Overdrive. Oh, nice. All right. Okay. I was so, waiting okay. for you to bring it up. So. <laughs> So as a as as a child, um, like it was really like as I remember it, I don't know how accurate this memory is, but there was uh, a recent death in the family. So for tradition, for who my culture is, when it's concerned to death, is there's no celebrations that go on. There's no loud noise that happens. There's no partying. There's nothing. There's no celebrations. You have to mourn the dead respect the family and mourn the dead Mm -hmm. right so you don't if there's a birthday or a wedding that's supposed to occur during this time those get postponed and moved to another date um that's just that's just our tradition yeah right yeah so in my memory i remember this happening so i remember my parents having to go to go to either the smoke feast or the feast or the memorial and i had to be dropped off at my aunt's house with my cousins where they watched me Mm -hmm. where they babysat me and we watched a movie and uh, they went and sent me to bed Mm -hmm. and they stayed up and they watched a horror movie and the movie was maximum overdrive and i remember sneaking out of the room and watching behind the couch <laughs> or crawling under the couch 
to watch the whole entire movie. And my entire childhood was fucking scarred. Oh, shit. Because I, I would remember sitting there in the car and looking up at a fucking at a at a at a big rig and not seeing a driver <laughs> because I'm so small <laughs> mm-hmm. so my entire childhood was fucking scarred because of this fucking movie because the premise of the movie is that all anything mechanical comes to life and has an evil entity that wants to destroy human beings for 24 hours. Murderous tendencies. Yes. <laughs> and this was oh yeah, and this was uh, this was from a novel from Stephen King. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, there is a several. I mean, you can you can correlate a lot of my fucking horror life to Stephen King, Tommy that- Nutters, fucking the out the, the the stand, which was a TV series that I fucking watched and loved and was terrified of. Dumb. Like original it, the new it, like, dude, and I can't, I cannot wait to start watching The Outsider, which is gonna be fucking phenomenal. But yes, as a child, Maximum Overdrive, fucking absolutely ruined my life. So yeah, my four year old little self couldn't sit in the car and watch a fucking <laughs> uh, <laughs> a fucking big rig behind me, beside me, anywhere. I was a little. It- now I'm sure you're probably like. Oh. So it was like the Final Destination two for you before Final yes. Destination two. <laughs> Entirely <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah. So it, yeah, it was that was it. Like it, it ruined me. It <laughs> fucking ruined me as a child. Even now I'm like. Uh, uh. <laughs> I remember actually. Well, funny enough. Um, Recently, I somebody I saw a dude um, make his fucking big rig from Maximum Overdrive. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, the okay, you know the yeah, like the 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 goblin. Mm-hmm. He turned his fucking big rig into the goblin from Maximum <laughs> Overdrive. As an adult, I saw that in real life. Holy shit! <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, childhood memories. <laughs> Life ruined. Oh. This motherfucker's uh. gonna chase me down. I'm gonna be chased by a fucking jeep. I'm gonna be shot by a fucking gun. The fucking fucking turkey fucking slice is gonna come and attack me. <laughs> I'm gonna be hit with fucking. I'm gonna be hit with fucking coke cans from a fucking vending, vending machine. machine. <laughs> God damn it! Stay away. Oh, that's so sad. Dude, it ruined my life. Ruined my life. I'm such a pussy. I get it. Who's next? <laughs> All right. Anybody oh, else have anybody any? else? I have one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it mine is stupid. Like it's retarded. Um, the very first horror movie I ever saw in my whole life, I think I was five, and my parents were watching the old 1954 version of The Blob. Oh, good. <clears throat> good pull. Yes. The 80s version scared the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Like, I remember it was black and white, but I remember, like, just like Chris, I snuck downstairs, and I was behind the couch peeking, and I remember this massive blob just coming through the shutters, and it was just like... You, there was nowhere to hide. It came through the sinks. It came under the door. And I was like, oh, my fuck. I couldn't sleep yeah. for four days. When you're five, four days is a long fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's a long time now. And then there is another one. I just, I remember, because I have a shit memory, but I remember, like, sneaking downstairs and watching, like, Beavis and Butthead with my dad. And sometimes I didn't get the jokes. And now I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah. so. I think the blob was my very first horror movie and now i look back and i'm like what the hell that's or the birds the birds was another one yeah. where they're like pecking at you and i've had nightmares about birds like i love birds they're cool that, but that freaked me out too it's too much like the flopping of their wings and feathers and the pecking and the. i think i think i think i think i think hitchcock had something for 
it was <laughs> yeah. more of a psychological thing. Yes. <laughs> Instead of like like a real scare, it was you... more of a build up. Yep. Of a of a psychological scare. Have like you just... guys ever had like crows or other birds swoop down at you? Have no. Okay. No. Fucking scary. I've never I've never fucked at up first. enough. I've never fucked up enough in my life. Me. Don't talk to don't talk to them. They no, just no, come and talk to me. It, so. It's not even. It, it's just you could be walking past and you wouldn't even yeah. know it, but like they may have. It, it's just because like they have Memory. a nest there, right? right? Yeah. So they just see their you for whatever reason as a threat. So yeah. they don't actually try to attack you. They just try to swoop, swoop down, down behind you and like scare you away, annoy the fuck out of you, mm-hmm. or scare you away. So yeah. it's like. I had that happen to me for the first time last year. Oh, shit. I understand like the horror behind the birds, birds. <laughs> even more now because I was like walking to a doctor's appointment yes. at like 8 a.m. and like I'm walking past this and gas the birds station happen. and then they like uh, uh, they start swooping behind me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then like I'm walking through George Little Park and then they keep swooping down behind me. I was like, what the fuck is their problem? <laughs> and then I look it up. I'm like, oh, it's because nest. They, there's nests nearby and they see me as a threat and for some reason. And they're very and they're very fucking communal creatures. Oh, too. yeah. And they'll come and like they're, they're, so they're gonna go so not only are they gonna the original the original nest with the original mother. That bird's gonna go tell another bird down the way. Mm-hmm. That's gonna tell another bird down the way. That's gonna tell another bird yeah. down the way. So that's why so, I'm like so paranoid of like hurting a crow or whatever because they'll tell other they'll crows, tell other crows that, you're that an guy's asshole. an asshole. Go go like, get him. Annoy the fuck out of him. <laughs> yeah. Go pick his eyes out. Rip his dick <laughs> off. That motherfucker is not good. <laughs> So I understand the, the horror crazy. behind the birds. Totally. <laughs> totally. All right, Malcolm. Black and white. So I was like, oh, fuck. It's not cool. Malcolm. <laughs> uh, for me, it was, I was five years old. This was like 1985. It was five or six, 85 or 86. Uh, my older sister showed me this flick. It was called Return of the Living Dead. And oh, cool. the reason that it freaked me out was because before the movie even starts, at the beginning of the credits, there it says "based on true events." Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. And I, was like, up. I was like, "Did this really happen?" She's like, "Yeah, it really happened." It's a true oh, story. Jesus yeah. fuck. You watched the whole Tar movie. Man and, was yeah. real, <laughs> and it fucking freaked me the fuck out. You know, the dead coming back to life, and, yeah. and even in, in the movie itself, like they're talking about, the, you know, the 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 dude, the older dude's talking to the younger dude, saying, "Hey, this actually happened." Like, this uh, Night of the Living Dead. They're talking about because the movie Night of the Living Dead exists within this movie. So they're saying well, Night of the Living Dead was based on a true story, but they had to change some facts, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that shit really messed me up. Whenever they say that, huh? Yeah. The true, based on a true story, just yeah, like, that was, adds a whole nother uh, level to I've that. I've never shit. seen anything <laughs> before or since. And that just really, like to this day, I, that movie holds a place in my heart mm-hmm. as far as zombie flicks. Totally. Yeah. And, and it's got, it, there's so much more to it as well. There's so much, like, the, you know, the whole San Mar Primatics thing, you know, based on a, on a, on a there's a metal band that's based on that, right? Mm-hmm. And, and, and mm-hmm. you know, there's, there's so many good things that came out of that movie. Yeah, inspirations. Yeah. You know, you know, and they talked about George Romero. Yeah. That was mm-hmm. cool. Those mm-hmm. actors, man, the two dudes, the two buffoons at the beginning of the <laughs> flick that just go through the whole movie and they're just such, they're, they just play it so well. Mm-hmm. You know, they're just freaking out. They're screaming. They're in pain. You actually feel them like turning slowly, right? It's yeah. Just that whole thing, man. Those two guys, fantastic actors, man. I like the way they played that up. Yeah. When, yeah. when, when, when I think of like realistically turning into a zombie, I don't think of like, you know, oh, dying and then becoming dead or becoming, you know, the living dead again. I think of like those guys from Night of, or Return of the Living Dead where they're like, you know they're very much conscious and yeah. awake, but they're like dead. I right? think that's because all of our zombie stories started that way. Yeah, it all started with those movies. Yeah, yeah. It like is... like in in The Walking Dead when they're feverish and they're sick oh. and they're weak and they're you know you know and but in this one it was like they're taking their they're checking their pulse and they're checking the, what their heartbeat and, yeah. and uh-huh. their, their reflexes and there's nothing there. It's like a corpse and their skin is cold and. Yeah. You just you, as an adult, I'm looking back on that movie. I was like, "That's so fucked up." They're dying and rotting in front of them right now. Uh huh. You know, 
Yeah. Like, yeah. Like it, 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 that flick means so much more to me now than when I was a kid. I appreciate it so much more. Mm-hmm. As goofy and, and, and silly as it is. <laughs> so, oh, Shante, a... how about you? What scarred you as a kid or child? Um, mine was It, of course. <laughs> <laughs> For my whole life, it was It. And then Freddy Krueger. Mm, yeah. The dreams. What did you think of the remake? The 2010 remake? I think it was 2010, yeah. I didn't even watch it. With Haley, the, what's oh, yeah. I Jackie told, Hurl. Jackie I Hurl totally Haley. watched yeah. it, yeah. and I liked it a lot. Yeah. I feel like a lot of the original fans didn't, maybe didn't give enough, didn't give Jackie Earl Haley enough chance for it, because yeah. it's like, of course, I mean, it's hard to live up to Robert England's yeah. True. performances throughout the whole thing but I, like i think that if you're into a story no matter what or how many ways it's played out i think if you're into it because whether it scares you or you just like it i think you're down for it i think yeah. that's it and yeah. i i think i was always terrified of him and then one time my for my birthday i was old enough to finally go to not scary farm and <laughs> my aunt bought tickets, so she took me and my best friend to go to Not Scary right Farm, which is one of those places that has the haunted houses and the people yeah. that rattle cans in your face and all that shit. Yeah. Well, for some odd reason, I wasn't like clutching on my best friend at the time, but I got stuck in one of those hallways where the floors move under your feet. Mm. And I'm walking, and then I look forward, and guess who's coming for me? Freddy. Oh, Fucking shit. Freddy Krueger. And it's like one of those walls behind him with all the broken glass on the wall, but it's right. mirror, like broken mirror. And he's coming for me. And I was like, and I think that moment where I was like so terrified and I like met the, I met the one, right? right the right, one right. that I was terrified because I always thought Freddy Krueger is going to come out of the toilet. You know, like you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and you have to like turn the light off, but like run away real quick. You know, yeah. that, that kind of stuff, Facebook you know, you, like you run out of the basement real quick yeah, and turn the light yeah, off, run out of the bathroom, run out yeah. of dark places. I always thought that Freddy Krueger was going to come out of things at me. As a oh, and now he's coming out of the dark in the mirror. Haunted house was his arms stretched out like in that one scene. It was more like of a, like an Edward Scissorhands kind oh. of thing, like coming at you that <laughs> okay. way. And I felt like what, I, what, I met, I met the scariest person in my life. And then I didn't think about it ever since. Wow. wow. <laughs> face with your fears that did not work with clowns though my grandpa tried many times to make me face like the clown thing and it didn't work for me because at the time not even just that but like there was a real person dressing up like a clown and killing people so for me, the clown fear is a very real thing and i think that it's um people who i think are playing to make people happy and then they're fucking evil kill you. yeah that right. shit scares so, me so Here's, here's here's the thing here since we're talking about this the um the recent um joker uh, movie yeah joaquin phoenix that that movie that movie the complexity of that fucking movie with the idea that you're you're playing a role as a clown mm-hmm really resonates you know what i mean like you you look at you look at the joker's character in that movie and obviously he has a a disability Mm -hmm. obviously there's there's a there's a mental situation that Mm -hmm. is not caught because of the time period obviously there's something very much there that is very fucking real (laughs) Right, that can fucking happen. Mm-hmm. This character that he portrays is a very real person that exists. Yep. It is, and it exists more often than not. That is missed, especially nowadays. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and then you just think about for the time period how much it was missed, how much that makes so much sense, like this character that is portrayed makes so much sense for that time period, right? We're, we're looking at New York City. We're looking at a strike that was occurring. We're looking at a time period where mental health was never looked at for, for men ever. It wasn't even thought of in no, general. In general, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't even looked at. And then this, cre- this, 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 this fictional 
character was created. Yeah. Well, that's another it, thing too, it, right? It, it builds up on all these things. So like right? these killers so, in these movies or these people yeah. that we're scared of. Yeah. And a lot of them are like these serial killers and all that. They're, 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 they come they're, out. That's the, they're the product they're of those situations. Yes. They're very much derived from actual situations that actually fucking happen. Mm-hmm. Right? Sure. Of that, uh, that fucking it, fucking too just because the texas chainsaw massacre is ed gein they derived they derived so many fucking horror movies from ed gein mm-hmm. oh yeah right and this man truly exists and this man was truly a monster yeah and we still have men that walk around nowadays that that are that man that are like him yeah mm-hmm we do. Yeah. We do. We very much do. These persons born of circumstances, circumstances, and then grow into these. Things. Santas. <laughs> All right. So one of the okay. I want to. I want to talk about the, one of the most scariest things in real life that happened. Mm-hmm. All right. Was it on Halloween night? No, it wasn't Halloween at all. But it's a very scary thing. Okay. All right. All right. Um, the Golden State Killer. Ooh. The Golden State Killer recently got captured, and he was, uh, I believe he was a 74-year-old man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? And he was dubbed the Golden State Killer by um, McNamara. Michelle McNamara. Right. I'm glad you're bringing this up, because she scared us. (laughs) She scared the shit out of us. She terrified the shit out of me. She scared of something like that. That is a very real fear. All right, and and it's her writing the way she described it. Yes, it was just her 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 personality in the writing that she was talking about in her book. Wow. Well. All right, and it's it's a documentary that is on on HBO. It's called what is it called again? I'll be gone in the dark. Mm-hmm. Watch it. I know we keep bringing this up. <laughs> Watch it. So good. Watch it. Watch it. It so good. Good. Follow the fan for all time. But the thing is that scares me the most is that we get to see the the digression of a serial killer Mm -hmm. in actuality. Yeah. In actuality. We don't normally get to see this digression. This digression is normally not documented. Normally, you just get to see the horrific aftermath of a serial Mm -hmm. killer. All right? No. with With this particular one, the evidence has shown that he went from being pretty much a fucking peeping Tom mm-hmm. to somebody that just robbed you. Yeah. That ransacked your shit. Yep. To a rapist. Mm-hmm. To then a fucking serial killer. Yeah. So you got to watch this man evolve from a fucking peeping Tom. To something so big. To some so to one of the more prolific fucking serial killers in the world. Mm-hmm. His span of was it 40, atrocities? Forty years or something like that? Forty five. From nineteen seventy. Mm-hmm. The early seventies until he was recently caught. Yeah. Was two thousand fucking eighteen. Mm-hmm. That's insane. So that also reminds me of something pretty local here, and there's so many theories as to what's going on with it, but it reminds me of something very similar that in this area, it's even more prevalent than any other area along it, and you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Highway of Tears. Okay, so I'm going to do an honorable mention. Yeah. All right. Um, the original... The original Highway of Tear victim was my grandmother. Mm-hmm. Wow. Was my mother's mom. Wow. That was Alberta. Was Alberta Williams. Mm. Wow. And that's a name that like in 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 all things that happen with fucking Highway of Tears. Yeah. This is very, very it's- fucking relatable. This comes to home. This is my heart. This is my hearth. Yeah. This is my family. Right? And no, it's a very much like when 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 people talk about you know, like, okay, you get really a, a little political about it, but when people talk about like, uh, you're just a native and it just happens to you and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. 
when it comes to this, I'm gonna like you're not people. No. Yeah. If you fucking say it's just blah 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 blah. Exactly. No. Because because what? because this is me. Well, and it's hundreds of families. Right. Your your story is, is correlated in, with lots of family stories. With hundreds. Well, and it doesn't matter about the families, families, but families. people. This happened. Mothers, daughters, sons, like going missing yeah, or just, finding bodies, but things never being solved. Yeah. For it, how many and years? It's like, you know, like, you get those forever. ignorant fucks that are like, "Oh, you guys get this stuff and this privilege and stuff," and it's like, "Motherfucker, you're not, not even related you're not to your native, taxes." You're not like you don't your pay sisters, for anything. Your your female cousins, your mothers, your aunts are not more likely to go missing or turn up dead if they were to, you know, hitchhike on this highway or even just in general. They're not more likely to, no. you know, go missing or turn up dead. It's the First Nations women, the people this, of color, in fucking Canada situation, are more likely to turn up missing or murdered. And that's something that you don't that hear real. too much in Canada. It's a very real situation. It, it's a very real problem here. And it's like it's sure, and we have these privileges and whatever, but it's like, yo, your daughters, your aunts, your sisters, your mothers, your grandmothers are not more likely to go missing or murdered here. I like that it's mentioned though too because I feel like it's one of those subjects that like if it doesn't affect you then you don't understand you but don't, it also means like it doesn't affect you doesn't mean that you get to act like it's not important you know, and in you, okay. Canada it's this and I think that in the states it's our black friends and family mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, I just want to reel it in and I want to make a, a really fucking beautiful thing out of this mm -hmm. alright because it's a very deep and very hurtful thing Yeah, but we, we, I want to throw these, I want to throw this name out there. The, the, um, my favorite murder mm -hmm. talks about this and they express it a lot. There are more than one other podcasts that talk about the highway of tears. It's good because they're, they're teaching people. Yes. They're there. That's, that's the beautiful thing that I want to talk bringing about. Awareness There's bringing, it. they're bringing an awareness to the indigenous, to the indigenous hate crime that is happening mm -hmm. to the indigenous and it's a, it's a it's a fucking wonderful thing to see because i mean i'm indigenous mm -hmm. yeah right i'm 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 not only am i indigenous but i'm i'm on other levels of purple people of color because my dad's black yeah mm -hmm. right so the awareness that is happening is fucking amazing yes Right, and it's it's going to it's going to it's going to levels that are ridiculously big. I know because people think it's weird that we like like to to listen to these podcasts that are about serial killers and murder and things like that. But I know because my sister too, she was like, um, "I think it's I think it's really like weird." And, 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 and you know, them. and I'm like, "It's not. It's bringing awareness to things, but also it's also teaching women and teaching men about." what safety is and being aware of how people work and like all kinds of stuff so i like that on our episode tonight we talked about things that are scary and fake but also the scary and real, real. very yeah. real things that affect everybody on yes. a daily basis yes absolutely and i like absolutely. that too and i think it should be kind of our segue into make sure that you are safe make mm -hmm. sure that you are warm and make sure that you are having a good time hollow halloween weekend yes you know like stay D safe dude. be smart dude think about I think, what you're I think doing it, okay all right this is a rare fucking occasion though because i remember as a child halloween not <laughs> not falling on fucking on the weekend very much yeah. halloween is on a saturday yeah halloween is on a fucking saturday it's a halloween weekend Right. And okay, I'm going to throw this shout out to to Mr. Young Neil. <laughs> All right. This motherfucker, this motherfucker is born on my fucking favorite day of the year. All right. I love day Halloween, the but I fucking love Day of the yeah. fucking Dead. I've grown to love I, it over the years. Myself. Oh, my God. I fucking <laughs> love Day of the, the Dead. The more that I learn about it, I'm like, 
Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> man. It's a beautiful fucking day, it's man. It's a great day. I was joking. I was I was actually really joking around with Shante about this earlier. I was like, this motherfucker's this motherfucker, like it like, because you're you're a strange cat, and I love that about you. <laughs> right. You're a strange cat. I'm a strange cat, but you're a little stranger cat. And what it is was you, your you, your body caught a soul that was really One fucking beautiful. One was on beautiful. his way out, and he caught on to yours. <laughs> it was you on in. the way out because it's the day of the dead. The day of the dead. He was totally talking about this earlier. Yes. And we were like, I was, I was so like, this is why Neil's emo. This is why <laughs> Neil is who he is. He's who he is. He's this cool fucking strange cat because he was on the way out and caught a ride <laughs> on the way in. <laughs> So, so make sure you guys say happy birthday to Neil on the yes. first because it's his birthday. It's on his the first. birthday. So I so, used to like, um, I grew up religious and I totally thought, I grew up believing this idea that like, you know, all these horrible cults would like sacrifice whomever <laughs> on Halloween. <laughs> and I'm like, I used to have this romantic idea when I was a teenager that like, oh, because I was born on November 1st, these people didn't have to call my parents and my parents dodged a bullet there because if I was born 24 hours beforehand, then I would have been completely different or not existed at all. And now I'm like, man, that's a really stupid way of thinking. Oh, uh, the, complexity, the complexity of religion. Kid. Fucking so crazy. Wild. Yes. But it's wild, like, wild. I mean... November 1st is a really beautiful day. I mean, just Day of the Dead celebration. Celebrating it, your it past family. loved ones. I, yeah. friends. It reminds yeah. me of the, the, one of the Pixar movies that came out not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Coco. Coco. It's yeah. a very emotional movie. It's very really touching. great. Right, right in the guts, that movie. Oh, uh, <laughs> right in the Never emotional guts. That's An so emotional good. gut punch or two. Yeah. If you, if you really want to go through that look course, into it do it yeah <laughs> look into it if you don't know anything about day of the dead or any of those things yeah look, look into, into it. it look into look into it's day and the dead like the, that whole celebration that 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 mexicans fucking celebrate they polish their family's bones and they like lay them out to celebrate them and yeah it, it, it's important it's a remembrance mm -hmm. it really it's to remember things. your it's re, to remember your past and yeah your, it's a beautiful fucking thing it really puts things in perspective because it's like you know they say you know there's two deaths right there's your physical death and then there is the the death of the memory the of memory you, of you of the last person that remembers you will die i mean they'll die and then it's like there's nobody on earth that remembers, remembers you. you. So that's, that's why you have like to keep really celebrating. Fucking messed up. That's why you got to really, that's that's exactly why they have the, the day of the dead. Mm -hmm. is So that you, you will continually forever be remembered. Remember your um, heritage, your, your, your family that came culture. before you. Yep. Yeah, your culture. So, so the reason why we talk about this tonight is there's a very tight correlation to fucking All Hallows Eve. Mm -hmm. it's just the night before mm -hmm. right that's halloween it's, right now yeah it's supposedly oh yeah, yeah it know. is fucking happy halloween oh, yeah. motherfuckers happy halloween happy halloween it's supposedly when the veil between the living and, and the, the dead, dead is, is at raised. its thinnest mm -hmm. yes and it's like okay i'm borrowing from that that unsolved mysteries episode that i saw and it's like you know those um those sliding doors and walls that the Japanese have that's yeah. basically paper thin. Yeah. They believe that the world between the living and the dead is just basically separated by like a wall that's basically paper thin. Mm -hmm. So it's like October 31st slash November 1st is like where it's at its ap absolute thinnest or where it's open. Yeah. And it's like what an interesting day yeah. of all days for it yeah to go and on. well all cultures though like if you think yeah. about it yeah. you have bad cool. heritage you have like indigenous people that believe the same you have christians who are the pagans it's all very interesting it's it's like 
a perfect storm for it and all. And yeah. it's like, I mean, there must be something to it. Right? Past, why would everybody be on the same page? Yeah. Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, guys, I think we should lock it down. All right. All right. Are we going to lock it down right now? Yeah. Why? We've been at it for hours. Uh, I, what the fuck matters? I've been up for days. So have I. I. <laughs> so have I. We can keep on going for days. All right. If, if, All if, right. if, if this if this is what we're going to do, then I'm gonna go, we're going to go back to the chat room and we're going to catch everything that we missed. Here yes. Because there, there's right. been a whole some questions. sort of thing going on yeah. here. There's yes. no questions, but there's people that make comments. comments. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let, pro- I don't know if they're still with us right now, but we're going to check out some of your comments here. Um, there's a okay. I just, this, okay. This before you, before, hold on, hold on, Malcolm. Before you start, I just want to I just want to apologize for us not catching it while it's happening. Yeah. Right. I, because normally we we would normally we do catch it while it's happening. Yeah. Right. So I apologize if you've left and we didn't catch your fucking comment and we didn't you know you know yeah I normally embellish on it. it. My laptop yeah. died. I Hopefully. normally would, but my yeah. laptop had died. So. Usually yeah. Neil's fucking Johnny on yeah, the spot. Yeah. With yeah. He's pretty good at it. But it was just such a conversation piece yeah. like happening. So I'm fine. Right. Johnny so coming lately. So I'm here I so am. So we're Johnny coming lately. Let's catch in up. In the chat here. So we had, um, I, I didn't go all the way up, but uh, this was the last thing I saw. And we'll scroll down from there. And it's uh, Jessica said, Oh my God, one time oh, we're talking about watching scary flicks. Okay. She said, Oh my God, one time I recorded The Nun. You guys familiar with that flick? The oh, Nun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I recorded The Nun on TV near Halloween. Joel and I put the boys to bed and I played it. Then 10 minutes in, my little boy started knocking on his bedroom window. I got up to see, and he was looking out his window saying, don't leave me. Oh, shit. And I was so creeped out because Joel was scared. So that made me scared. <laughs> he, Fuck. he told me to unplug the TV. That was, oh, wow. The scene where the my little boy started knocking was when the person was buried alive. Oh, shit. I, I've never <laughs> watched the flick before. Jesus, uh, Jessica, just watched, full body goose pebbles right now. <laughs> Holy fucking times. Like, my, my scalp was like... I haven't seen it, but that's creepy. That's yeah. creepy as shit. It's a fun horror movie. Yeah. And then... Go uh, go. You guys are doing that shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Joe said there's a movie called May that was fucking nuts. Oh, my God. Oh, I've, I've, I've heard about it. We haven't watched it yet, but Joe Rogan talks about May. Yeah. Yeah? He does. Um, he also talks about this one movie called Ma. And there's uh, two of them out there. There's one's Mama. There's yeah, one. there's one called Mama. The same? Yeah, yeah, uh, no. Similar. It, it, different entirely. Hmm. But they're both called Mama. And one takes place in, in like, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a, a Norwegian type atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. And then there's another one where it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's black. It's a black lady. Yeah. On the on the front. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I thought one of them took place in like Jennifer Lawrence's house or something. Oh, <laughs> like a really commercial. Not- oh, yeah. there's that one. There's, that there's one is Mama. really Mama fucked up. Exclamation mark. All right, that that one's really fucked that up. Mama with that. Mama. Mama. All right, that's the Mama, one. That's- Mama, Mama with Jennifer Lawrence. I never watched that either. That, that was a psychological fucking thriller. Yeah. And it plays uh, uh what's his name that on um uh. Mm-hmm. No, no, no country for old men. Yes, uh, Javier, Javier, Javier Bardem. Bardem. Yeah, it yeah. plays Javier Bardem and Jennifer Lawrence. Very psychological thriller. Good movie. Fucked up. Don't watch it. <laughs> Very good movie, but fucked up. Don't watch it. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then Joe Rogan talks about Mama, about and it was a it's a Norwegian flick mm-hmm. or a Swedish flick, somewhere over there. Very fucking good movie. And then there's one another pork, one. Pork, pork countries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so racist. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then, and then there's another one called Ma, which stars um, the black lady that shits in a fucking pie and gives it to a white lady. Oh, yeah. Um, Whoa, what? Yeah. 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 From yeah. the help. Yeah. From the help. The movie The help. My favorite actress of all. Fine, gives it to her like bitch ass white woman owner or yeah. whatever. And she yeah. eats the fuck she out of it and enjoys yeah. the shit out of it. 
It's like, fuck. have you ever hated fucking someone for being fingers and shit? And I'm like, yeah, I love it's them. It's like, eat my shit. Shit. Yeah, don't say that. You guys are proprietors, man. You, <laughs> would you get a proper her, fucking shit pie? Her, I guess. Yes. Piece of shit. She must have baked it really good for her <laughs> to eat it. So yeah, she was really good at cooking. It was like the perfect uh, amount of seasonings. And- Did you see her chicken wings? Yeah, right. she is known. Thank you. All right, you gotta so, watch so it. It stars her, her. It stars her in this yeah. movie called Ma. And this is why I hate this man, because you guys are like you gotta watch this, 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 this. So I go home and watch Sorry, Office. Huge I'll just yeah. fucking I'm make like, a whiteboard. Michael Scott, you comfort me because I'm so overwhelmed <laughs> by all these movies I gotta watch, and they all I sound amazing. I gotta start I writing only, them down. I only tell you to watch the good ones, and then just like fucking go through the list one. <laughs> when you don't time. listen to me, I'm hurt. <laughs> Because I am the only one of reason at this table that you should Ew, I, all the time. Uh, <laughs> okay, Joe Daniels said 28 days later. Oh, yes. Oh, hell yeah. classic one. Yeah. Danny Boyle, that was a good one. Yeah. so good. Watch, Boyle, everybody watch yeah. out here. Yeah. Wait, I got one. I just remembered one. Have you guys seen the movie Rage? Rage. Carrie 2? Yes. Carrie no, two. Rage. Just it's Carrie like 97? Not the Rage. Okay. Oh, okay. No, she's I've right heard of it. Rage, no, I can't, say that. I can't say I've even heard of it. What's Remember, the synopsis here? A bird was eating a corpse, and then, like, he had, like, blood on his mouth, and the guy looks up, and the blood drips from the bird's beak into his eye. That's oh, 20 days, days later. later. Stop! There's an exact the rage scene. Virus. There's an exact scene. Yeah. 28 days later. Sorry. Yeah, Mad Eye uh, Moody. He literally gets the rage of virus in his eye. I love Mad Eye Moody. I love that poll. <laughs> I love that poll. That's beautiful. I okay. love that beautiful poll right there. <laughs> okay, next. Uh, Jessica says, What scares me is when Joel talks about zombies and how a vaccine can go wrong. That's so scary in this time. Right yeah. now, oh, yeah. Lord. You were talking oh, about a, a, a COVID. Right, so we're going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bring it in. Uh-uh. All right. So I just recently watched a trailer. All right. And. Um, Shantae's sister, Marlena Malam, Marlena Lam, Marlena Malam. She hates when we do Marlena, that. Marlena, Marlena just posted it yesterday. And this trailer looks fucking phenomenal. None of the actors are big actors, except for the bad guys. So they're up and coming and- actors? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's going to be released next year. Uh-huh. And it's, it's about COVID-23. Oh. oh my god no no right. so this I is the, this right uh, this is the evolution of covid 19. i was like it's just a matter of time all right what was the next one all right so <laughs> no yeah. so this movie i really want to watch no. the premise the premise of the movie is there's a separation between two lovers and they have to get together and they can't okay. they're not allowed because of quarantine so it's Romeo but and Juliet. It's Romeo oh. and Juliet, but with COVID. All right. COVID wow. is the dagger. Romeo that's, and Juliet in COVID. Cause in like, COVID. Because like we had Romeo and Juliet with, with everything zombies. else. Everything and warm, else. Warm bodies, and then in everything else. So this yeah. this um, natural like, progression. Yes. Yeah, but it's a real progression because we live in it. <laughs> We're looking at it right now. <laughs> yeah. Like we're we're, we're this, staring down the second wave right now. We, yeah. Oh come on, this, we're involved in something. Uh, I'm telling you, we need to go to California and go so, see our family. This so, is the decline of civilization that we're in right now. It is so bad out here, you guys. In just today alone, there was ninety nine thousand cases reported in the U.S. So to give you an idea for BC where we are. We made a big deal about there being 817 new cases over a weekend. And that was a big deal for us. But it wasn't necessarily any cases in our area. It was one case in the metropolitan area in the lower mainland in in around Vancouver. We had one case. Where most of the cases came from. But, I mean... That's just showing where we are as a province, where it's like we made a big fucking deal about there being over 800 new cases in the span of three days. But some people, yes. some people were really fucking upset with that. But that's another, I mean, that's another topic for another day. <laughs> but so, you know, keep, keep going into Walmart without masks on. That's no big deal. Please, fucking please, asshole. please go, go shopping without your mask. 
Yeah, yeah fucking chin cool. strap your fucking mask. Like, okay, this is what fucking. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. 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 Here we go. Oh, here we go. Neil, Neil is a frontline worker, so oh, yeah. this is so relevant this for us. This is what, what fucking. I'm in my house. Right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. My nose is not fucking connected to my respiratory system. Uh, walk around like oh. this here. What was it? If your dick's out, your nose is out? Like, it's the same thing of having your dick out of your pants? Like, why would you even have your pants on? Yeah. 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 Exact. Exactly. Your nuts can be covered, but your dick can be out. Hey, we're saving lives there. Put your dick in a mask, too, people. Please. Okay? That's oh, what the mask is. Mask your me so much. Because, like, at I my said work, disc, not dick. Masks ah. are mandatory now. And we have, like, four fucking signs on two doors. And we still get idiots that walk in and, and pretend that they didn't see the signs. So I'm like, I run over to them with a box look, of the masks. And look. Like, Look, Sorry, you honestly, did you wake up because you were in look, a coma for the last year and then look, you walk around blind or what? <laughs> look, look, I'm this guy's fucking friend. All right. I'm Wait like, I'm, I'm, I'm a really good friend. I know where he works and I still wear a mask. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your kids wear masks too. Dude, They're I make sure smart. my children wear masks. They my kids, my kids are like, when, we, when we're leaving the car, they're like, where's our masks? Oh, good job. There's like, like people 10 times older than them that don't fucking read the signs and are like, that have oh, I can't wear masks because I have an asthma problem. I'm like, fucking stay home then. <laughs> Motherfucker, are you going to have an asthma problem for five fucking seconds? Yeah. What? No, you're not. If if we can have fucking healthcare providers wear masks 100% of the time, all fucking day for 16 fucking hours, you can wear a mask for 10 fucking minutes. Yeah. We're just it. all I want to say is is uh, it up. people's people's issue is they always say, Oh, people are getting sick, but they're not dying. You know, the death rate is low, you know. That's that their matter. focus. And I'm and I tell them I'm like, this isn't about the mortality rate, this is about spread. Yes. This yeah. is about preventing the spread. Yes. That's it. Yes, there are people that cannot get it. Like Yeah. Like we understand people are surviving when they get sick. We get it. Of course. Of course. People yeah. are living. People are surviving. And their people are also dying, you know, people with weak immune systems, right? Yeah. I think also but, people don't understand about... that we have what two hospitals? Yeah. Yeah. If something were to happen where they... there were fifty atrocities, plus people, fifty yeah. plus people who <laughs> catch it. It's detrimental, and they have to be on breathing, you know, respirators and yes. stuff. Our hospitals cannot do that. There's four. That's so amazing. Four. Let's just let's just not get do. Let's not do that, please. And fucking then, four. So we don't have to pile bodies in hallways. We have there, four fucking it. ventilators in our fucking area. Wow. So let's not yeah. do that. Let's not do that, please. So, yeah. so that's all it is. Let's just be smart about preventing it from. That's fucking that's occurring. the real thing. Is not about people not dying it's about we can't keep you alive if you do get really sick yeah, yeah. yeah. like we will have a lot more people dying because we can't keep, keep them you and it's safe. it's already been proven that fucking the most healthy immune system is can, can get, die, die from, from it yeah. it's 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 you, all you ages. have doctors we you don't have know healthy, everything just be we have cool man there are cases in the world where healthy doctors have died from it yep yeah not even like not just that but like fucking world like world, world class athletes, athletes. See the best analogy. Twenty-year-old world-class athlete. And it's it's and we don't even know the culture of this fucking virus. That's why I just and shut it's up. constantly changing. The best analogy I've seen for it for it was today, and it was talking. It was comparing it to hypothermia, and it's like, yo, there's no laws against you saying you have to keep warm, but people do it to keep warm so they don't die from fucking hypothermia. Right. But Thank there's you. people that do die from it and it's beyond their control, but they do die from it. Exactly. There's no law saying that you have to fucking wear clothing mm-hmm. all the time to keep warm. Well, but people do it anyway. Yeah. And it's like, so there's no law right now saying you have to wear a mask, but people do it anyway. The same selfless people that do do that, that want to reduce the spread. It's not to protect yourself from it. It's to protect others from it. If you have it 
and you don't know it, it. wearing the mask prevents that or it doesn't prevent it but it at least very much reduces it yeah so if everybody not not, not so much prevent if everybody else is fucking doing the same fucking goddamn thing it makes that reduction that much more better and i'm sorry if you're gonna come into staples in paris and and try to spew your conspiracy theory shit i'm gonna like throw you the fuck out thank you like I don't give a fuck about whether you believe it or not. Like, it's basic health and safety. We're just saying it's you have to wear in store. You're more than welcome to shop elsewhere or shop our website. You know, like anything else in the world. If you you don't want to go somewhere because of your because you have to wear a fucking mask, shop online. I don't give a fuck. Don't 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 pester. The frontline workers are just there doing their jobs. Just fucking shop Wait. online if you don't want to wear okay. a fucking cloth over so your mouth for five minutes. Is there more? All right. So there's. So I just yeah. want. Okay. I just want to pull. I just want to pull this. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's a really cute thing. All right. So on it, uh, not on a daily basis, but every time that we go from Kitimat to Terrace, we have to stop because there is construction going on. Yeah. And there are two workers. Oh yeah, that work. Yeah, I posted about this just a while ago. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like I don't know why I, it reminded me of what you were talking about right now, but there was something that you said that reminded me of this. You don't have to be a dick to anybody, but you should be nice to people. And these people, these two particular people, on a daily basis, really try to pull smiles. Yeah. They really go out of their fucking way and they're just flaggers. I was told yeah. that the dude, the one that's always peace signing and waving, yeah. is the boyfriend of the girl. That's what I heard too. He's flagging yeah. on the other side. Yeah. Oh. Peacing and it's saying hi to a couple of happy just cats, happy man. Cats. Just bringing just joy to, to people, you know? Just trying to make everybody else feel good. Yeah. What? Right. They're making their day better by making everybody else feel good. Yeah. You don't get to see it because you're either leaving too early or too late. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going through there too late. Yeah. Yeah. But there's, yeah. There's what the dude is on the on the south side, I think. Yeah, and then, and then his girlfriend's on the north side, and then they're both flagging, and you drive by them, and they're always smiling, and waving. Man, yeah. the dude especially is very animated. Yeah, it's very animated well, about it. That's great. That's like it's great seeing that like people that can like enjoy their job despite you know maybe people that will like. Oh, I'm, that's I'm what sure I was getting at. Quite as that's many what I was that getting at. Hate them yeah. on the, them. But... I was getting at those Karens that fucking get mad at fucking frontline workers for not wearing masks. It's the same concept as that these people getting mad at these flaggers yeah. for stopping traffic and delaying their day because they have to do this job that isn't their responsibility. It's just to make sure that you stop. Yeah. So you, know, you fucking don't die or kill somebody else going through this process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? It's the same concept. Just fucking be nice to each other, please. Yeah. That's it. Simple concept, you cocks. <laughs> yeah. It's like just a simple concept. Just, just, just fucking smile. Just even, even if, if you it, don't want it, just tough even, it out. Even if it's fucking perfunctory, just fucking smile a little bit. Yeah. Because yeah. it makes somebody else's day a little bit better. Well, can exactly. I say something? Yes. It's kind of pointless though when you're wearing a mask to smile. <laughs> when you're in the store, <laughs> I agree. I still do it anyway. Smiling. You can see it in the eyes. You can see it in the eyes. <laughs> you can see in the eyes. I, I'm like I, smiling with my eyes, but I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> there's, there's, Go fuck I swear, there's Can't customers I can see when I don't want to fucking help them because yeah. of the expression in my eyes. Because your like, eyes are like, ah, oh, I'm rolling up in your head. <laughs> I'll just be squinting and be like, Fuck, I don't want to deal with this, but fuck, I'm the best I, person I for it anyway. You're saying that out loud under breath as you walk towards them. <laughs> fuck this Actually, bitch. I don't want to fucking help her find a heart. I will so, whisper out loud to myself, like, right. what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm gonna pull it in a little bit again. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm hey, gonna take from my own fucking God words. Damn it. Yeah. I'm gonna take from my own fucking words. All right. Um I'm gonna be a little bit more friendly. I've been a miserable cock for the last little bit. And it took my wife, it took a conversation with my best friend, and it took a conversation from one of my other brothers to understand 
that maybe I should calm down a little bit and understand perspective. How about we all take this time right now to follow suit on that? Yeah. I mean, I, I obviously, I can... some of you here are already really fucking sweet people. Yeah. But how about we all just like support each other in this? Yeah. Try to because be because able... because yeah. I I I know what I am and I know what I do, but understanding these conversations that I do have with my best friend mm -hmm. really put things in pers perspective for me. Mm -hmm. And then listening to other people and listen to what they always always say, whether it be my wife or other brothers that I fucking have. I'm going to drop a name right now. I'm going to say Oliver, Oliver Brown. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker really does try to push the positive in mm -hmm. any aspect that he's in. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And I know I can be a really fucking negative Nancy. And I know it's a very difficult thing to sit through mm -hmm. because you are my best friends. You're my loves. Mm -hmm. And I can see it. So what I'm saying is I'm going to try. It's, um, it's living, and it's living with purpose. It's when you wake up, you think about the things that not only just bring you joy or the things you should be grateful for, especially right now, everyone is struggling so hard that you need to think about God, you know, shit is fucking balls right now, but you yeah. know what? Focusing on that is not bringing health or happiness to myself and my body or my friends and my family. Yeah. Yeah. So we need so, to focus on those good things and spread you know, it. You don't really work. Chris will be laughing at some fucking video. And I'm like, was that funny? Share it. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a, here's a Share thing. Share the happy. Here, yeah. Here's the thing. Listen to those fucking, listen to those wind up, wind up fucking window music. Yeah. yeah. That listen. shit you hide in your car listening windows to. Up, yeah. Listen windows to that windows up, windows up music. music. Another thing yeah. is that like we're all a part of here in this podcast. <laughs> There is meme mart. Oh my yeah. god! We're there for fucking oh for the fun yes. stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. There's always funny shit going on. Yeah. What, what, what's beautiful about that? What <laughs> beautiful about the fucking Sarah Stewart's meme mart? It pulls you away from the fucking absolute negativity that is going on with social media on Facebook. Yeah. Lots of shared yeah. laughs there. So whenever I'm like, really seriously, seriously, when I'm really fucking feeling like like shit, I just fucking. Jump on there and look at a bunch of fucking really, yeah. shit, really. A lot of if you're wondering what we're talking about, it's it's a Facebook page that Sarah, yeah. our own Sarah, has created, yeah. where you our go to post queen. memes. Yeah. And what is it called, Sarah? It's uh, well, I started another profile because I went to jail for a really funny fucking. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, well, I somebody was like, "Oh, my boyfriend broke up with me." Post the funniest thing that you have involving a man being stupid. So I got some hot, heavy artillery in my phone, and I posted, oh, I don't want to get our video flag, but it's a guy, and he's doing a makeover tutorial, you know, where they put makeup brush, and then they pull it back, and you look different, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's turned around, and he's got his balls tucked behind his legs. <laughs> so, oh, what? Buffalo he pulled Bill. a fucking Buffalo Bill. Oh shit! He pulled a Jason Mewes. Holy shit! But there he is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's some good shit. Oh, I thought he did the goat. I thought he. I was thinking the the. Did football. you? Oh, uh -huh. you're thinking oh. he did the goat? I thought he tucked his dick and balls and then bent over and showed that. Oh. Balls! God damn it! He has eyeballs on his butt cheeks, so it looks like a he mouth. Pulled the goat. Yeah. It's the yeah. funniest shit. So I posted that, and someone didn't like that apparently. Oh. So it was the girl that had posted. So immediately after I it was like, you aren't following our standards. I was like, this bitch. So I went and post, uh, reported her profile for porn. But anyway, so I was in jail. For <laughs> a week. Fuck your profile. It's got porn. Oh, well, fuck you. I was trying to make you feel better, asshole. Like, right. it's hilarious. Anyway, it's just balls bitch it wasn't even like the whole wiener anyway so i was in jail and with the whole covid thing i'm always posting on my own profile for facebook so i was like fuck this i'm making a new profile so i'm not shitting you the email that i created for the whole thing is sarah is in jail at yahoo.com nice nice All right. so I like that's what you should change this group name to you know 
well, I just ran with it. And it's like all these people started adding me and I'm adding me all these people. And then I was like, they wanted to share their memes. So then I made a group, Sarah's Memes Mart Meme Center or whatever the fuck marketplace. marketplace. So now people can share each other, but I'm still on mine sharing shit. And it's just funny because it makes people feel better. And it's like, whenever I get guys hitting on me, the best part is I send them a meme about guys hitting on women through Facebook Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> I always look up a new one so nobody gets the same meme. It's just they're like, hey, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a lucky motherfucker. I didn't get that meme yet. <laughs> you have to I sent you snowflakes. <laughs> That's right. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 she wants fuck. Can we talk about snowflakes for a second here? <laughs> Is it like yeast? Neil, can you explain snowflakes to us? Yeah, tell us what snowflakes are, dude. I know this is a Halloween thing, but tell us about snowflakes. It's really a Halloween thing. It's more like a uh, flirting thing. So it ties back to an artist. (laughs) The days of yore. (laughs) So it's it's tying into an artist, I guess, having a song (laughs) called Icy or Snowflake or something. But basically, this other artist sent them an emoji, the snowflake emoji. And hold that thought, sorry. Yeah. Shantae, can you bring the scotch? Go ahead. So, so anywho, um, anyhow, this other female artist responded back with cup of noodles because it referred, it referenced this male artist's uh, music that had to do with cup of noodles. Thank you. But anywho, it's the snowflake thing and basically it's a flirting thing that basically you send to somebody and then when they respond back you just say you're an icy whatever bitch if they're female um dick if they're male and then you just say i'm a glacier boy if you're a boy there's you say, levels I'm a glacier <laughs> girl if you're a girl. There's levels. But basically, if you just say, if you just Cute. see the snowflake emoji, yeah. it doesn't mean you're telling them that they're a snowflake who gets offended easily. It's just a flirty thing. All right. It's like All right. you got a boner. And then you want yeah, to share, you wanna with share that with the world. Yeah. All right. My idea of a snowflake. <laughs> My idea of a snowflake is a bitch. Somebody gets offended easily. No, not offended. They're just a bitch. (laughs) They whinge. They bitch. They just can't be... They're Karen. No, not even a Karen. Worse than a Karen? No, it's like you go onto a job site. Yeah. And they're asked the simplest fucking task. Oh, shit. And they got a bitch about it. (laughs) Simplest tasks. I'm not talking about complex tasks. I'm talking about I'm not talking about fucking physically physically hard tasks. Simple tasks. Oh fuck. So then when these motherfuckers get asked to do their goddamn job, all they do is bitch. That's that's like Karen's. There's nothing worse than Karen, I don't Karen. That's a snowflake. I don't even Sometimes Karen's have reason to be Karen's. That's true. They're born. Who the passes yeah. down, Neil? Thank you. Good scotch tonight, Duff. Good call. Good pick. Oh, Good draw. Always. It's a beautiful thing. Mm. It's a beautiful Glenn thing. Livid. Glenn Livid. What is that? 10 or 15? 18. 12 or 18. 18, yeah. brother. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a good year. Yeah. Tasty year. Tasty year. Tasty year. Tasty. So good. So when you when somebody fucking sh- throws me a snowflake, I'm gonna fucking throw them the bird because fuck you. Nobody better be giving you snowflakes. Motherfucker, I ain't no uh-uh, fucking bitch. snowflake. I'm gonna snap a cock. A lot. Yeah. I haven't gotten any yet. Oh, uh, hey ladies, <laughs> send yet. Neil snowflakes hey, tonight. I'm pretty optimistic ladies. in general. So Neil's single, ladies. Wink, wink. He's wink. single, single, <laughs> and he will win guardian the fuck out of your Leviosa. That's right, Leviosa. That's the, that's the truth. All right, Leviosa. Solid truth. Also, also, he will fuck the shit out of you. It doesn't matter where. <laughs> With a wand. Oh my god. Doesn't matter where. You guys. He, he calls he, his you wand can, you, can, you can drag Stop. his ass into the middle of the woods, <laughs> and he will still do it. You can take him. You can take him in the middle of nowhere. You guys, if you 
guys it's, got taken to the middle of the woods, you still do it too. It's because yeah. I'm a millennial. I I've don't seen... even care if I die. <laughs> yeah. I don't even I care grew up where. In, we grew up in the era of slasher movies where they die in the woods. <laughs> I, I will. There will still be a little trepidation if you're going to drag me into the woods. Yeah. Trepidation. Keep using those words. Though. Yo, as long as we stay in the, the car. Goldfish commercial. He learned that shit off the goldfish commercial. <laughs> <laughs> the snack that smiles back they're like in like a little slingshot and one they're of the little favorites. fish is like I'm trepidating Shante tell us a goldfish story please <laughs> I think Malcolm should talk about the goldfish story <laughs> since I wasn't there I've never heard it I was, I was uh, time traveling she was fucking oh, shit, yeah. absolutely yeah. time traveling I need I to like I there. came to to eating the goldfish. I don't remember. What? <laughs> no, yeah. So we were having a few drinks one night. Uh, <laughs> is that all? <laughs> we, had a, we had a few, a lot of drinks. Ready? Is that all? We had a lot, a lot of drinks. <laughs> I think there was. Did I open the bag and explode yeah, it? There was a lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> there was drugs. Shut there up, you guys. Drinks. There was more no, drugs. We, we, we just no, drink. just drinking. We just had lots of drinking. Lots of drinking. Lots of drinks. Um, and uh, we, we went upstairs into the kitchen. And uh, I think we were... We wanted Your to kitchen's stop. upstairs? That's weird. And yeah. I, I don't know if it was me or you that dropped a bag of goldfish. You know, the little goldfish snack crackers, the little orange ones. And, you know, the, the kids love and the small bag. They know love. what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to paint a picture here, okay, guys? The snack that so, smells back. Either you or I dropped it. Either Shantae or myself dropped it on the floor, and the bag exploded, and goldfish went all over the floor, and we were, like, trying to scrape them up, pick them up, sweep them up. <laughs> and there she was fucking eating the motherfuckers. Just eating the motherfucker. Eating the goldfish. I guess I was just, just, like, like fucking mm. happy as can be. Just, just like, like, I'm going to eat them. Don't worry about it. Yeah, fuck this. You know, the floor was clean anyway, so you could eat off it. So fuck, why not, right? Too long, Shantae. But Malcolm likes to, like, Get remind me. I All love goldfish so much. Look at, that's like a classic thing. I was like, ah. Oh, Remember that one time you ate goldfish off the Best floor? friends for life. Yes. The only thing I didn't do was kneel down and join you. And we just both ate goldfish off the floor. Oh, I remember I remember the one time that we knelt down and, knelt down and joined each other. Oh, that's so dirty. <laughs> that sounds like it's going somewhere bad. All right. So, all right. This was this was way back in this the was day. high school. This was high school years. Oh, so it's off me now. There you go. All right. Yeah. So this me was, and Neil got put on the burner. Hey, <laughs> on the back burner. It's cozy back there. On the back road. Enjoy it. So Malcolm, Malcolm and I, we were we were I mean, we've always been PICs. Is that what it is? Partners in crime. Partners in yeah. Partners, partners in cocaine. cocaine. I'm like, I know what a POC is. Partners, crack. we've always been partners in crack. <laughs> yeah. Since we partners were partners in Kamath. Yeah. We weren't we weren't we weren't I wouldn't say we were fucking we weren't fucking what what are I those? hope you weren't fucking. No, no. never. Um no, never. Okay. <laughs> what are what are what are frogs before they are frogs? Tadpoles. We weren't tadpoles together. Right, yeah. Right. We, were, we, we did were, not swim around in the same ball sack. And no. Vivians for six hundred track. Yeah. Yeah. We were not tadpoles. We didn't we didn't grow up together, but we, we, we got to we got to high school. Oh, if we were twins. We'd probably be Maybe. Like Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Type Everybody calls you my brother. <laughs> we both be Danny DeVito, though. That's kind of fucked up, but hey, <laughs> I still love you. Yeah, me too. All right, you guys. I want to look back on the situation and just real quick. I wonder how many times we've mentioned Danny DeVito since we've had this. Podcast. Oh, you know what I'd like to or, do? Or and even like to talk about how Shantae join two people's names and did i say did i say danny what the fuck was danny it? lavida danny lavido danny lavido or something like yeah. that oh it's fucking phenomenal it was, it was tremendous it was just... demi, demi lovato and and danny lavido together but i said danny devito and demi lovato. demi lavido <laughs> demi lavido i think right uh, I, how messed up is it that well, we can't fuck it up right now oh, i did it so it. smooth and well yeah. like with no or, like recognition. no fucking inflection whatsoever that's you're great. straightforward that's, so, that's what it so is so there you go i just want to was that, but that i was feel like we talk about danny lavido a lot yeah yeah I said danny lavido, that's yeah yeah, we talk about Danny DeVito a lot. Like we, we do. do. He's a beautiful how, man. How cool would it be if he just yeah. fucking shows up on a? He's podcast a beautiful in the man. Future. 
He shows up in one of our episodes. One of these days, he's going to show up on here, and we're not going to advertise it. So it's going to be, <laughs> bam, uh, Demi, Le- Le- Demi Le- DeVito <laughs> in your face. Demi Lovato. I mean. Demi DeVito right there, man. Demi so- Lovato. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Lovato. We're gonna start yeah. space. Just start uh, tapping celebrities and see. Hey, you want to be on this podcast? You eventually, be on podcast? one of them is gonna. One say of them yeah. say yes. One of them. Sometimes of them. they're gonna they listen to yes. our our episodes. Can you or anything? But can you be on here? We can't pay shit. I was like, you're fucking. Atheist. You guys are whack. You don't know I exist, but would you come on our show? Please. All right. So I'm gonna carry on with this conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, myself. I got one more thing in the fucking in the in. The, Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Joe okay. says. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm still going. What happened? Okay. okay. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa. So really? we're in we're in we were in high school and we oh, right. we, oh, yeah. we yeah. party we partied a lot. So boogie so, boogie. So Malcolm was talking about how he didn't get on his knees and join Shante and eating the fish. All right. Goldfish. So, goldfish. If you're so, just joining us. Yeah. So so um we didn't need actual fish. No. Goldfish. The ones that smile back at you. Damn it, anyone. Um, so we were at this party. It was at our bro Craig Williams' place. Yeah. Right. And there was like a. It was a party. It was a big party. Big house party. Water yeah. Ball. And we 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 all brought liquor, like Malcolm, myself. We always bring liquor, and we, br- brought, we, we brought we brought a lot of liquor. We brought forty of uh, Bacardi <laughs> rum what? each. Baca- Bacardi white rum each. Yeah. Right. And we drank that with Coke all the time. No, no, hold on a second. We were sitting around a table. Yes. There was four of us. Yes. And we played quarters. Yes. Shots. Yes. Until my bottle of rum was gone. Gone. Yeah. Yours was in a freezer. Yes. Chilling. Yes. Waiting. Waiting for this opportune time yeah. for us to go and gather it up and finish playing our games of quarters. Kids are so dumb. So, <laughs> so we were done playing this game. His bottle was all gone. There was only four of us at the table. And I went to go grab my bottle out of the freezer. What I fucking forgot was there was, there was, okay, you know, you open your freezer and in the door, you have panels that mm-hmm. hold shit into the door. Yeah. All right. I put it in the top shelf, which uh, didn't have a panel that holds shit in the door. Okay. Of all the places to put it. <laughs> I could have put it in the rest of the freezer where it wouldn't have flew out of the fucking freezer. Yeah. Oh, All right. Yeah. All right. So I opened the freezer. Yes. <laughs> but I grabbed the door, but I didn't just open the door like I was going to open a freezer door. You fucking door. opened it I like opened Kramer it with on Seinfeld. You're like, <laughs> business was happening. <laughs> I opened it like business was going to happen. Purpose. Just fucking- there was going to be some serious business going down, and I opened that fucking door, and in slow motion. <laughs> this is how I, it went. The door opens, but the bottle's still in the air there. And, it's and like... I, I slowly watch it fall to the ground like that. <laughs> oh, I went to, I went to go grab it. With right. your foot and it smushed? It fell, exploded. hit the floor and exploded. The entire party <laughs> stopped. Yeah. Stopped. We didn't have a record player playing, but you heard a scratch, man. Yes. No. Yep. No, we had music playing, and it stopped playing. <laughs> and it's um, everybody like in every single fucking room halted what they were doing. If they were fucking, if they were not fucking, they came to they the fucking. They would came to the kitchen, looked at me, and asked me, "What the fuck?" Were you guys listening to Tupac? Probably. Were they, were they paying it was their Craig. respects? They they Ooh. came over. Everybody did. They came over and they like looked and then yes, we paid respects. <laughs> and as everybody else was paying respects to this broken bottle of fucking, <laughs> both Malcolm and I got on our knees, <laughs> found some straws, and started drinking the shit out of this fucking Bacardi I, Rum honestly, all over the fucking floor. I feel I like I should have known that was coming after yeah. the story, but I didn't, and I'm I, so excited. I didn't for you guys. see this coming at all. Everybody else. <laughs> Yeah. Was like what the fuck, and and then we had one of our other friends, Holly. Yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace. No longer with us. No longer with us. Came she, and fucking got joined us, and she got down too because she was like, she saw us doing it, and she's like, oh fuck, I would give me a straw, bitch. Yeah. So she got on the fucking, Aww. got on, her, got her hands and knees, and we all started drinking <laughs> that Bacardi off the fucking floor, man. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's great. 
I called it. Yeah, I'm just glad that there was someone. Knew it was coming. Same so, fucking fucked up sense of humor that we did. Yes. She got down there with us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Everybody else was like, "You guys are idiots." Yeah. And she was like, "What the fuck? There's some good booze down there." <laughs> fuck y'all. Everybody I'm gonna get else, some of that good booze in me. Everybody else is just like. Oh, well, what the fuck? And you guys are just like, damn, yeah. there's some booze there. Man. <laughs> I can get it. Abuse. <laughs> I can get it in my body. Yeah. Give me a straw. And that was the first and last time that Duff and Malcolm were ever invited to a party. Oh. Ever again. <laughs> you guys are like, I don't care if I shit glass for a week. I'm getting some. I invite you guys to all my parties. Hey, that's true. <laughs> I do too, but you guys won't come to mine. Uh, fuck uh, you. That's your fault for we're living trying. in California. So don't live in California anymore. <laughs> we'll come to all of them. But if Biden gets elected, like we can all hang out soon. Hey. Go live in Washington. Yeah, that's a we'll reason for everyone to go vote. <laughs> go and vote. I go did. Vote. So we can I voted. see each other. I'm in right. Canada and I voted. All right. So <laughs> what else? What's going on on Facebook, man? I voted for. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. So <clears throat> in keeping with our horror movie motif, yep. yeah. mm-hmm. Joe Correct. says Blair Witch was overrated. Yes. Now, is he talking about the new Blair Witch? No. Or, or the, the original. One. Original, for sure. This not knows original? I'm going to say he's talking about the new one because it's his Blair Witch and not Blair Witch Project. Yeah. Oh. You're yeah. assuming too much. <laughs> no, no. Hey, I, hey, I, hey. I kind of knew the new one was going to be bad because I, I mean, never watched the it. second one wasn't it's not quite the first as one. great. And it was like, oh, they're trying too hard with the found footage on the new one. And it's like, I can't get it. The new it. one was found footage too? Yeah. yeah. It was. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. like ghostly encounters. Or yeah. grave encounters. What are they like walking around with night vision? Like, oh my god, did you hear that? Oh my yeah. god, I well, hate that shit, man. That's whack as fuck. Oh no, it it, it, it went like, under. It went under the premise that you were you were like almost like time traveling. Yeah, like they were there were drunk? there were points yeah, where like it was like they were, they were skipping were time. Where it was like, oh, there was a ghostly shit going on there, and then later on it was like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that dude just traveled back into the past, and that yeah. was him. How long have you been here? Yeah, that kind of shit. Yeah, what? yeah. So really just, gay. It was just like a fucking ghost TV show where they're just trying to scare each other. <laughs> yeah. And then they all sit in a room and they listen to the playback of the tape and like, oh my god, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. It was almost. It was like fuck off. Oh, we almost saw something, and it was like it was like that A and E show, uh, Paranormal State, where they just. You know, heard something muffle, and it was like they would play that shit five times throughout the show, and it was like, <laughs> "Oh, we saw something," but it was just like a muffled sound, yeah, and they, it could have been anything. And they slow it down, and they reverse it, and they isolate the audio, and they get some fucking audio technician yeah. to come in and say, "Oh," or like the first somebody fucking farted the, in the background. The yeah. first, like, the first it's sound they, tech. They're yeah. they're just like they lead up to it and it's like feel the commercial, commercial for the commercial yeah. shows. I hate these fucking shows man yeah. I just ah. kick someone in the toe that's Fuck why it. that's why one. that's how bad it is he doesn't want to kick you in the dick he seriously wants to do some physical harm and kick you in are the you toe drinking Whoa, milk? what is that are you drinking milk holy what Sarah? was that White Russians? They're, yeah, are you making white Russians a oh, different way? Drinking, Holy uh, fucking a, a whole of jug of white Russian. Oh, thank that's God actually, it's water. That's actually really smart. That's Sarah, really smart. That's I commend smart. you. Hey, She's gonna be salute. I was scared to of... death you were drinking milk from a freaking jug right now. <laughs> uh, Can you guys hear? <laughs> Fuck, that's awesome. You're like, are you serious? I'm so and hot. There's no way in hell this is a gallon of milk. I am like, <laughs> this is no good for our friendship. She's, she's going to be the only one tomorrow or today that's going to be like, hey, I'm fine. And we're all going to be like, we feel like fucking shit. Yeah, I'm dying. Oh, I wanted to tell you something, Sarah. So I was this close to putting purple hair on my monkey. That sounds so dirty. I know. Oh, uh, I got it first. So close that's here. I almost did it. I love that wig. Hey, because we're twins, and you could have the pink, and I'll have the yellow. Right? That's yeah, see, the, oh, you guys should have coordinated. Always. Way to go. We, we didn't do it. Like I was, I no. almost matched her monkey. No. On and so what happened? Did monkey. you all? Why does everything sound hot? On yours? Look, That's mine has cool. eyelashes. You're high and you're drunk. I put eyeliner and lipstick on mine. Oh, you ladies, <laughs> they, you guys really brought it with your monkeys and your monkey masks. Those are yeah. fucking tremendous. I yeah, just, I love the makeup. Nice. I think yeah. everyone did great. I think everyone nice looks level. like their monkey. I really, I really enjoyed the mustache <laughs> that Shantae drew on my monkey. That was fucking. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> 
like really made their monkeys themselves. Like you paid homage yeah. to yourself. It was I cool. Love Niels though with the fucking stroked out face. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, I was, I, no, dude. Seriously, it's I was like over like there when we were, over there when we were doing our individual pictures, and he was over here sitting by himself. Yeah. I was like looking at him. I was like having a real hard time yeah. keeping a straight face <laughs> when I was taking pictures, dude. Because yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh man, it's so good. Hey, though, you guys can so hear me. Good. So I had to cut my mouth a little bit because it was so hot. I was eating a popsicle through the monkey mask. Yeah, you did a lot, but it was so weird. I was sticking my finger in Christopher's mouth. Neil was eating a whole sub sandwich. I I was drinking my drink. So it was like... (laughs) I was like, motherfucker, I can't drink through this shit. Neil's like, go get a straw. I'm like, fuck you, I'm taking it off. That's what I did with the pug mask last year. I am not keeping this fucking motherfucker on for the life of me. I was, no. I was wearing mine while I was driving back from the beer store. Yeah. I was like sucking air. I couldn't breathe. I was, like, I was gonna and die. I was like, and I was like, dude, it's it's all in your head. Yeah, it's dude, all in your head. That's like that's like talking me down. Like, oh, yeah. no, you're all right, man. You're right, bro. It's in your head. Then I started regulating my breathing. Yeah. Well, and then after I had the popsicle, I had like a little box, and then I put the box in the mouth. Like and sat it... there for several hours without being on the <laughs> podcast. God, in that... his mask. It was like yeah, it was I had a... popsicles, and I had <laughs> creamsicles, <laughs> and I just need to like, cool yeah. myself off. Look at you her mother... with her fan. Because you motherfuckers are taking too fucking long. <laughs> it took forever, and then I it was just in your mouth. Malcolm said that they were doing makeup, so then I went and did like a little bit of this, and I was like, Dude, hey, "Can we just say that fucking makeup is phenomenal, yeah, man? We love it." Great. I was like, <laughs> "Good, what's up?" So like, cracked. Oh, I can't see out of this eye. I can't see out of this eye. Neil, you gotta open both eyes then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. We gotta go back to comments. Okay, please. Joe's also says "Sin Nombre." You guys familiar with that Spanish movie "Sin Nombre"? No. It's a gangster film that documents South American gangs, uh, pr- pr- primarily MS-13. Okay. <laughs> and he said that I would personally consider a horror movie. <laughs> it's not really a horror movie, horror. but it is pretty fucking it's a horror it's documentary. It's a fucking heavy pick, man. Heavy yeah. pick. This guy fucking is basically. He, uh, what does he get? He either quits. The MS-13, or he gets kicked out of the MS-13, and they fucking hunt him. Yeah, they hunt him and his girl. I oh. think. Like, yeah. In fact, I don't remember correctly. I haven't watched it in a while, but it's yeah, it's fucking. That's an, okay, that's okay. A massive that, that, gang. No, and that's not a, and it's not a, it's not just a movie. That's like that thing that that'll happen. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, right. this this flick came out a while back, and I remember it. It's not English, so it's a lot of subtitle reading, but it's yeah. a good movie if you get a chance. Wow. Uh, like it's honestly, Spanish I Spanish really... for no name, I believe. I honestly think that, like, if this guy, if he, if he didn't get kicked out, Jeff and he just me left, right now. <laughs> I thought Jeff was someone behind me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> like for a second, I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck. "Holy fuck, Jeff!" It's so good. Jesus. Uh, what are you doing back there? Like, like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Shut down. laughs> All right, let's carry on with the comments. Sorry. I, I, Sorry. Can't, I can't finish what I'm saying, so carry on with the comments. <laughs> that was it. That's it. That's it. We're okay. all caught up now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. It's like 2.30 in the fucking morning. Yeah. It was a fucking pleasure. That was I, amazing. So, uh, I'm going to be able to do my hair. We didn't, part- we didn't uh, stick to our fucking schedule or our agenda or anything. We didn't Happy do anything. Halloween, like- bitches. I mean, we I still, think we talked about we urban life. We talked about all the Halloween stuff. We discussed stuff. what's... We had some ideas that we want to do, and we did what? do them. I just wanted to ask you guys, was there anything that you do have that pertains to our regular agenda on this show? Like uh, oh, urban, urban okay. word, uh, uh, Shantaisms? My Shantaisms had to do with what is acceptable on Halloween day that's not acceptable on any other day. Okay. Okay. It's okay. fucking weird. And right. then we shared the meme page, so yeah, go by. Yeah. Go. Right, sure. nope. We did good nope. stuff. All right. And nerdy then, nerdy and news. Then, Is there any nerdy, nerdy news you got, Neil? Not at two thirty in the morning. No. Uh, okay. 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 Fair enough. Urban word. Love you, uh, I didn't pull up any urban words, but I I did pull up my fucking silver lining. Um, okay. I pulled up several silver linings actually. Okay. But right. the most predominant one was um, those two flaggers. Yeah. yeah. That, that was a beautiful fantastic. thing. Yeah. yeah. 
right? Was really like, I like, that. like, to be honest, that's that that just resonated very, very deep for me. Yeah. Not not just those, but like Shantae, Malcolm, and Oliver, like really putting in per, per putting me in my perspective as yeah. to how I've been lately, right? And I know things are fucking difficult, and I know things are fucking hard for everybody. But what you really have to do is find a way just to be kind. Mm-hmm. Just, just, just be kind. As hard as that fucking may sound, sometimes find something that really makes it relevant. That's it. That's it. Just find find something that makes it relevant. Yeah, okay. Find that thing in your life that makes being kind relevant. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? My silver lining right now is that there are hundreds of kids out there right now coloring cookies that I made. Yes. Let's talk about decorating that. Decorating sugar cookies right How now. How many did you pop out there? How many did you fucking get out there? We almost popped out 4,000 fucking cookies. Oh, week. my God. It was 3,865 yeah, or some shit. Big fucking round of applause for these rock stars right here who made so many kids fucking Halloweens this year, man. That's tremendous. We I love skipped, that. It's we amazing. We skipped over one of the most important things to come out of this week. Right. Okay. Our very own Duff Morgan is in running for best <laughs> the baker. Greatest baker. Oh, yeah, greatest baker. Hey. Yeah. All right. I was fucking hoodwinked in this whole situation by my wife. So, hey, <laughs> I'm not going to take any. any. Uh, Just no. remember that voting is there. It's on every page. And remember, you can do it daily. So vote. Yeah. Yeah. Get out there. Also, I, if I, you feel the need or if you can, you can also donate to gain more votes. And the the funds that are donated goes to an organization that we've um, we've donated participated before, in and it's um, no kid hungry so yeah. it provides food for kids that are there is a minimum of ten dollars but that is to a child that you are going to help feed yeah Funny. they're gonna eat and it's through food network it's a whole situation and we've been involved. it's legit yeah. Funny story i thought that like when you click on the link when it was like compete i thought it said complete so I was like, I clicked on it and I'm like, oh, I got to register to vote. I'm like, okay. So I registered and I'm like, after it was done, it was like, okay, you will compete after. I'm like, no, I don't want to compete. I don't even <laughs> bake. I just want to vote for my friend. Neil's a baker now. Neil's there a baker go. now. Hey, Neil's you can competing. It, you can see it up on the screen now if you go to www.greatestbaker.com slash 2020 slash Christopher slash Morgan dash Morgan sorry yeah Christopher dash Morgan more. vote for Christopher as the greatest baker he's currently second place still which is fucking amazing fuck that other bitch though hey whoa whoa, whoa. Hey. Let's, let's be good sports here Come hey on. fuck that bitch but yay <laughs> hey well it's hey, just opportunities no. like this where there's something that can be won and they do draws and there's we get emails every day but it's stuff like this where what? we're getting involved in the baking community where there's competition it's important because not only does it get us out there but it's also a chance for us to grow yeah yeah winning stuff like this is it makes us Closer yeah. to our goals. Yeah, five days, eighteen hours. Goals. Hey, you, seconds to vote. <laughs> so vote. you can vote daily, twenty-four vote. hours. Hey, twenty-four hours. All right. So I'm not going to be so much humble anymore. Like honestly, I am a very great baker. I <laughs> my favorite pro my my flavor profiles that I put out there, the cakes that we put out there, are my recipes. All right. They okay. may have been tweaked from variations from ever elsewhere that I've learned. That's how it's that I've been to be. taught. But those are my fucking recipes. That's where some of the so, best recipes come from, though, man. People mm-hmm. take so from what's out there and they tweak it, and make it their own, make it work. That's that's what it is. I, I've made these recipes mine. What? These are my fucking recipes. My chocolate cakes, my fucking vanilla cakes, my my. I mean, macaroons are pretty. <laughs> it's not just me, guys. It's not just the cake lady. Yeah, right, yeah, like exactly. the macaroons that we put out there. Those are yeah, macaroons are a very different thing. Right. They're very different creature altogether. But yeah. no, I. All the other pastries that we fucking do, these are things that I've worked on. These right. are things that I've baked. I am a fucking a baker for num num. So right. vote for this guy. Yeah, go get out there and vote. Vote daily. Vote you know, <laughs> every twenty four hours. If you got multiple email accounts, do use there, them all. Use them. Just use them. Use them all. Everyone you know. <clears throat> because you know everyone else is. Yeah. Yep. You can buy votes too. You pay money. You can vote extra. Tell your grandma. Yeah. Make your grandma vote. Tell everybody. Yeah. Yep. 
so that's good. Anybody else? What was it? What were we doing? Silver lining or dig this? Also not sure. We're doing silver lining. Okay. Your cake in this area. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Lighting. Okay. Go. My brother completed chemotherapy. Yeah. Yeah. It was a really good beautiful. Yes. Amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beautiful thing. I have to like go a little bit more in depth because I made them these shirts and it was like cool and like a moment. But he's a heart transplant. He was born with the left side of his heart missing. So he's on like cyclosporin. He did a 19 day stint in the hospital, almost lost his life there. This non Hodgkin's lymphoma was stage four. And we found out in January, COVID hit like February, March. And it's just like that is a huge weight lifted off my family. So that is above all my silver lining is that my little brother beat its ass. He whooped its ass. He won the fight. And I'm hoping that with the PET scan coming up, he is clear and that he is not in remission. He is yeah. done. He's beaten it. It's there's no it well, it could come back, of course, but um that's just something that happens with the Epstein Barr virus, which he did contract <clears throat> due to his low immune system probably from partying back in the day. But it's just a huge deal for my family. And also like I've just been forcing myself to spend time with my kids lately. Like I just get dinners that I could pop in the oven or fix and then just walk away. And um, Logan has picked up some dance moves for me. <laughs> awesome. It's the cutest thing, but those are, those are definitely my silver lights. I think, yeah, I have to agree with the kids thing. Yeah. When I get home from work, I get to hang out with all of them. I get to hang out with Pollux. Right. And it makes it worth it. The cuddles are fucking. Oh, the cuddles make a really, really thankless, shitty job worth it. Oh, it makes the beat up hands, makes the like seriously. I got some, I got some fucking dirty hands, man. I got some dirty hands and clean money. That's how so it's. I'm, I'm, my shit's getting beat up, but coming home to my family makes it that much more better. Of course it does. All right, Neil. Um, you were frozen for a second. I was like, did his video freeze? I was really thinking about like, what I would say as my like silver lining. <clears throat> I would just say family. Like, yes. Uh, for myself, like this time of year, even though it's like the spooky holiday season, for my family, it's birthday. This is the beginning of birthday season because myself my two other brothers are born within like two and a half weeks our birthdays are two and a half <laughs> weeks of each other so we always have like a big birthday get together oh that's so cool so it was like nice to um get almost all of my siblings together the only one that was missing was our youngest sister and that's just because she was in kitwanga mm -hmm. but it was great to be around like our mom um, my nephew, who's so full of energy. It was so great to be around them. Just a good positive energy. That's cool. It, it really Excellent. was. And it was That's like, important. we didn't really see them again. Uh, they moved to town in Paris. So I, I, I'm going to be visiting them a lot more often. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. So it was um, really nice to be with family around this time of year. Nice. Uh, so happy for you. Month. Yay. Fantastic. All right, Malcolm, your turn. All right. Sorry, I, but Malcolm, it's your turn. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like I was trying to cut you out, but it really wasn't. Uh, I think. <laughs> Look at this guy drinking up with his mask. Oh. I did. Get her done. Fantastic. Opening that upper loop. That's how you hold your upper lip regularly. <laughs> 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 Neil's laughing in that mask. Like, I can only see through one eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay, I'll keep going quick. Uh, no, we still have other shit to talk about. But go ahead. So for this month, I, I tried to I tried to do um, sober October again. I did it last year by myself, and I try. I was trying to do it this year. I'm gonna try to do it every year, but some shit happened, like halfway through that really threw me for a loop and and killed my vibe and i just went on a two-day bender drinking 
and then I pulled out of it and then I got back on track and I've kept on track. So if my silver lining was in the midst of all that negativity, trying to stay positive and focus on my goal of, of health and this challenge for me, which I do every year to challenge myself because why not? Right. Why not? Why not? You know, do something, right. Something different than I normally do. And, uh, it feels good. I, I, uh, I was listening to this new podcast um, by Ethan Suplee, which anybody who knows him, he was the dude on uh, Butterfly Effect, the big guy. Okay, he was yeah, also yeah, yeah. in My Name is Earl. Randy. Yeah. He played Randy. Yeah. And he got down, he lost a lot of weight and he got muscular and really healthy. And this podcast he made to document his journey and to talk about his health and his goals and, and how he's going to you know, he's, he's dissecting different diets, the fad diets and saying, you know, what worked for him and what didn't and what's bullshit and what's cool. Oh, that's cool. What he's taking with him and it's, it's a phenomenal podcast. I'm like two or three episodes in and for him, what he was doing is setting, setting little goals to achieve on his journey to good health. And right now the episode I'm on, I'm behind obviously because it's, it's been around for a while. And, and one of his goals was to have a six pack which he said he's never had in his life. And if you know him, you know he got yeah. he was a huge dude. Yeah. And that goal, he's almost there. He's wow. almost there now. He might be there now because yeah. the podcast is like yeah. so so a lot far along. But then I was like, yeah, why not do that? I'm gonna try to set some goals. So yeah. my goal that I set last week was to <laughs> was to be able to button my sport coat, to be able to button to close it. And this morning I tried it on and I was fucking I was able to button it. Nice. Yeah. I like so that. here here's to fucking trying to just make better, healthier decisions for myself. Nice. And and getting back into what? all that, which I fucking fell way off over the pandemic. Right. For yeah. you. Great job. So yeah, for me, my my silver lining is good health for myself. And I wish good health to all of you mm-hmm. and to everybody out there. All Whatever right. that might be, mental health, physical, doesn't matter. I wish just fucking could, all of it. Know. I just like, uh, uh. yeah. <laughs> so, so, moving along to our last segment, which is what you've been digging lately. Dig this. Dig this. Yeah, it's. I mean, it almost correlates with the silver line, but it doesn't because it's 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 almost a superficial thing that you've been digging. I have one. Go. So. Um, just like F this sprouted legs and bounced around and got new podcasts going and we're all like together doing stuff like that. Uh, so my favorite podcast did the same thing. And so I've been listening to Jensen and Holes, which is a offset on these um, <laughs> investigators and defense attorneys and stuff for some of the murders and things like that. I've been listening to on the other mm-hmm. podcast. And what's the other podcast? Well, my favorite murder. There you go. But there they're you. like huge fans of Paul Holes. And uh, there's a... even like a whole freaking thing. It's called Hot for Holes, and everyone loves him. And so That's I such started a good listening. title. Hot for holes. <laughs> I like so that. Paul, I, okay, I so Paul Holes. Paul Holes used to be a detective. Uh-huh. And what's what? It, what, what city? Like what that. area? Was it Oregon? In no. California. It was in California. Yeah, it was in like He's a San Francisco. Part of the whole thing. Yeah. With... He was a part. Of, he was a part of the whole situation with um, um, the Golden State Killer. He helped catch the Golden State yeah. Killer. He was one of the. He was one of the detectives that caught the Golden State Killer. I wasn't just. I was trying not to bring. I know. I know. But I'm just saying. You, so you need to bring relevance. So I've been listening to Jensen and Holes, which is a podcast from um, Exactly Right, which is like the network for My Favorite Murder. Yes. And um, also Bananas, and that's another podcast where they just talk about silly shit. Like it's like Shantae's shantaism on like a grander level yeah like weird fucking news they talk about weird shit that happens in life and so i've been listening to new podcasts and what's funny is i've been listening to the podcasts that we always listen to and then backtracking and like catching up so like bill burr joe rogan all the stuff that the boys listen to but now i've sprouted and i've been listening to the podcast suggested by my favorite podcast so i've been digging new podcasts Nice, nice. All right, so I'm. Um, I've been on a Post Malone kick. Oh, I love Post I've been, Malone. I've yes. been digging Post Malone. Yeah. Um, not particularly digging any of his music, and that's you know that's just preference. 
Okay. Right. Um, but everything else that he does, I've been digging a lot of. Okay, I'm gonna lie. There is one song, but I'm always. It's like I said. Everybody really needs to sit down in their car and listen to their fucking roll up music. Mm-hmm. You know, roll up your fucking window music. That 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 song that you don't want anybody else to hear, but it just makes you feel fucking good. Yeah. All right. So. I like the flower so song. Recently, uh, Malcolm and I we listened to uh, um, an interview with po- with with Postal Malone on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast, uh, JRE, Joe Rogan Experience, and you just really got this like in depth experience with Post Malone, and then you just correlate that with his whole Nirvana thing, with his whole upbringing of metal. Like you just, I just, I don't know. There's a so much more appreciation for him being a musician because he truly is, right? Yeah, he he's plays, very diverse. He plays music and he plays music well. His business aspects of entertainment is something that I don't particularly care for, but he knows what he was doing. He understood where he was going, and he took advantage of it. And I'm not not frowning on that. I don't particularly like it, but I'm not completely frowning upon it. But his complete understanding of where he stands is something that makes me have more respect for him, right? And listening to Sunflower from... Uh, to the Spider-Verse? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. That yeah. song always makes me feel happy. Same. Yeah. And it always makes me feel sad, happy because of my dog. Yeah, because yeah. Malcolm watched it. Like, crack. All the time. Oh, I'm gonna think. But it was. I mean, I'll bring up the story again. It was before she can really speak. I started the song, and it was like, fucking, a split second into the song, and she was like, "Spider Man." Uh Oh. So, I've been digging on Post Malone for a little bit, and it's fucked up my fucking Spotify (laughs) algorithm (laughs) because of it. It's it's really fucked up my my Spotify algorithm, but hey, whatever. The, I, I've been digging on that. All right. Who's next? No, uh, Neil, go. I already went through my dig. Or dig this. Oh. <laughs> so, um, you ever come across like that live album that like transcends like any songs that you loved? Basically makes you love the artist a bit more. Yes. So that's, that's like every live album for me. <laughs> so for me, that's it's been yeah. um, Japan Droids. So they're Whoa. they're a band from what? Vancouver. They play um, punk. They play uh, various other types of genres, but they're very much more like punk. So Japan Droids. Japan is... Droids. Okay. So they huh. had an album released earlier this year called uh, Massey Fucking Hall. So it was their nice. first time playing at Massey Hall in 2017 or 2018. Uh-huh. But they released it this year because of the pandemic. Right. And there was, for the longest time, I maybe only loved one song from them. But after hearing this album, <laughs> I fucking love a bunch of their songs live yeah like i felt that a lot of their songs were better live than recorded the appreciation i've been listening to a lot of i've basically been listening to this album on repeat for the last two and a half weeks nice and it's given me a bit more appreciation (laughs) for it i've um like looked into some of the songs that they have on it, what the meanings were behind it, and like I just love it even more. Nice. And I listen to like the studio versions of it and I'm like, yeah, the live version was so much more better. So much more better. So cool. that's my dig of this. It's it's uh the Japan Droids um live album Nasty Fucking Hall. Nice. Okay. Good, man. Good stuff. All right. Yeah. All right. Who's next? Sarah. 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 Clara. Are you awake? Yeah, I'm here. I just I'm sitting in the door. I love your makeup. If I had like the black eyes, that'd be cool. 
again. Like, and, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> my dig this. Uh, I've been digging sleep lately. Like, oh, how good is I sleep? wish I argue could. with that. <laughs> no, like, it's a, it's a certain kind of sleep <laughs> that I always have crazy dreams, right? Well, lately they've been very lucid and they've been very fun. So I feel like I wake up and I'm like, oh, like in a good mood because I was like, fuck, that was cool, you know? Um, but I, man, I tore my bed apart. I took the the mattress protector off and I washed it and I believe a different direction with yeah, that one. Okay. A totally different direction there. <laughs> I, yeah. Like, I... Oh, but I washed it and I washed all my pillows. Whoa, I, wait, what? Yeah, I like washed all the bedding and like the pillows and the mat. The dreams were that good. God damn it. <laughs> Odd. And it's just like, it's like I put extra scenty <laughs> stuff in there and it's what? just. <laughs> what? Do you guys not have washing machines in Canada? Yeah, no, we do. <laughs> we're talking sheets. about those dreams. We got to change dreams. your sheets. <laughs> wow. Not since I was a teenager. No, <laughs> no you dumbasses. It's just it's clean and nice. And, yeah. Yeah. and you, like when like you shake your legs and it's like that silky, uh, it Brand just feels good. Oh, yeah. okay. And it smells so good and it's hot out of the dryer. Oh, and but you didn't fucking dry it so hot that it burnt and it stinks, but it still <laughs> smells <laughs> fresh. Yeah. It burnt. <laughs> Oh, no. sleep this shit. I might as well burn the bed and start over. Fuck. <laughs> I like a hobo fire in the middle of the bed. <laughs> There's the title of the podcast <laughs> Hobo <laughs> Fire <laughs> in the middle of the apartment complex. And people are like, What is he doing? Like hobo fire in my bed. <laughs> Sorry. Dreams. Okay, no. And also, I like that we're finally starting to get the cooler weather so I can like leave my doors and windows open Yay. and it's fresh air. Fuck you guys. And it's not fire air. No, it's not burnt ass hair like Malcolm. <laughs> Winter here what? for like a week and a half. It's just like fucking snowing. <laughs> what about burnt here. Malcolm ass hair? And what the it, fuck is it, this? It's like cooled off down there finally for them. But meanwhile, you got we're like. In the, in the middle North of Pole, winter, North Pole. Yeah, we're in the throes of fucking dying and fucking <laughs> hypothermia here, man. Hey, you guys, winter is coming. You guys are like not here. <laughs> you know, you know what it is? It's fucking wake up in the morning and it's so cold that you just want to stay in bed. Yeah. In weather. That's winter what it is. already yeah. came across our face yeah. like five Neck times. And chest. Whoa, that's yeah. fucking dirty. <laughs> Filthy. Between the cheeks. Yeah. Between the cheeks. All right, yeah. welcome. Yeah. So what are you digging? Stupid. I think I just said. <coughs> no, I didn't yeah. you did your silver oh, okay. lining. You did your silver lining. Oh, okay, brother. okay. If you would uh, turn your attention to towards uh, the Zoom screen, I'm going to show you what I've been digging lately. <laughs> it's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hole in your backyard. Your backyard, not mine. He's been just coming over and ran digging away. holes <laughs> in our backyard. <laughs> His bed's on fire. What uh, the? This is, this is what I'm digging. It's called Tillers, oh. Tuscan style salami got... pepperoni sticks. Oh, nice. Tuscan style. That sounds yeah. really good. I don't know. It's like we Shut do up, this. Neil. We do this all the time, <laughs> and I kidding. always end up talking about food. And the reason I'm doing that now is because I'm it's fucking, fucking good. Yeah. When it, when I was a f- so fucking <laughs> Christ, I How fucking fantasize about food now because um, I can't eat. But it was a bunch of hot dogs. <laughs> I was like, this this, this stuff. stuff Right here is it's a just a good go to snack for me to just grab some out the fridge and just chew on it. You know, it's it's like yeah, it's similar to like Land Jaeger. You know those mm-hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. square nice yeah, yeah, yeah. box. I just call them good. Langers. Oh, that yeah, is that's that cool. Called? I like. I don't that. know if it's Land Jaeger. Land Jaeger. Lund I don't know. Lund But anyway, they're everyone's German. They're like <laughs> super smoked, Lund-Yaga. super chewy. It's almost you know, it's yeah. like just, less, just right. slightly less than jerky, but you know, a it's got more. a good flavor. It's, and it's, it's just it's just the right consistency yeah. in between beef jerky and pepperoni. It's just enough to get jammed in my teeth and piss yeah. me off because I got to floss after it. You got to pick it out for the rest of the yeah. day. Yeah. It's I have lost like 10 times a day because of this fucker. But you know what? It's good. I like it. It's so healthy. Good. Can you guys Low hear? In... 
Yeah, it's low in calories, and and if I don't feel like cooking or anything, I'm just like I'm looking in the fridge. I'm like, wow, I'm hungry. I don't want to cook eggs or bacon or anything it's like that. Grams? That's meat, weird. These and I'm good. That's I what usually, I'm digging. I usually got a pick. Simple, stupid. Man, um, you guys, I thought that was fucking hot dogs. I gotta say. <laughs> well, I mean, you can hey, have it in a bun. I'll tell you this: I have thrown you can a couple have it during a run. I have. <laughs> you can <laughs> have it in the sun. Ooh, when I, I have like it, it's fun. <laughs> you could have it here. That's right. You can have it in I have I have thrown them in a microwave and heated them up and nuked oh. them up. Oh. Put them in a bun and had it with mustard. It's good. Uh, you can have them here or there. Food. That's your fucking You can have them in your underwear. You take any pepperoni stick and throw it in the fucking microwave. It makes it ten times better than it or on is. the fire. Try it, trust me. Oh, don't have to remember that remember that podcast. remember that one time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that we fucking Clanza. We went and fucking wasn't it Cleanza? Yeah, yeah it was. we put some pepperoni sticks yes. on fire. I told you, I was like, dude, cook it. It's fucking so much. Uh, it's gonna, it's one hundred percent bomb. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's good. Had a next yeah. level smoke. Fuck it, it's better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then you throw that, and then you throw that, and then you throw that in a good bun. Yeah. I'm delirious. Throw like, anything in yeah. a good bun. I need Maybe. to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys for everything for coming together and making this fucking Halloween episode happen again. This was fantastic. Let's do it again next year. Let's yes. Talk, let's get Duck together next year. Face and oh, walk and then fall asleep. All know. right. So we're going to um, be here. All right. Happy Halloween. All right. So, so, ne- so our next F this episode is going to be okay. This is going to be probably the last time that we do this, but our next episode is going to be hosted by Malcolm. Oh, just to go, just to make the fucking full complete yeah. rotation. I'll yeah. I'll be hosting the next episode, episode. of F this, yeah. which that- we're doing where one person hosted the episode and monitored everything, moderated, yeah. and, and yeah. they picked a movie that we all had to watch. So the movie that we're going to watch, uh, you've already seen it, is Poughkeepsie tapes. Okay. All right. So watch we're Poughkeepsie. Gonna watch, Poughkeepsie. We're going to watch and discuss the Poughkeepsie tapes. Sarah, are you familiar yes. with this? Poughkeepsie tapes. No. Watch okay, it. perfect. It's perfect for you because I feel like everyone here has already seen it. Yeah, we have. I haven't. Um, oh, oh right. right. This is fucking this tremendous. Okay, great. two people haven't seen it yet. So yeah. you guys are in for a treat. Poughkeepsie tapes. You can I'm go on worried. YouTube and check out the trailer. It might be kind of difficult to find unless no. you pirate it. No, no I, 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 I didn't I say that. So much. Yeah, I'm not going to remember shit tomorrow. Yeah. Poughkeepsie right. tapes. Well, just rewatch the show. You'll find it. I, I, I. I I thought that I had the trailer here, but I guess I don't anymore. I was going to show you, but hey. oh, actually, no, I can't. Good actually, we'll, we'll get fucking cut. Everybody. Yeah. But thank you for dropping in. You know, yes. go go out there, crush the like button on this. Share yeah. pages. We all got new pages for F this network. We all got our separate pages for every Follow podcast us. that we have. What the fuck are you doing at the Wu Tang Clans? What? what? Who? What's that connection? What's going on? Neil, he was like Wu Tang. Oh, that's Wu Tang. I thought he was doing that's the West penguin. Side. Yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't. It was that's like MS 13. You guys, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Be excellent to each other. Um, okay. Uh, hit up our somewhere. YouTube page. F this, search for F this network because they wouldn't give us our own personal little link because we need a thousand subscribers. But go over to. YouTube and search for F this network, crush that fucking like button. Yeah. And subscribe. subscribe to us. Subscribe. Follow us. Yes. Wait, wait. I want to wait. thank you all for your support. Thank you for all the likes and the follows like, that we're getting on each page because I see that shit every day. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. We all do. All right. Sarah. I said bye. Lena gets a shout out because she's been here a long time. Good night. I love you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank Good night. you. Okay. Thank here you. we go. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck this.